Today, I have a very special guest today. She has been uh, pretty much gnawing at my ear for the past, I don't know, hour, uh, saying, hey, when are we going to start? When are we going to start? When are we going to start? And then now we're officially starting. So guess what? Here we are with the magnificent Mika <laughs> Melatica. <laughs> you good? <laughs> you didn't have to <laughs> fucking expose me that hard, dude. Uh, it's, to be honest with you, I think I have to. To I, I'm gonna be completely real. Cause you said it's gonna be a certain time, and I'm like, oh, do I have to get, do I have to get ready now? Do I have to, oh my god, I'm so blurred. <laughs> I just, no, 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 you're I'm good now. I fix you. I fix you. We're good. I fix you. We're don't worry. I can fix him. I loved your intro though. That's crazy. Then, okay. Like, real, like real that. talk. Give me your honest, true opinion on my intro. Uh. Like brutal honesty? Yeah, no, like okay, hold on a minute. <laughs> yeah, go for it. <laughs> okay, uh I thought it was good. It was great until like I saw a video of you in a maid outfit trying to squash a watermelon between your thighs. I thought it's like, oh, this dude's like pretty funny. And then I saw you try to break a warm and I'm like, oh okay. okay. Did, did you see that I actually did break the watermelon though? <laughs> Why did you have to wear that though? <laughs> like, th 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 did you see that I actually broke it? <laughs> that's kind of impressive. I I'd say that's pretty impressive. But like, <laughs> no help at all. <laughs> it's a good introduction. That's all I can say. I I feel the. Yeah. No, it was great. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of it. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I I, I thank you, Mika, for coming in. In the hole. Uh, this is basically a show where I invite people to come on and we hang out, we vibe, I get to know you a little more, we talk, and we just do random stuff. And we, uh, I throw a segment or two maybe at you, and uh, hopefully we can, uh... yeah. Wah! Yeah! I love the name, by the way. Do I'm you like it? That, I, like... I was actually I... like, like very much like, <sighs> because at first I thought, Okay, maybe it's a little, you know, mm -hmm. you know. Mm, no, I I don't know. Okay, don't so know but so anyway, don't worry about it then. So with that being the case, <laughs> I think it's a really appropriate name for what I have actually mm. gone through, which was essentially being pushed down the rabbit hole of a whole bunch of different VTubers, and now we're I'm currently in the hole. Right and okay, fair, but I also like tried to emphasize a lot on it's not just VTubers. I want it right. to be like a bunch of other people. So this, I, I, I thought this is this is many holes. <laughs> There's many holes. It doesn't have to be the VTuber hole. It could be it's a, a bunch of other holes. <laughs> he doesn't discriminate. You know, any hole. No, I don't. Any holes a goal. Yeah, correct. So, <laughs> with that being said, uh, how you doing, Mika? How you doing on this? It's like, it's like really late over there for you, isn't it? Yeah, but it's okay because I'm a streamer and like I don't think streamers have proper sleep schedules. I'm not gonna lie. Amen. So, Amen to that. No, I'm gonna, can I nothing? Can I expose you, by the way? Since you exposed me, can I expose you on something? What are you doing? This dude, chat. Okay. This dude, I, I opened his Twitch so that I can like read the chat as well. Because I feel like that's the normal thing to do. And then I typed in chat and I was like, oh. I'm a Twitch noob. So I don't know anything about Twitch. I don't know a lot, actually. So I tried to type. Yeah, you don't like, stream on Twitch. You stream on YouTube. So you're YouTube Andy. So you, you, you do. Dude, oh, I fucking raided you. <laughs> and yeah, he's like, but, you don't stream on Twitch. But you don't stream on, on Twitch. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'll take it. I, I don't, chat. I don't. But I don't know anything about Twitch, to be fair. And I was like, I can't type anything. And he's like, what do you mean? And I was like, I, I, I think I'm fucking it up. Like, I can't type anything. And then he just had emote only chat on. And I was like, oh, cool. But I do stream on Twitch. I raided him even. He, just, I'm not even VIP'd on his chat, you know? It's okay. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan. <laughs> your content too i raided you <laughs> not even not even vip bro 
Get the oh, I'm out of here. I, can I be <laughs> honest with you? Yeah. I don't. So I don't really use v, the VIP functionality that much. Uh, for the longest time, I've used VIP as okay. Mm -hmm. So I do it as a way to be able to give it away to my viewers. Uh, so we could like for example we do i did a what's called the chat lock do you play pokemon no i i don't oh my god wait do you, i don't know anything about pokemon do you know that you've <laughs> never played a pokemon game never in my life i only know uh pikachu and snorlax and that's it nice I'm so sorry. I don't know anything. No, 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 no. You know what? If you know Snorlax, I'm happy with that. I'm very, I know very happy. Pikachu and Snorlax, and that's it. I know there's one uh called Squirtle because someone sent me like a Riz donation, being like, "I can make you Squirtle," and I was like, "Lol, what does that mean?" And apparently, it's a Pokemon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that's how I know that's a Pokemon. Ah. Uh. I see. I'm kidding. I'm so sorry. There's no way you're kidding. <laughs> I'm not. I I have a phase where I pretended to know uh, Pokemon. So then, because like I wanted to be accepted in like this community <laughs> so bad, but I, I pretended no, I, like I, I, I know what that. I was talking about. I yeah, I <laughs> pretended. I didn't know anything. I felt so. I felt so bad because <laughs> like they would talk about, oh, my favorite Pokemon is this, and I'm like, oh, I like Snorlax, and they're like, oh yeah, when they do this, and I'm like. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Anyways. Of course, whatever you say. Yes, <laughs> correct. No, I tell I, me about it anyways. If, if you need anything, to, I, I'm like a huge Pokemon geek. Like I have a bunch of like I have actually I have a uh, I have a Snorlax onesie. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Real talk. Gonna, oh my god, why didn't you use it today? It's kind of messed up. <laughs> kind of, you wore a maid dress on stream. Oh my, not even okay. I, if, do fall. you want me to wear the Snorlax onesie? Yes. I'll do it later. How about that? You know oh, what? Actually, okay. we're gonna do something later on today. Maybe I'll put that up for stakes. Maybe uh, that that'll, that'll be that'll yeah. Be that, I think that'd okay, be pretty okay, fun. Okay. But anyways, uh, I'm glad that you're here because uh, you are officially my first guest from. Uh, the very popular agency Niji Sanji, uh, which Woo! is which is so cool. And can I be completely honest with you? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that you were, uh, because I didn't know that there was a, uh -huh. a like an an, an 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 Indonesia branch. Yeah. And I thought for the longest time that you were uh, from Japan. Oh, well, technically we got like merged. So technically the branch doesn't like exist anymore, but, but okay. I'm not Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, 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 that, that's, that's what I initially thought. And then I knew, and then I kind of like learned about the merge uh, that oh. happened, that occurred. And that's when I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> She's I mean, from. That's uh, fine. She's from Niji San. She used to be from Niji Sanji Indonesia, and then they merged. Okay, that makes sense now. So, but yeah, a uh, lot of people don't even know I'm from Niji. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Wait, you you had like uh, gen mates, right? Yeah, I do. I still have them. It's not like they're dead. They're still. Like... <laughs> oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. No, you're right. <laughs> No, you're right. No, 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 no. Like, uh, no, no, that's not what I meant. Uh, like, uh, I don't know how that works with, um, when, when everything, mer well, I guess you can still, like, you still debuted with them, right? Yeah. When, like, okay, let's just go with this. Let's just move on. When did you <laughs> debut? Oh, shit. Um, oh, God. Chad, when did I debut? I think. When did you like, debut? How long have you been doing this? <laughs> I think two years. Cause two years? Almost two years, I think. Because I remember only celebrating, like, anniversary one time. But I think... Oh, is the two-year coming up? 
Yeah. Oh, 31st July. Thank you for that first one person in chat that said something. Oh my July? God. That's great. I low-key, like, forgot. I'm not... I have lost, like, time management. Oh, actually? Brain. You know what? Speaking of which, I just realized this uh, because uh, Faith, uh, my huh. girlfriend, she's the one that, that, that told me this. But uh, what was it? Monday? No. Yesterday, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday or Monday, I can't remember. But I celebrate, or it was my anniversary for going full time with content creation <gasps> for two years. Two years. Oh my god! Congratulations! Yeah, oh my. Isn't that crazy? Congratulations! So, How is it, by the way? How is the? Uh, it's been weird. Oh, okay, if I were to be completely honest, when it comes to like going working for society, and then working mm -hmm. for a, a Twitch chat, uh, I will say that I I think. Well, I don't, I don't think, I know that I've gotten dumber. <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've gotten I more stupid. I, I've gotten more dumb. No, that's I, definitely I relatable. definitely know. I, I, I rely on other people to tell me what's going on and also to tell me what certain things are. So that's same. Yeah. Same. I, 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 it's rough. Like I, I learned know, a lot of like new things I, I that I didn't know about because I was uh what's called a, a Disney Channel kid, and I watched a lot of Disney Channel back in the day. So uh -huh. it basically sheltered me from a lot of bad things that happened back in the day. Like uh, I didn't Ooh. know about this, but there used to be a, a, a website back in the day called Pain Olympics. What the fuck is that? Uh, long story short, it's just people who hurt themselves. On purpose, and they post it on the internet. Like, some crazy bad stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. What? Yeah, no, no, yeah. Like, that was, like, the Wild West of uh, the internet. Uh, so, like, uh, the reason I know all this stuff, I didn't know about this stuff either, but I am dating someone that has been, like, literally festering in it for years. And so she yeah. tells me about random shit, and I'm like, what in the hell is that? Like, recently... Uh, well, not recently, actually. This was like a couple months ago. Actually, probably last year. Uh, I learned about the term waffle stumping. What is waffle stumping? Don't look at me. You said recently you learned it too. What the fuck is waffle stumping? It's so quiet. What? what? I'm gonna g the silence is making me like assume. I regret. I regret starting this. No, what is waffle stomping? You can't just like. So, do you down. know about uh, wine? Yeah, like the drink. Yeah. Do you yeah, know how yeah. they make wine? Uh, in in a barrel, I think. But no. What they do is they like old school ways would be they get grapes and they would stomp on the grapes. Oh. Okay. So I didn't know that. when they want to make waffle flavored wine, they stomp on waffles. Seriously? I couldn't believe it myself. That was like one of the weirdest things I think I've ever heard of. Like I said, I, I, I grew up with Disney Channel. I don't think that's true. I feel like because I can see your face right now, I can tell you're lying. It's so much easier to know someone's lying if I can see their face. I'm starting it's to regret this webcam. It is not it. What is waffle stopping? I, I do not believe you. Shit. Oh my I, god. I hate wait, my poker I'm face. Guess. Wait, wait, I okay. Knew it. Wait, wait, what? Wait, wait, what do you mean you I, know? I, it? I knew you're lying. What is See, it? See, this me. is why I, I hate being <laughs> like a, a fleshy. Because, <laughs> Flesh. like, I, I, I can't rig my face to just not do anything, unlike you. I feel so. I know. You, you should feel lucky. But okay, I, I if I okay, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what it is. Um, yeah, yeah. Because it's true. It's not that. But I, I tried to, whatever. Uh, it, it's, it's okay. You know the shower, right? Like when you shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the shower. Yeah, yeah. So in the shower, there is, you know, the the drain, right? Yeah. So there's people that like to defecate. 
uh-huh. in the shower. Uh-huh. And obviously that's not a, a toilet. So no. they no. have to push it down the drain by stomping on it. I don't know what conversation brought this up. Like, I don't know what conversation you were in to bring this up. It's (laughs) the... I learned new things. were you talking about like a year ago or something that like oh yeah let me waffle stomping well like, I, I i'm just saying okay i'm just saying that <laughs> i'm i'm learning new terms and we're we're, we're back <laughs> all right we good I, I, you good you're having the time of your life over there aren't you <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at Chad. Chad is like, we're muted. And then I keep reading that he got waffles on my Twitch. And then I keep laughing. <laughs> dude, I literally <laughs> brought... Th- I'm never bringing this shit up ever again, dude. I literally yeah. got waffles on by, by, by OBS. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. I literally, dude. like, the stream crashes. It's like, enough! No you more! You can't silence knowledge! You can't silence... <laughs> Uh, you can't, you can't silence, silence the truth. knowledge. Uh, okay, so is, is the sound back, chat? I apologize what? for bringing up that topic. I still. All right, like we're good. Okay. Uh huh. In my brain, you talked about it casually. You're just like, oh yeah, dude. When I sometimes when I shower, I need to shit, so I just shit right there. Well, and they're like, okay, oh, listen. coefficient. That's normal. <laughs> like some people do that. A lot of people do that actually. And you're like, really? What's it called? And they're like, it's called waffle slumping. <laughs> that's how I got brought up. That's true, okay. Chad. That's true. That's what he told me. <laughs> uh, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? No, 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 no. That's not how you. told me when the stream was down. He said that. No, 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 no. Now, okay, this this fucking sucks now because of course they're gonna believe the 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 pretty VTuber over the the hairy fleshy. No, that's not what happened. All right, that's not what happened. I literally said, "Oh shit, OBS crashed," because I was talking about waffle stomping. No, it was like, just so you know, Vika, uh, I thought I was the no! only one to shit in the <laughs> No! No! Uh, I kind of felt accepted when they told me that was pretty normal, Mika. Jeez. <laughs> I was just bringing up the fact that it, 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 there's a lot of crazy shit out there that I never even knew about. But I, I didn't know either. <laughs> I, I yeah exactly. So you're like me, and because I'm in Twitch chat, I'm like now very much like a sponge, and I'm just absorbing all this shit. Like there's other yeah. terms that I've heard of too, dude. I don't think I want to bring another one up though. I want to know. Okay, I want to know the craziest one that isn't gonna get you banned on Twitch. I don't think this was the craziest one, but the other one that I heard about. Okay, Mm -hmm. so the craziest thing that I've heard so far was there was the specific, um, what's it called? A doujin. That's like Mm -hmm. nuts and like super terrible. So I want to say that, but in terms of a term or something I didn't know about, uh, it was... um, the turn well okay this one is not like especially bad but uh people were talking about it and then chat had to explain it to me and then yeah and so it oh i I think oh it was my girlfriend she had to come in and she had to explain it to me that's right so she okay so it was the term called eiffel tower like the one in paris france yeah in paris oh okay Eiffel Tower was another one that I I just learned about and I had to had explained it. Uh, did you you're not aware of this one either? No. What's okay. that? 
Okay. I can't believe I'm the one that has to explain this shit now. Uh, I'm, I'm a pure person. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, okay. Uh, so <laughs> Eiffel Tower is... So if I'm to explain this correctly, okay? Mm-hmm. Eiffel Tower is when there is three people engaging right. in the activity of lovemaking. Okay. It's primarily two male, one female. Okay. And they basically one's on one end. Oh, the others okay. on the other. And, and they look like an Eiffel Tower. And the they high kissing. five each other. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's like a normal bro thing to do. <laughs> no, don't tell me that's you know? a normal thing to do. When you just like, when you high five your bro and then someone just needs to help you like fix the wires under your desk and stuff. So just kind of like. What? Yeah. You know, but like, that's, that's like not. Uh, okay, thing. I'm not getting into the ethics of what should be <laughs> high fived and what should not, should not be high fived, okay? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's another term I found out about, and it was uh, kind of kind of insane. It was kind Good of nutty. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, <laughs> it, it was it was kind of nutty. <laughs> but um, yeah, those are just examples. Do you know any terms? Uh, let me think. Let me think. I mean, I feel like that I've indulged you in like learning about certain things. I have, you have to reciprocate. I the only one I can think about right now is because you said waffle stomping. I know blue waffle. Oh, I know that one. I knew that one from a long oh, time fuck. ago. Oh, okay, let me. Ask that was the shit. only one I knew actually. So same. That's the only one I knew from like until today. Yeah. I knew. I don't know if it's like a term or a phrase, but I think it's like British stuff. British. Yeah, okay. like. When you, oh, don't worry about that. <laughs> when you like stab someone or something, I forgot what it's called. Like, it's like a British word. Like British people say it. it's like, I'm gonna stab you, but it's like in a British way. I'm going to stab you. It's like shank. Yeah, shank. Okay, shank. That's yeah, not a bad one. I had to. I, I didn't know that was a thing, so I, I was scared of think I thought that like okay, because I'm not from the West, okay, you can't don't cancel me. I don't know anything. So uh-huh. I don't know what's like a bad, bad word or just like a casually bad word. Like you can use it and things you cannot, you know? So I have to learn these things. So no, I remember that makes being sense. like Yeah, so I had to be like, I need to ask like anyone that's British if I can say this word. So I had to be like, Hey, can I can I say that like like, I forgot what it's called. There's one more called, like, sh- Shag? Shag. Yeah, I didn't know what it was. I was in a, I was in a collab with a bunch of my friends, and uh. one, like, I said, like, can I say this, like, on stream? So <laughs> then I had to, like, go to them, and I whispered to them, and I forgot they were also streaming so they could hear me. So I was like, hey, can I say the word Shag? And at that time, it was with Vox. And I was like, hey, Vox, can I say the word Shag? And he's like, what? I was like, can I can I say the you know the, the S word like S H A G? Because I'm so scared. Like I'm like, what if I get canceled? You know? Yeah, no, like, yeah, what if it's I like you, really bad? And he just said like super out loud. It's like, oh shag, yeah, of course. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna shag your mom. And then I just ran away. Got him. Say, but I was so scared. So shag, <laughs> I know shag as in like uh like I had a shag rug, and. A shag haircut. <gasps> what does it mean over there? Shag your mom. Apparently, it's like fucked. I think. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, so I got. You know scared. what? I know one. I know one. I know a British one. Oh, what, 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 what? I know. I I know a, a British one that for some reason made me laugh really hard. But it's very like mature. It's very. You know. Oh, test me on my British vocabulary. I I'll, okay, 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 I, okay, I okay, 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 okay. I don't know okay. why, but the word spunk. <laughs> what is spunk? 
wrong. It's like. Spunk. <laughs> spunk. Spunk. What the it fuck means. Mean? I think that's the word for like semen over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Like that's like. What? I heard about this for the first time because I do have a friend that's from Britain and he's like the of the ge degenerate kind. And he he told me this and I'm like, there's no way that there are people out there saying, can, can you spunk on me? I need to fact me? check you. I'm, I'm going to fact check you right now. I'm going to be like, <laughs> let me ask one of my British friends. What does spunk mean? Which one are you asking? Which one? Uh anyone i'm asking all of them whichever one's awake <laughs> oh you mean spunk they said uh, spunk yeah it, yeah yeah what well, does it mean dude I, i'm getting fact checked by mika's friends i kind of yeah, this is I'm, awesome I'm, I'm the ones replying is mr he, <laughs> he is said, he you mean spunk. he's british yeah i think right he does old, have an like, accent but i don't know british. I think he's British. I, I don't know. He said, um, oh, he said it can mean come or someone with a lot of energy. Like, oh, yeah, that's what I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I noticed, uh, no, uh, ah. like basically, uh, saw it for the longest time was, uh, oh, she's got a lot of spunk. Yeah. Well, I, I yeah. never even heard like she got a lot of spunk. Now, now it means two different things. I also knew, I just yeah. found out a couple of days ago that bird means girl in British, right? And it scared the living shit out of me because I was playing a game and there's this British guy that was talking so fast and I understood nothing. And he was like, oh, yeah, like I, I met a bird yesterday and like, I guess it didn't work well. You know, like we had a couple of drinks together and it won't work well. And I was like, you guys are fucking birds. What's wrong with you? That's kind of fucked up. Like, that's that's kind of fucked up, dude. That, that's like kind of I love fucked British up. And I was people, so dude. Scared. They're like my favorite Apparently, people. bird means girl. <laughs> Man. Imagine if you said like you you did it with a girl and you're like I did it with a bird. It's like <laughs> I, I would be, I'd freak out. I'd be, I'd call someone on you. It's kind of fucked up. Wow. Yeah. Well, kind of crazy. I didn't know that <laughs> birds and and girls went hand in hand. Yeah, apparently it's because like chick, like a chick. You know? Oh. And, like a girl. Yeah. Is what they said instead of a chick. Kind that of makes weird. Kind okay. Of, kind of kind of mind blowing. No, I I agree. I agree. Uh, there's a lot of terms that I'm like, oh wow, this this definitely is English, and uh, yeah, it definitely meant one thing, but it also means another. It's very strange. Yeah. I uh, will say I, I don't that, understand any. <laughs> oh, I agree. No, I I as a you know we're we're both fellow yeah. ESLs. You know we have yeah. English second language. That's what ESLs are. ESLs unite. Yeah, like that type I can't of situation. Even high five you. That's kind of fucked up. Uh, yeah, you can't. It's one of the cons of being a, a VTuber, I guess. But God damn it. for the most part, when it comes to like the English language, there is like so many new words that are coming up that I'm just I can't keep up with it. Same. Like, like the newest one. Like there's another term actually. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with this one. Uh, is Riz. Oh, I know Riz! Me too! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know Riz. Riz is like I, one of those that was like, what in the fuck is that? <laughs> I forgot. Someone in chat gaslit me because someone said that like Riz was another word. Like it came from another word that meant like harassment, like harassment. And I was like, oh, so I'm harassing someone. It's like, that's what Riz means. Harassment? Yeah, because it's like, yeah, the word Riz came from the word harassment. You know, when you're harassing someone by being like, hey, baby girl, what you doing tonight? Like, that is harassment. <laughs> and I was like, oh, cool, cool, cool. And then that's why when people were like, Mika, no Riz. I was like, that's a good thing. And then apparently it meant charisma. And I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, got gaslit. Actually, that's a yeah, term I, fucking... I just recently learned too. Gas, gaslighting. Oh, you know, um, gatekeeping. I yes, uh, I knew that one because of my roots. Uh, as a uh, so mm. I I'm a I, I I basically played a lot of fighting games, so I went oh, to okay. a lot of casuals and I went to a lot of locals where a bunch of people come out and they play fighting games, 
And uh, for the longest time, I was the guy that gatekept all the newbies from entering uh, like top eight or something like that. So, yeah, I'm very familiar with gatekeeping. It's great. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. Yeah, fuck them sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be a tree to enter this area. <laughs> Is that what? Oh, I didn't. I thought gatekeeping was like hiding information. No. Wait, what? Wait, what? Hide right? information? No, I thought. Wait, isn't that like a? Like, no, it's like a person who like, I'm the keeper of the gate. And to go through no. the gate. And to go through the gate, you have to get through the gatekeeper. Bro, I have no? like a pea-sized brain. I'm a VTuber. Okay, I have no clue what the fuck. Like, are are you gaslighting me right now? <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. I need to look up a tutorial on YouTube to do that shit. I have no idea how to do that. You don't know how to gaslight someone? No. How do you gaslight someone? Uh. Okay, do it to okay, me man. right now. Do it. Do it. Uh. Do it. Fuck. Now you're putting it on the spot. Well, do it. If you're, He's if... doing it right now. I, you are gaslighting me. You are what? gaslighting me. I'm I... reading chats. He's like, he's doing it right now. Isn't I, I thought gatekeeping is like when, let's say you have access to something cool. And I'm like, hey, how do I do that? And you're like, I don't know. You're kind of gatekeeping me from the information. Kind of being a douche. Yeah. So it's, it's the same. Like, like, you know, the information is behind the gate. Yeah. And I am the gatekeeper. Yeah, but in your situation, you're just being an ass. <laughs> 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 kidding. <laughs> kidding. Listen. Uh, that is that it, it is what it is. It is Honestly, what it is. I kind of relate to that though. I, I'd do the same if I was you. <laughs> if you're not I'd never get into top eight, but like I if I was in top eight, I'd do the same thing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I wouldn't really get to top eight myself. I would just basically like this is this is the, the the layer that you have to break through, and that layer is me. Ooh, That's actually, I goes. have a term. I have a term that I, I'm gonna see if you know. Uh, okay. Do you know what an alpha is? Uh, yeah. Uh, ah, like fuck. like a leader of the pack and stuff, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh God! But like you know, like the 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 like terminology of like. Alpha, betas. Yeah, it's like, uh, well, there's like, um, yeah, 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 like the, uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Like, I feel like I'm missing something. A, it, it's in a more like that kind of sense of like alphas and like, you know, the Omegaverse? The, uh, the Omegaverse? Yeah, do you know what that is? No. Aha! Finally! Something I know that you don't. Okay. There might be a lot of things that you know that I don't. I doubt it. But, 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 but like please enlighten me. What is the Omegaverse? Um, so, it's like a genre of uh, like okay. anime plus usually. Not all the time, but usually so basically you know how the alpha is like like the leader right and then there's yeah. like betas that are just like betas and then omegas like, are um, like omegas what are they called uh beta cucks yeah beta cucks yeah okay okay and then and then there are like omegas that like what are the omegas what can, do they do they can give birth and like release birthing smells and the alphas are like oh birth smells <laughs> i i just found that out as well like i think i knew about that a year ago when someone was like oh man the omega birds and i was like what the fuck is that and then i searched into it <laughs> just needed to get the chat's reaction there <laughs> chat uh, i know chat knows what i'm what i'm talking about basically it's like Low key though. L low key though. Not bad. Like <laughs> low key though. It's not even that bad. Like the plots are usually good. You know. It's like wait, wait, wait. Plot. Is this a story? Wait, what? 
Oh, it's an it's anime. Oh, you mean it's an anime? No, it's like a genre. Of like, anime. It's a genre type. Yeah, of, of anime. I'm, str- I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head around this. Okay, hold on. So there is a genre of anime that's out there, right? Yeah. Follow- yeah you you yeah, feel yeah. me? So there's a genre of anime that's out there where they have alphas, mm-hmm. where they're like the leader of the yeah. pack, possibly toxic, mm-hmm. but they're very uh, big on leadership, right? And then you yeah, have yeah, yeah, yeah. the betas. Yes. And the betas are the like the beta cucks right yeah yeah like the 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 one that comes after the alpha yeah and then there's the omegas that give off a scent to attract you to like mate okay yeah so the alphas are like they also produce scent so the omega sniffs the alpha they go like and then they're like, oh my god, boy smell. And then they release boy smell. And then now they make boy smells together. Oh. <laughs> so that that's the term for that? Yeah. Well, you know. I mean, I, I I know that's like a that's like a characteristic, right? It's like a, a thing. Well, it's like natural, like human. Cause okay, like, do you know about like the immune system? Yeah. Like, apparently with certain animals, okay? And apparently this also happens with humans, too. So there are certain animals out there Uh that they basically have strong immune systems. Like, really strong. Like, they can fight anything. And certain, let's say, omegas can pick up on that can pick up on your immune system, and they're just uh-huh. more generally attracted to you. So you're telling me you sniff, like, and, you and, and, sniff, and, you're a sniffer. Are, no. are you, like, telling chat that no, no, that's no, 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 how no, 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 you no. found? <laughs> no, 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 no. So, so, like... <laughs> Oh my my weak immune system I'm attracted. No 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 no. It's the other way around. If it's not attractive, I, uh-huh. I mean if it's not strong, then the omegas uh-huh. don't want anything to do with them. Oh, okay, okay. But if they have a strong and the thing is they can't you can't smell it. It's just something that it's like subconscious. Right. Oh, okay, right, right. And that's how so, they 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 find mates. So you're telling me, right, that yeah. I can't find a lover because I cannot physically sniff anyone. No, 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 no. You don't even have to sniff it. <laughs> well, do, you I have a nose, do? right? I mean, I see it right there. Yeah, I know. I'm breaking the... As long the, as you I'm have that. Like other VTubers. As long as you have that, you have the capability to find a mate with a strong immune system. But what if your immune system's weak? <laughs> you gotta get them games back, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Hit the gym? I don't know. Yeah, but... <laughs> Just get educated work on yourself i don't know <laughs> <laughs> this is how this is how he's been winning chad now you know you just have to sniff people you go to a bar right but like, like hold on you, you find you the person with the highest them. immune system it's just something so you just ask them it's like like do you know how like okay <laughs> this is going first date gr- questions th- you know it's like what what's how, how how strong is your immune system really strong oh my god really Oh wow! How, how strong? <laughs> this is this is turning a, a, a weird turn, but like I, I, I want to say. Okay, to be fair, I didn't know it was real. <laughs> I didn't know it was a real thing. I thought it was a genre. Kind of but weird. like that's uh, it's like based on like the the freaking um like actual like animal behavior. Yeah, like, I'd like to. Th- I mean, I, I, I'd like to biology. think we're better than that. I don't know. Well, like, okay. Like what if you have a sinus? Okay, how about, um, do you know how, okay. Stop me mm-hmm. if this sounds a little weird, but do you know how, like, I, okay, listen, I just learned about this too, so don't, don't blame me. But do you know how pheromones work? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a fake thing. You know, like, people make it as a genre. Oh, really? Don't look at me that way. No, 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 that's real. No? Like, do, what, what are, fe- okay. Like, not really. It's basically like, um, wait, am I saying that right? I don't think it's pheromones. I think it is pheromones. 
I thought it was like a like a genre specific. No. Like it's only there for fiction. No, 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 no. It's not pheromones. It's ovulation. Pheromones? What, what is the chat? Oh no no ovulation. Yeah, it's like yeah. Uh, well, okay. Like okay, when when <laughs> like let's say there's an animal and they're ovulating, right? And so like they basically the body just for some reason makes them look super super gorgeous for the mate to be able to reproduce. <laughs> it's like that, but like think of that, but with like immune system. Like that whole concept, just change the <laughs> ovulation part to like immune systems, and that's <laughs> that phenomenon. You know, actually, someone have told me about it where it's like apparently if you're ovulating, you look more attractive, but that's complete bullshit. Like I break out the most when I'm ovulating. It's fucked up. It's like I actually start getting acne and shit. Like I do not look good. It's yeah. it's bullshit. I I agree. I agree. But you ovulate too? Oh my god. No, no, no. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, hold on. That's not what I mean. <laughs> okay, hold on. You don't have to be ashamed about it. It's okay. Everyone goes through it. It's okay. At one point, it's going to get better. You know, you, you start like you, once it's over, right? Like the hormones are going to peel off your womb and then you're going to bleed. It's okay. You don't have to be scared. You know, it's a normal process of your body. You should accept it. It's, it's going to hurt a little, but. They have medicine. It's modern society coefficient. Don't be scared. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think this is where we end it. Let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about anime. <laughs> Wait, actually, now that you brought that up, I know a phrase. I remembered. I remember the term, but oh, I don't great. know if you would know this. You know? Okay. Uh, what, I, I learned this from a uh, Twitch streamer as well. Do you know what vabbing is? <laughs> what? Vabbing. Vabbing? Uh, vabbing. Vabbing? No. Yes. What is that? Good. Okay, now we can talk about anime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... Now we can talk about anime. That's, that's fucked up. What is... Okay, now you gotta tell... Okay, is it bad? Is it, is, is it toss-worthy? Uh, no, but it, it's, uh, it's the same, basically, I remembered this because of what we were talking about just now when it comes to, like, smells and stuff. Uh -huh. Apparently, it's a TikTok thing that it was a trend for women, like, apparently, you know how, like, when you go on a date, you want to smell good, so you put, like, perfume yeah. on, right? So the other person doesn't smell that you don't shower because you're a streamer. Yeah, uh, so I mean, okay, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I shower. I'm not like, yeah. uh, let's say, uh, let's just throw names out there. Uh, Onigiri, all right? I'm not like her where <laughs> she, do, she don't shower, all right? I shower. I smell good and all the time. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry. It's okay. No one, no one can smell you through your webcam. Don't worry about it. I got you. I know how that feels. I, you know, yeah. I actually wanted to figure out a way for them to actually look like I smell good. And I don't think you can uh, you... look like you smell good unless you actually smell good. No, that's not true. I'm a fashion nerd. That's actually not true. I can, like, break that point. Like, okay. you want to uh, know how to smell, like, how to look like you smell good? Yeah, yeah, It's, like, super easy steps, right? You, you don't wear, like, a, a, a hoodie, right? Like, hoodies are, like, a no-go, especially the ones with a zipper in front that's black with, like, white stripes. That, that basically, like, instantly tells you that you smell like shit. Okay. And then you don't wear, like, a dark blue t-shirt underneath that also gives it away. And then you don't wear, like, jogger, black jogger pants with headsets. And th that's, that's kind of it. It kind of makes you, like, just Is that your wear entire, that. You... Did you just describe your entire <laughs> outfit? <laughs> I'm describing your entire outfit. Shut the fuck up. Oh yeah, I just realized I look the same. <laughs> oh. But usually, people in their brain, if you're dressed with like body fitted outfits, you look like you smell good. Like tuxedos and suits will make people think you smell good. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you look yeah, like same a... thing with women when they wear like like a, a dress that is more body fitted, they look like they smell good. But 
that that's I agree with that. That's true. That's kind of weird. People but, are just weird. But I think there. Mm-hmm. I, I haven't found the way yet. But I think if you are, um, you can. I guess that's all dependent on like what other people have. Um, what other people have like seen. Like for example, okay, let me let, let, let me pull it back. Uh, while that is the way to be able to easily find out if they smell good, it's like they wear something nice. Mm-hmm. I also find it just as cool or just as good whenever they see them in person and they look like shit, but they smell amazing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Like, I love that. Like, you look like you're homeless, but you smell <laughs> like like you just came out of the shower. Beautiful you flowers. Wanna know? Yeah. <laughs> you want to know something super weird? There's like a fact that like completely useless by the way i mean maybe it's useful i don't know but i learned this from experience right Uh people think you know the fabric fleece it's usually Uh, what they have in hoodies yeah yeah yeah. like if you wear fleece or if you wear yeah fleece and dry fit fabrics if you wear that people's brain will associate it to smelling bad because uh when you wear them and you sweat this like it basically traps in heat right it traps on your like moisture of your body so because it traps it in it smells a bit more so people have associated bad smell with those kind of fabrics when you wear them by default because of their experience because usually they smell bad because they trap in smell like if you wear the outfit you're wearing now and you go into a kitchen and cook something that smell will be on you until you wash it or until you like hang it up so same thing with wearing dry fit outfits when you go jogging afterwards you automatically smell a bit more fishy because you sweat and it traps in the smell and people associate it with that so even if you smell good if you wear it people would be like oh you're gonna smell bad that's why people assume you look homeless and smell bad but it's because you're wearing fleece genuinely most Hmm. of the time Wow, random fact actually that's something i didn't know that... random mind fact wow that's some that that's actually <laughs> most of the time you actually don't smell it's just because people already think you smell then you smell because already people already think you do it's like a weird subconscious thing people do without noticing okay hold Fun on fact. i need to have a heart to heart really quick chat mm-hmm. real talk I showered, I groomed, I put on deodorant and cologne. Do I look like I smell? (laughs) Like, be real with me here. Do I look like I smell? (laughs) Show chat on screen. (laughs) Someone just said you look wet. You look wet made me laugh. <laughs> it's okay, man. It's it's okay. Like no one's gonna no one's gonna know, you know. I, I I'm here in the room. He smells great, chat. Trust me. He smells Wow, is this is this b- b- the the perfume you wear most of the, wow. Do wow. you know what I wear? Like real talk. Can I guess? Go ahead. Okay, is it a perfume or is it a body mist? It's a cologne. Uh, Whatever body that is. Spray. <laughs> I'm insulted. Oh, I'm I didn't offended. Know that, like, a lot of people wear Axe. Uh, no offense, I'm going to hate it, but like. I, I, I will dog on anyone, uh, anybody wearing Axe. Oh my god, same! I, I fucking will dog. hate the smell. No, you just said I know plenty of people. Like, it was like a good thing. Yeah! That's normal. Everyone gets axe. Like a lot of guys are just like, I'm I just gonna get this I never axe get smell. Axe. You will never see me wear axe unless it's like so, like an emergency. I'm like a, a convention and someone's like, Does anybody have any deodorant anywhere? And they pull out axe. That's the only time that I might oh actually. Oh my god, you're so based. Okay, yeah. okay. But what do you use then? I I uh you know what? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get the cologne and you're gonna see it. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, you're he's gonna, gonna leave me it. with you guys, chat. Guys, help me! He's holding me as a hostage! Should I actually... 
tell him what VAB is. Because I feel like now that the topic's over, I feel like the dude should be spared the All burden right. of knowing what the fuck. Oh. Look at this. Look at this. What does that look like to you? Oh, <gasps> you have G. Oh my god. Look at that shit. Okay. Look at that shit. That's right. Okay. That's right. Angel Armani. Okay. Yeah. I smell like a case. All right. Actually, pretty based. That's not just. That's the like the original and their most popular brand, dude. It's. I am a huge fan of cologne, and smelling good. What's Not my bad. night scent? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Giorgio Armani is pretty based. I'd say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's, 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 it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Do you have any like, uh, like favorite good perfumes? Like favorite perfumes or colognes or whatever? Oh, uh, Gucci. The Gucci floral one is my favorite. Gucci floral, huh? Okay. Yeah, it's. Like I, the, I like Gucci I, too. Gucci's like good. The, yeah, they have like the Gucci one that's like, it, the bottle's pink and then there's like green stuff on it. It's like fauna version. That shit smells good. But for men, I like YSL. I think men with YSL smells good. I I, like, I have not heard of YSL. What's that? Uh, I can't pronounce their name properly. It's Yves Saint Laurent. I think it's like a oh, brand. Oh, you type okay, YSL. Yosef, yeah, Yosef, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Their perfume for men is so good. Like that's a good one. Smells nice. Yeah, that's probably the only two I would recommend, like, me wear. I Aside like, that, I've never um, heard anything. uh, I like, yeah, uh, Giorgio Armani. Uh, I also really like, um, uh, Pomme de Terre Hermes. Oh, uh, it's not like expensive though. Oh, yeah, actually, uh, I like that brand a lot cheap. because that's my real name. Like, my name is uh, Hermes Pomme? or Hermes. Oh, <laughs> No, <laughs> like no, no. <laughs> no, like Aramis. Oh shit! Yeah, like that. His that's name like is my Bougie brand. Yeah, it's like, uh, and for the longest, I tell this story every time. Uh, but I uh, have a brother, and his name is Apollo. So Ooh. it's myself and uh, Aramis and Apollo, and I was always jealous of him growing up because he always had all the different names. They had like, um, uh, what is it? Apollo Ono, uh, Apollo oh. 13, Apollo Burgers, which is True. a chain. Fat, it's like mm -hmm. a chain restaurant. So there's a lot of Apollo in general, right? But uh, there was, mm -hmm. I was like, no, nothing named Hermes or Hermes or whatever, you know? And Hermes. then that's when my mom took me aside is like, all right, come here, mijo. Look. <laughs> Ven pa' aquí, chico. All right. Look at this. And she showed me a $40,000 purse. Dude. That is from a brand called Hermes. Do and you I'm like, know? Like, have you ever bought Hermes before? Yes. Just to say that I have. I really? Bought, uh, yes, I bought a uh, I bought a ninety dollar pair of underwear. That's their cheapest product. <laughs> <laughs> Just to say, I bought from Hermes. Yeah. <laughs> I support it. I support it, guys. Yeah. It's great. You want to know the process of getting a bag in Hermes usually? Well, how you go through a oh. waiting list. Yeah, there's like a list, right? Yeah, like I, I had like this super bougie friend. Like that's all she complained about. I was out here complaining like, oh my God, I barely have $2 to get lunch. And she's like, oh my God, yeah. And I have, I'm like in a waiting list for Hermes now. It's been like two months and I'm actually dying. Like it's going off brand like soon. And I'm like, bro, I'm fucking starving. Like shut the <laughs> fuck But I'm going to pretend like I can relate to you. So I, I, was like, oh I don't God, know what really to eat please? tonight. <laughs> yeah, she was like, I was in a waiting room for two months now, Mika. Like, it's crazy because, like, they keep releasing new designs. And, like, I've been waiting for two months. And I'm like, bro, I'm starving. Like, should I get a McDonald's or should I starve tonight? And I'm like, yeah, dude, that is so relatable. That is actually my problem, too. <laughs> so, <laughs> real talk, like, with those, I, I have some bougie friends as well. Do you humble yeah. them at all? Uh, no, because, like, listen, man, I'm not gonna bite the hand that feeds me, girl. You know, <laughs> shit. Uh, like... True, true. But here's the thing. Fuck that. I'm grounding them real <laughs> quick. I'm humbling them so fast. Not on my no. watch. You're not gonna flex your Rolex and your fucking Swiss Diver Army watch or whatever and your nice Giorgio Bro. Armani suit and shit and not expect me to talk mad shit on you. <laughs> 
I humble I only people talk real shit quick. If you're wearing like Supreme, that's it. Like if you're wearing Supreme, I'm gonna humble you real quick. I'll be like, girl, come on now. So Supreme, I, you. I don't understand Supreme. I don't get it. I don't either. I it, I don't either. Uh, it's like the jacket, right? That's how it all it's in kind everything. Of, but like that—that's how it like got popularized, right? Is the jacket? I think so. It's like the you know they, they stand and they stand menacingly and stuff like that, and it's like a five hundred dollar jacket or something like that, and it's sold out everywhere. Yeah, I, I have never liked Supreme. I'm not gonna lie. Like I would I say like that they're good, but I can't say that. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. 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 That. 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 That's good. No. Uh. When it comes to, I saw a a store um with uh supreme and mm -hmm. they had actually it was really cool they had the thing called um or they had an arcade cabinet for mortal Kombat. Ooh, okay. and they had like a bunch of supreme everything and i was so tempted to buy it <laughs> but then i saw the price oh. tag and i'm like maybe maybe next time yeah that's the thing right like Oh my god, do you want to know this? I, I know a lot of things about brands because I'm like a fashion nerd. But I can't like... You must be insane if I'm if you think I'm going to spend like $40,000 on a bag, okay? You must be fucking out of your mind. Agreed. But I'm going to pretend like I will, you know? I'm going to be like, oh my god, this is not it. Like, it's because I can't afford it. But you're not going to know that. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I think it's outrageous that people spend over $30 for a pair of shoes. For shoes, I agree, but for bags, actually, it makes sense. It's an investment. High key. Did you know that? Like an an investment. I'm serious. I I'm like sad to say I'm actually like for shoes. I'm on the same boat, 100. percent But bags, not really, because uh, if you buy a certain type of brand, uh -huh. and it's usually very bougie, expensive. I'm talking about like Chanel classics or uh, Hermes actually as well. If you uh -huh. buy those bags, the price doesn't go down. And if you wait long enough, the price actually goes up because what they do is they would release the stocks. And if there is any that they haven't, like it's not bought, they will literally destroy it. So it's, it's going to be limited edition. So it gets really? more expensive. A lot of my friends do this thing where they buy a bag and then they use it for a week and keep it in like mint condition. And then they resell it for like 1% higher price. Huh. And that's like an easy $300. Wow. I, so, I, I wasn't aware of that. That's actually kind of nuts. It's specific though. It's not all the time, but it's for specific brands. I meant, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. They can't just yeah. do that with like guests or something like that, right? No, like no. Ralph it's Warren. a very specific thing. Yeah. yeah. That's why a lot of like my bougie friends, they don't want to settle for like, less than chanel because it can't be really an chanel. investment you know like they like to think they're smart but like i can't even afford the damn thing i will stick with like putting it in my piggy bank bruh yeah i i agree no no 100 percent. i i can't in good <gasps> conscience wear something that expensive i think the most yeah. expensive thing i have on me is i think it's this uh watch that my dad gave to me a long time it's a it's a russian diver watch it's like uh really nice it's it's uh i think it's around five hundred dollars um no 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 it's like no that's too much no i think it's like 250 bucks uh i think it's from Ooh. invicta i want to say either invicta or fossil i can't no it's not fossil i don't i don't, I don't wear fossil uh but fossil. Inv invicta i think it's invicta uh but that's the most expensive underwear thing. <laughs> oh yeah, my ninety dollar underwear. Your ninety dollar underwear. Don't forget it's branded. I actually, Bruh. I don't know where that underwear is. It's gone. That's kind of fucked up. Uh, I, 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 it's gone. I don't know where it is. I actually have a bunch of branded stuff, but most of them are gifts. That's why I said I can't like roast my rich friends, you know, because they give me good gifts. Okay, here's the thing. All right, like I said, like when I said uh, I won't spend over thirty dollars for a pair of shoes. However, if you want to give uh -huh. me a pair of shoes that's over $30, I'm okay with that. Because to me, that's free. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes, I won't spend like more than $30 on shoes, but I would gladly spend $1,500 on some random game online to get a PNG character. <laughs> it's kind of true. Yeah, no. I, I, that, that's just, it's called smart investment, you know? Can I show you One something? One thing you can wear? Yeah. Okay. What is it?
I did an IRL stream, and I took chat with me. Uh huh. And I told them they could buy one thing from the store. Oh, <gasps> you got the booba sword! What the fuck? Yeah, this is chat sword. Uh, how much did it cost? A hundred. Well, how much was it, chat? One hundred eighty bucks or something. <laughs> Oh, he got the tit sword. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I don't think this is the booba sword, but I think this is the right sword to. This is Ayaka sword. This is. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's not the booba sword. It's not the one that Raiko pulls. Oh, well, not Raiko. Raiko's fate go. Um, what's her name? Raiden. Yeah, Raiden Shogun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Miss Splitter. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, the Miss Splitter. This is uh, so I played Genshin for the longest time as well. Uh ever since it came out actually and so i consider to have beaten genshin impact like it's it, it's impact done has beaten me Fuck it. <laughs> yeah no yeah yeah it's still beating you right <laughs> do you still did. play it i don't because i i literally i spent so much money on it and so much time i used the stream on twitch specifically so i can play genshin uh -huh. But then I missed the Hutao banner that I've been waiting for like a year on now. And then I gave up and my mental's fucked now. So I never touched the game again. Chat, when I tell Until you that she out. was she was literally like snot down her, her face. Yeah. Tears rolling down mascara completely ruined. That was Mika She's earlier right. in the call when she was talking yeah. about Hutao. And I'm like... I was broken. I'm absolutely broken, chat. Like, fuck it. I was, I was so heartbroken. I, I was on a break. It broke me. <laughs> well, I mean, like, okay, so is Hu Tao, like, your favorite character in Genshin? Yeah, I love her design. I love her attack. Everything about her, I love. My favorite character <laughs> is Ayaka. Oh? Why? And I played Ayaka, and I, I got her to, like, level 90. I got the Mist Splitter. I don't even roll the weapon banner at all. Uh, but I got the Mist Splitter. I got Ayaka level 90. I got Mist Splitter level 90. And after that, I considered Genshin Impact to be defeated. It's done. I beat it. That's kind of based. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I'm, and I'm, I, I'm pretty happy with how I left Genshin. Now they, apparently they have like, I don't know if you've been keeping up with Genshin, but I have uh, a mod that's really into Genshin. And, uh, you know, they have um, like a desert place now and, yeah. Uh, seems like they have some cool stuff um going on right now, which is great. Yeah, there's apparently a lot of like new characters that are attractive and I see them in my POV hot guys playlist. Oh wow. Genshin characters that are attractive. Can you believe that? <laughs> Can you believe that? Oh my god. You know, Breaking oh, news. A couple of days ago, I actually posted something on Twitter that kind of blew up and I got so upset because like Anytime I tweet something, it never fucking blows up as much. And then, <laughs> uh, you know, there are things called like POV playlists on YouTube where they just merge like songs, right? Like good POV? songs. They make it into a playlist. Yeah. Like they make it into a decent playlist. And then they would title it like POV. Um, you're alone with him and he will do anything for you. Something like that. Like, I know it's cringe, but hear me out. It's actually pretty fucking good. Like, they pick good songs and they merge it well. You have to give it a chance. But, like, I posted that, like, I have been binge listening to these songs on loop. So I posted my history on YouTube, on Twitter, right? And all they see is just, like, pictures of, like, hot Genshin characters with, like, <laughs> POV. You are with... um. You are with one of this character and you're alone and he wants to he wants to do whatever he wants to you. Stuff like that. And then people are fucking judging me because they think it's an ASMR. But it's not. It's just a playlist. But people genuinely thought I listened to like ASMR of I don't know, D look ramming me in the ass or something. Unironically. Oh. <laughs> and it blew up. Yeah. <laughs> so Usually sad. when I hear about uh wait, it's so <laughs> How do you pronounce his name? <laughs> D D D Luke? D Luke or yeah, D Luke? I don't know. I'm I'm also ESL, bro. <laughs> D I, I don't know either. That's the thing. I'm trying to ask you. I, I, think, I, think I don't it's know. D Luke. Someone in chat said D Luke, like spelling his name out. Oh yeah, it's I'll hide them as another one. We're like, I'll hide them. We'll do anything to get you. POV. D Lock. Oh, D Luke. 
I guess it is D-Luke. It's D-Luke, D-Luck, Deluxe Edition. I don't know. I used to cut up D-Luke. <laughs> a lot of people got upset at me. I, I have a long history of people getting upset at me because I mispronounce character names. Ooh. I mag- I just kind of, I don't pronounce them. I'm just like that guy, this guy, that girl, this girl is what I always say because I don't yeah. remember names very well. See, I would do that too, but I really like pissing people off with like the names. <laughs> uh like there's another um uh, thing called grand blue fantasy and mm-hmm. there's a character called uh oh god what's his name it's uh who's that what's his name again oh god chat get please tell me um he's in versus super op what's his name again not be yeah belly Al. oh but it's like pronounced belial it is yeah, but I pronounce Blind. as Belial. I would and pronounce as get Belial. So, yeah, I, I, dude, I people get so upset at me. And then another one is uh, Beezlebub. But it's Isn't not it called Beelzebub? Uh I thought it was Beezlebub, but it's not. Beezlebub. Yeah, I, I, I'd say Beezlebub. Well, I call Beezlebub. him Bubs. I call him Bubs now, <laughs> but uh, like Beezlebub, and uh, it's actually like pronounced as Beelzebub. It's pronounced Beelzebub? Yeah, Beelzebub. I just thought the name was Beelzebub. Yeah, Bil- Beelzebub? <laughs> like like Build-A-Bear? Like Beelzebub? <laughs> yeah, like Build-A-Bear. <laughs> Bil- Build-A-Bub? <laughs> I love mispronouncing <laughs> names. It's one of my favorite things. Okay, can and you pronounce my full name? Uh, Mika Melatica. Hey! You actually did it right! Yeah, M- Mika Melatica. Yeah. You actually pronounce it right. A lot of people pronounce it Mika Melatika. Melatika? Yeah, so, a lot sound of like my a, friends are like Mika Melatika. Sound like a character from Lord of the Rings. That's what I said. It's like, why would you Mika think it's called Melatika? Mika of the Melatikas. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people say Melatika instead of Melodica, which is, Melatica. I would think it makes sense. It's like Melodica. But I just let people be at that point. I'm just like, yeah, dude, just call me Malatika. Who cares? I sound like a teacup, but okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> There's a lot of emphasis on that for some reason. It's really funny. Uh, but yeah. I, no. I will say, um, I think uh, when yeah. it comes, because um, I think that has to, a lot to do with, uh, what is it? Our language, that our native mm-hmm. language. And uh, people that, I mean, like, it's... Like what? What? What's the what's the official language? What's the name of the language that you say? Oh, you know what? This reminds me of something that I had to ask you, but we'll talk about this first. Uh, what's the language uh-huh. that you uh, the, the speak? What's the official name? Indonesian. Is it just Indonesian? Yeah, Indonesian. Okay. Okay. So like Bahasa Indonesia. But it's but Bahasa Indonesia. Okay. Yeah. So like those, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> like I think Indonesian uh, or Bahasa Indonesian is. Um, very similar to uh languages like spanish and portuguese and italian and stuff like that i think they that like phonetically they are very similar at the oh maybe like phonetically and that's what makes it so we can pronounce our names like the way that we pronounce it and other people pronounces it like you know like they're uh, yeah. I, I call them gringos uh gringos like <clears throat> melodica uh you know like uh tortilla uh quesadilla no, stuff like that right uh true 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 so that's i think that's the reason why like i'm pronouncing it right and and other people aren't so that makes sense actually i i know that like some people said that indonesian sounds similar to tagalog which is kind of crazy because i forgot that tagalog was the language uh people in the philippines spoke because uh-huh. in my stupid brain, right, I just add the word knees in the end of everything. Like Spain, Spanish, Japan, Japanese. Uh, Japanese. Huh. So when I hear Philippines, yeah. I go Filipinis. <laughs> so I remembered, like I, I covered, like I did a Indonesian cover of Millie's song, Osana Konalang, in Indonesian. Okay. And I was like, yeah, I can't pronounce Filipinis. So I had to, you know, I, I thought I'll do a spinoff in Indonesian. They're like, what the fuck did you just say? Yeah, I was like, the, my chat was like, what the fuck did you just say? And I was like, Filipinis? And they're like, me, because it's Tagalog. And I was like, oh, fuck, I forgot. I completely <laughs> forgot. I zonged. 
So I kept calling it Filipinis for, until today. I still accidentally call it Filipinis and I'm so scared. Filipinis. <laughs> yeah, Filipinis. <laughs> I'm like, that just kind of sounds a little wrong, doesn't it? And yeah, it's because it's called Tagalog. Apparently it sounds similar. Okay, so this that. is this is one thing I, I needed to ask you because apparently like this came up in my stream and I need they're like, mm -hmm. you should tell this to Mika. Uh so oh, yeah, yeah, tell me. <clears throat> I did it so do you know about Javanese? Oh yeah, for sure. So I didn't know that was a language. So we were looking at Google Translate and <laughs> I saw Japanese and then I saw Javanese. And I'm like Uh huh what the fuck is a javanese and i immediately thought that it was uh what was it <laughs> okay listen i'm really dumb so don't judge me too much especially people out there don't cancel me okay i uh -huh. thought it was the language of like <laughs> jav like the like yeah the spicy yeah <laughs> i thought it was porn language porn yeah no what's well, kind of funny is i speak japanese <laughs> that, uh, that that's what, that's what <laughs> so, you know you're completely right i speak very fluent very very fluent japanese chat i i, I agree that's true so I, so I wanted to ask, uh, that this speak Japanese, huh? <laughs> I guess. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of, a lot of people like say like, oh my God, do you have a lonely man? And I'm like, yeah, I speak Japanese. Hey, that, <laughs> perfect. That's great. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I, I this is not the way i did not think the story was gonna go down this way a lot of people actually thought javanese was a programmer's language because of java that okay that was my second thought <laughs> that was my second thought because you know um i know about java because um what is it what's it called uh minecraft it was ran on java yeah. for the longest time yeah. uh and then after a while, it like switched over or something like. I'm not 100 percent sure, but like because of that, I knew what Java is. Um, yeah. But that's my second thought. Second yeah, we thought. speak in like commas and and numbers and stuff, like programmers <laughs> do. It comes naturally yep. to us. It, it's just what it is. Yeah. It like when numbers. I open Google, I interact with them. Zeros and ones. Yeah. <laughs> How many? That's why I can't play Minecraft, dude. Like I'm, I'm just gonna be a hacker. You know, I, I can speak to them instantly. I can see the numbers. <laughs> I can see what they're doing. So, uh, with that being said, I know you talked about shanking earlier. <laughs> so that reminds me of something, and I wanted to ask you: uh, Do you, uh, by any chance, watch a One Piece? No. Okay. Just. I, but I can pretend I like I do. That. I'm really good at pretending it. No, no, no. You know what's... Dude, everyone fucking tells me that, and it's so funny. <laughs> I, everyone tells... I had... Th you're my fourth guest on this show, and every single <laughs> one of them has told me I can pretend that like, I watched it. Let's talk about it. I'm like... Yeah. It's not the same, okay? It's not, it's not the same. I know some things in One Piece, you know? Okay, well, tell me what you know. I know that it's real. Haha! <laughs> -ha! I'm educated enough to make a joke about it. I know there was a um there's a guy that's like smoking a lot. Uh there is a guy with uh rubber hands. There is like multiple girls with big tits and like very disproportionate bodies, but like big tits. <laughs> Do any uh, of them fancy it. you? Uh, yeah, there's a character. I think their name was Boa or something. It's like a <gasps> girl. That's my favorite character. Her. Yeah, I absolutely love her. That's my favorite female character. I should say a female character. Yeah, oh, yeah. she is. She is mm, top quality. You know what she does? But I, that's it. No, but I know she's scary. She does this thing where she like bends backwards, like she's doing the limbo, and she points at you. What's a JoJo character? Yeah, it's kind of like a JoJo character, but not. She, like, goes like this. 
kind of hot though. Right? <laughs> I mean, kind of hot. Can someone make Mika fan art of her doing that? That would be sick. She's Can looking down make on you. Can yeah. fan art doing that? No, no. Actually, have you seen my fan art? No, not really. Here, let me show you. It's actually here. Like, I have it framed. Oh, here, okay, uh, the, okay. The, the camera that I have hooked up for her probably isn't. Here, look at this. Yeah, I'm going to tell you something, by the way, chat. I'm looking at you through, like, this different camera, and the quality is so different. What? Do you see that? Is that you? Yeah! I don't know whether you're showing me the Pepe or the big cool one. Oh, the big cool one. The big cool one, not the Pepe. Oh, the big cool one. Okay, so that's your feet. Oh, okay, not the feet, but like everything else. <laughs> you're only showing me the feet. Okay. Oh, that's cool. You see that? In the chancla? That is so cool. Yeah. In the chancla, and that is, that is Faith. That's my girlfriend up there. And that's Shuba, oh, that is which so is cute. Uh, uh, my, 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 my partner in crime, my streaming partner. She's over here. Uh, oh, cute. Which is the duck. And then that's Kevin. That's Faith's, uh, my girlfriend's pug. Oh, that's so cute. So, yeah, that is that is how it be. So, yeah, that, that's the fan art. And it's great. I love it. It's called Coco's Bizarre Adventure. It's great. Big shout out to Ice so who made that. That is awesome. Good job. Uh, but yeah, now you need to have fan art of uh, you pointing down at the chat, Boa Hancock style. <laughs> there's a, I think the recent fan art that I've been laughing at is there's this trend where it's like, uh, this is my fan art of insert your character here dying in a glue trap. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on. Yeah. Say like, that again. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah, there's one fan art that's like, this is my fan art of Mika Malatika dying in a glue trap. I just named myself Melatika just because I could. It's me dying in a glue trap. Like, I'm laying, uh, my whole body stuck on a glue trap, and I am dying. That's it, literally what it is. Do you, do you like it? I absolutely love it. I feel like they're kind of <laughs> exposing me for my lore, you know what I mean? It's like, you, you can't just tell the world my lore. That's kind of fucked up. So, but, but it's okay. So then... As long as I don't confirm it. So it's, I guess it's fine. <laughs> so okay, what what is your lore? Can you can you explain? I'm dead. Me? Are you like a I'm ghost dead. ghost girl then? Yeah, okay. I'm a ghost. I'm a kuntil anak. If you if you know what that is. Kunta anak. It's a kuntil anak. It's, it's kuntil an Indonesian anak. ghost. Okay. Yeah, we're like a imagine sadako, but oh, sadako. Okay, okay. Indonesian. Yeah, like an Indonesian version of her. And we okay. would like hide on the trees and then we would scout attractive people and be like, they're, they're kind of attractive. And then we're just going to follow them. And like, if they like kill them eventually, but we're going to ignore that part, you know? Okay. Like just for, for Twitch POS, like we don't kill them. We just like follow them, laugh a lot, make their life living hell, something like that. But yeah, actually, yeah. I don't yeah. know if a lot of people know this, but um, you know, the nail on my head. Oh, I thought that was, uh, you know, I thought that was like a chopstick that they, they put their hair up with. <laughs> a I didn't know that, that I was mean, a nail. Yeah, it's a nail. On my, oh. I'll, I'll do this so chat can see it a little. But I have a nail through my head and a lot of people were like, why the fuck do you have a nail in, through your head? It's because here in Indo, we believe that like, if you want to keep the Kundal Anaks away or keep them more tame, you uh -huh. put sharp metal objects like scissors or nails near them. So they just oh, don't that's attack actually you. really cool. That's neat. Yeah, so that's I like why that. I have it through my head. Ah. I got nailed. <laughs> True. Real. And that's like TLDR, my lore. But I just like to tell people I'm dead, bruh. And then I go like this. <laughs> like, I'm dead. Vine booms, huh? You got that? <laughs> yeah. You got the the, the, the vine booms lined up, huh? Yeah, it's always that's you know because people are like, "What's your lore?" And I'm like, "I'm dead, bro." Oh shit! <laughs> How to it. tell me you're a zoomer without telling me you're a zoomer? I'm actually a boomer. No one believes me sure. on this because I watch TikTok. I am like addicted to TikTok. It's I I need help, but like I am so addicted to TikTok. I just my attention span. Is only there for like a minute max, because like I've I've just been watching TikToks all day. 
You know what's really funny? So my, my girlfriend, she also watches a lot of TikTok. I don't I don't have TikTok so on my phone. I have a TikTok because I think uh, I like it as a platform that I can expand oh, and do shorts and stuff. Uh, boomer. But, uh, what? <laughs> continue, continue. Continue, Boomer. Continue. <laughs> Speak your funny Boomer language. What, what, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm continue, a Boomer because I have man. TikTok on my phone? Yeah, it's kind of... Why the fuck do you even have a phone? You don't watch TikToks all day? What's wrong with you? Are you serious? She said cancel him, dude. Uh, what kind of streamer doesn't watch TikTok? Just cancel I mean, okay, him, okay, no, listen. Gonna... I watch TikToks, but like in... I basically go to Reddit to... There's a subreddit that's only filled with like the best TikToks. What? I like Heike. Reddit? reddit user uh, no 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 here, okay hold on a minute no 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 it's no, no, no. Reddit let me explain user can't run. Oh, no. let me explain i don't i use reddit more often yes because but i i'm not like a reddit andy i you like know what's to nuts what i can't use reddit because it's banned oh okay <laughs> That okay, that makes sense. I have to turn on like a VPN to access Reddit, but at that point, right? Why mm -hmm. the fuck would you access Reddit if you already have a VPN on? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's true. No, so I, 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 really I get you. I get you. Person. That 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 makes. I mean, but like with me, that's how I uh, access certain parts of the internet because it's all in the hub, and I think that's really right, convenient. right. Yeah, so that's really convenient and stuff like that. Um, but uh, I know that I, I don't have TikTok on there because I have a very addictive personality and I know that I wouldn't get any work done. Oh my God, that's me. That's me right now. You're so yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't get any work done. And I have that already enough. Like, dude, there was one time because I do uh, YouTube shorts because, you know, it's in the app and I'm on, I do YouTube all the time. So it's just on the app. Mm -hmm. So I just, I just, if I, I have a few minutes to kill, I boot up YouTube shorts instead. And from my understanding, uh, TikTok is way better than YouTube Shorts when it comes to actual content. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's you know, uh, that worked. And, and logistically, that works out for me because if the content sucks, it makes me want to do other shit uh, ah. because it sucks. So on paper, it works. But in actuality, I still go through hours and hours of just stupid shit that I don't need to watch, but I watch because... You go to Reddit to watch TikTok. I go to TikTok to watch Reddit. We're kind of not the same. Oh, really? Wait, it is so... It is thing? an actual addiction. That's a thing. People would have like this... Um, Actually, I said this on my stream a couple of days ago where my... I have a clipper, right? Uh -huh. He's a little fucking nuts in the brain, but I let him be because I think it's funny. But uh -huh. what he would do is he would try to like find new things, right? To like fuel his creativity. Uh -huh. And me being a great person like motivates it. So he came up with this idea of him playing Minecraft and then he would like record himself and then he puts like a video of my clip in the middle and in the background, it's just him playing Minecraft, which is like what TikToks do, right? Because TikTok would have like this gameplay in the background as they're reading Reddit stories because people can't keep their attention span. Like they need to look at something to focus on the story. So my... Clipper thought that I was so painfully boring that I had to put like something to attract someone's attention. That's literally TikTok Minecraft. logic. Yeah. No, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. I know that phenomenon. And I personally think it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious. So it, it fucking works. And like, I can't even roast them, you know? Because like, probably when they sent me that clip i watched it from the start till the end and i absorbed more information from myself because they were playing minecraft in the background i was like oh my god i have to watch this till the end <laughs> and like i realized how fucked my brain has become like i can only watch something if there's either minecraft or fucking subway surfer in the background if not then like you lost me so there was this one so all <laughs> they all show up because the reason why uh uh, I watch TikTok cringe because some of these TikToks that get posted on there are like really popular, right? And the ones that are popular mm -hmm. are the ones that have those background type yeah. videos, right? So there was this one time where they posted a clip of, I don't know what it was. It was some sort of a drama show, like Beverly mm -hmm. Hills Housewives or something like that. And there was a really heated moment and stuff or 
uh, and, and stuff like that. And then in the background, they just have like that foam shit, like satisfying oh, like shits, like they yes, crush it down yes, hydraulic yes, yes. videos. Dude, yes. it just made watching that like shovelware, like bullshit drama TV so much more bearable. That dude, you don't know how painful it is because I would lay down until like 10 a.m. in the morning just because I want to watch part 158 of some random movie I could have watched in general. But instead, I go through like TikTok to watch parts of the movie instead of watching the movie just because they yep. have like the slime shit in the background. Yep, exactly. Sometimes they that post like full on fights, like yeah. Waffle House beatdowns, and they have like <laughs> fucking like yeah. like like oh, jello shit. or like slime or something yeah. like that in the back they would have like the most aesthetic shit ever and it's just like someone trying to kill someone else but like they'll yeah. be like squish 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 and i'm like oh my god this is entertaining this That's is good. great this is good for me like i get to yeah. see like the worst of people and the best of people all in one tiktok i think it's great it's i personally <laughs> love this new wave of tiktok logic i i personally love it some people are like i hate that logic it's so stupid i think it's great I don't know if that's me. I love it. Yeah, I don't know if that's me with like, you know, like ADHD brain. Like I I mentioned this earlier today. Like I don't know if I have ADHD, but I just know that sometimes I like to fidget with a lot of different things. Like uh I showed you my my toy. Oh yeah, you said this. Off yeah, yeah, yeah. I showed you my little toy. It's just yeah, he was like, sorry, Mika, if you're going to see me play with this, like, you know, I just need to fidget and makes my brain work and I'm like, don't worry about it. I feel like uh, I have five friends and all of them have ADHD. I, I have never once met a... None of my streamer friends do not have ADHD. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, I have seen people fidget with anything to the point that I it's just normal. And like, mm. I, I don't fidget, but my brain works if I see them fidget. So oh. like watching you fidget, I'm like, oh, I'm starting to think. But like, really? if I were to fidget... That's Yeah, level. because like fidgeting with something myself, uh, the sound... Like, the sound makes me distracted. And I'm just like, okay, shut the fuck... Everyone shut the fuck up. I need to spin my wheelie. Yeah. And then I just kept... Like, isn't this great? Yeah. Like, this, this is good. Is... I like watching people fidget. Like, this is like a TikTok. Yeah, this is a TikTok! This I wonder if TikTok I can make this is. into a TikTok. <laughs> I wonder if I can make this into a TikTok. And then it'll, like, actually work. And I'll get, like, a bunch of views. It probably will. I'm not gonna lie. Like we'll a just lot of times, that's how it works. We'll put our conversation about like uh <laughs> about uh waffle stomping and just have that in the background too. Like the thing in the background? Yeah. And like, yeah. That's how you become internet famous. I don't know. Don't forget me when you're famous, man. No, 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 no. You're don't <laughs> I'm glad you know me because you're famous. <laughs> oh my god, that's i I talked about this a couple of days ago. I don't think I'm famous. I really don't. I know people are like, oh my god, but you have this much subs. Yeah, but like I don't like if you're if you go outside, right? If you go to mm. a convention, they're like, do you know who Mika is? They're like Valkyrie's dog. <laughs> Wait, Valkyrie has a dog <laughs> a named Mika? Character? Yeah, I think so. Like, my name gets trending on Twitter a lot, and there are these like really wholesome viewers of mine that are so sweet. Every time they go trending, they would screenshot it and they would at me. They'll be like, Mika, you're trending. And I'm like, I'm I'm so sorry. If you click on it, you'll either see a dog or a Genshin character. It's not me. <laughs> a lot of people's name is Mika. So I'm always trending because my name is just so painfully generic. So I know Mika, the name Mika, because of a fighting game character in Street Fighter. And uh, have you heard of that character at all? No, I don't play. Oh my God, I'm so unbased. Ew. That's fine. I'm I mean, so like, to be honest with you, fighting games are like hardly like it's like one of those things where it's like you play because I, I, I'm part of the, the fighting game community. So I'm very hardcore into fighting games and and uh, all sorts of tournaments, and uh, I'm very deeply rooted in that. Like I, I, I know a whole bunch of different stories, and I, I've gone to tournaments and events, and I've I've lived through a lot of moments too throughout the the FGC. But <clears throat> so that's like a, like a I consider it to be like a really niche genre. I feel like so if it's okay if you're not a part of it because like or don't know much about it because it's like actually very niche. So you're good. Oh. You're good. But there is a character in Street Fighter Five. Well, technically speaking, they were in a, another game prior to that. But recently, Street Fighter Five, there's a character called Rainbow Mika. Rain <laughs> Rainbow Mika is a wrestler. She wears like uh, uh, uh like 
think of like a luchador. Like she wears like a freaking uh, like the the mask, and she wears like a, a wrestling attire, and she goes out. But the biggest thing about like uh, Mika uh, in Street Fighter is that her suit, as soon as she turns around, she has like her ass is just hanging out <laughs> all over. Like it's very her butt, her ass is basically like <laughs> the biggest thing about Armika to the point where a lot of her moves consist of her throwing her ass out there and hitting them with it. <laughs> The way, the way you say her ass, it reminds me of a TikToker. Also, oh, really? I love, just so you know, chat, he only did this because he wants to show you guys his ass. Just, just so you know, it's all planned no. before stream. No, he I just said ass like a normal person, but he decides to show you his ass. You know that video of like Jerma where he's like, with it. have you seen that video of Jerma where it's like the Thanksgiving thing? No, no, I actually, Jerma is one of those uh, content creators I just recently learned about, like last year. <gasps> So I, I have uh, – I'll talk to, uh, about this in a moment, but go ahead and finish your, your thing. You need to see Jer – there's, like, a video of Jerma, right, where he, like, videos himself um, next to, like, a mirror. And then he goes, like, Happy Thanksgiving. And then you can see the camera pan a little bit towards the mirror, and you just see the biggest dump truck of an ass. <laughs> really? So good. I didn't know who Jerma was, but somehow there is this editor, right, in the community uh, where they would edit – me or any Niji Sanji liver with Jerma. I and think it I've seen so real. I I I I have seen one of those clips. I've seen one of those clips. Yeah, it sounds so fucking real. And they were like, um, a clip from Mika X Jerma collab. And I was like, who the fuck is Jerma? And that's yeah. when I found out who Jerma was. And ever since then, I just watched him and I saw that big dumb truck of an ass. And I'm like, yeah, base, base. Right. Yeah, last year. So last year, uh, I I feel like I go through like a content creator, a big content creator that I never really heard of. And then I dive into like the rabbit hole that is their content for like a long time, uh, for a while. So last year I did Jerma. Uh, I found mm -hmm. out about Jerma, and I think when did I first hear about Jerma? I think the first time I heard about. Well, I think the first time I ever heard about Jerma was he was streaming on Twitch. He was streaming this one video game. I'm not 100 percent sure what it was, but he had like a bunch of viewers. I'm like, oh, it's just another big Twitch streamer, right? And then mm. uh, after that, I started to see, like, you know, with with all with the modern technology these days, uh, somehow they found out that I watched the Germa stream and they started recommending mm -hmm. me a whole bunch of shit. So uh, after that, I saw, what was it? Oh, God, I'm trying to remember. Oh, I think it was, God, I can't remember. What it truly was. Anyways, uh, long story short, uh, I basically, I found a clip or I found some sort of a game show or maybe, I don't remember, something like that with his name. And I saw it. I'm like, wow, this guy does a lot of stuff. Like, uh, he does. He's, he's not just a Twitch streamer. He's uh, more than that. Um, and then fast forward to now, he, he won like the stream awards recently and uh, does a bunch Ooh. of events that it's crazy. That's really cool. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool. So that was last year, right? Ooh. This year, uh, I recently started finding out about Asmongold. <laughs> that is the content creator that I just recently found out about uh, this year uh, was Asmongold. <laughs> and I'm, I'm currently diving in and because YouTube keeps recommending me his videos. <laughs> oh, God. Do you want to know something? What? Um, so, before this, I'm not, a, I'm not very educated with streaming culture and shit so i didn't know streamers yeah. i d i don't watch a lot of animes I i'm gonna be dead honest i didn't know a lot of things to the point I i've said this on my stream but i don't know if i've told you this mm. um before i started streaming as a vtuber i thought that i had to have a very cute voice and personality so i legit faked it like yeah. i faked my voice i faked my I whole entire that. personality to be like this cute girl, like pure girl thing, right? And then uh, a viewer of mine actually went like, oh, Mika, the moment you reach 20K subs, like, you know, I dare you to say a bad word. And at that time, I was like, oh, no, no. Like, I, unironically, I was like, oh, oh, maybe I can say one thing if that's really what you want. And my chat was like, yeah, I want to hear her say a bad word, right? 
Mm -hmm. So the moment I reached 20K, someone brought it up and I was like, oh, oh, I guess I have to do it for you guys. I'll I'll say one bad word, okay? And then I just instantly flipped. I was like, fuck you, you piece of shit. Suck my cock, Lamau. And then now I'm a streamer like this. Because back then, imagine it, right? This is how it switched. I was like, oh my God, Brick, really? Oh, I guess I will. If that's really what you want. Okay, okay, guys. Is that the (laughs) voice you used back in the day? Uh, no. Uh, you want to hear the uh, voice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it, okay, do it. Okay. I, w- I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Okay. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm really excited to be here with you today. Why are you so quiet? You're making me shy. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Hi. That, that's the voice yep. I'd use. Okay, my chat yeah. hates it, by the way. It's, it's insane because you know how people are like, oh my god, please do an uwu voice. My chat would fucking mauled every time I do it. I can do it more irritatingly because I've been practicing it. Unironically, I would watch so much anime moments so that I can improve my cute voice just for my viewers to hate it. <laughs> you know how horrible I'm, I'm like, shit, bro. I practice. Like, people would be like, I'm going to redeem an ara ara or I'm going to de- redeem an uwu voice. No one fucking likes it. Can you say the ara ara? I want to see. I want to hear that one. Really? Okay, okay. I practiced this one. I I actually practiced this one. Go for it. Go for it. I don't think it was so bad, but my fucking viewers cringed, bro. Like, pretty good. I would say that I'm pretty good at the. I don't know. People hate it. I I think that's pretty good. I mean, I thought that was pretty good. (laughs) I would say people hate the ara ara a little. Yeah, can we get some claps in the chat? That was pretty good. (laughs) The uwu voice people hate. Oh, uh, is, is the uwu voice? Is the uwu okay? Go ahead, do the uwu voice. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Oh my god! So I'm so excited to be here today. Why are you looking at me that way? No, just you just, think just I'm cute? pretend I'm not here. No, keep going. <gasps> Hi, Chad. How's your day today? I'm super excited. I can't believe I'm finally gonna be sitting here with coefficient. Uwu. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they 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 love it. They're having a good time I'm over pra- there. I practiced so hard. I, you know how much fucking anime moments I watched just so that I could like pull off a cute uwu voice? And okay. I would laugh like ha, 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 ha. that's how I would laugh. And then the moment they're like, please curse. Like me <laughs> please do curse. curse voice. Yeah, it's like do one curse voice because I'd be like, oh my god, frick, this is so freaking hard. God dang it. And then they're like, Mika, please say one bad word. And I was like, are you sure? Okay, dang, I will do my best, guys. <clears throat> now listen here, you pieces of shit. This is what you signed up for. Damn, exactly. dude. Exactly. Stupid bitch. And then you know, there, that's, a, that, that's actually really funny because I know that there's a lot of VTubers out there that kind of do the same. Uh, and they still do, which is which is fine. I, I, uh, that, there's nothing wrong yeah, with that. Yeah, for sure. Um, but there have, has been some that were super drastic. Uh, like the one that comes Ooh. to mind for me, there is a VTuber called Snuffy. And uh, she basically had that same exact uh, thing where she had a, high, a more high-pitched voice. And then all of a sudden, she kind of just turned it off and started speaking as naturally as possible. And then all of a sudden, everyone loved it so much more. Everyone loved yeah. this so much more. Just be natural, just be yourself. And I, I, I think that it's 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 way better. And some people, you know, like I said, some people uh like to do what they want to do, and that's fine. But uh I've always been a big advocate of being natural and stuff. So I, I'm I'm not gonna lie, Mika. I'm glad that you no longer <laughs> sound like that. <laughs> I didn't realize that's a thing until my clipper told me, like straight to my face. Like you you would think they would be a bit more like polite no dude that's the first thing they said was like honestly mika i'm gonna be dead honest with you when i first saw you i hated your guts and then a clip of you got recommended and i was like oh my god she sounds different so i started watching you ever since but originally i hated your guts and i was like thanks that's man. so that's so extreme honesty. dude <laughs> i hate your based. guts like, I, <laughs> I hate you, you because you sound like a like... miniature alley girl <laughs> you know <laughs> it's because i sounded like like that you know i like him I think he's still one of like until today we're very good friends because okay. he's so honest with me. If he thinks my content shit, I'll be like, yeah, no, you still have to clip it though. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, yeah correct, <laughs> you still have yeah. to sit there and watch it. Exactly. I don't know what to no, tell you, but true. like, yeah, don't worry about it. You can roast me, and in return, you um, clip just fucking get a clip. It. I don't know. Yeah, just, just fucking clip it, dude. Just do your best. <laughs> I throw something, and you make it entertaining. That's. I'm not paying you for a reason. <laughs> 
That. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do I pay you for? God damn it. <laughs> That's a weird joke that I would say with my clippers, and I got so scared of getting canceled because I said it on stream by accident. It's like a insider joke I make with my clipper, where it's like, I'm not gonna pay you. I'm, I'm not gonna pay you this month. Fuck you. Yeah, no, but I, I do. But, like, I, I just say that I won't. <laughs> I haven't gotten to that point with my editors, but like, I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm getting I, have, I keep saying it to them i'm like i'm not gonna pay you and they're just gonna send me this fucking emote of them like suffering uh, and then i keep doing the same thing every month i'm like fuck you i'm not gonna pay you and then yeah. they're just like fuck you and then they double the price next month <laughs> oh and i'm shit. like yeah well i'm not gonna pay you still <laughs> i, I, I would time. be like shit <laughs> <laughs> my my accountant's not gonna like this <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad they have a sense of humor god damn i thought they'd cancel me by now yeah right uh okay so <laughs> there's one thing that I, you know what actually before we uh continue on there is uh mm -hmm. one thing that i wanted to ask a, a few questions that i i don't get to because i i this has been great just talking just you and I and stuff like that has been really fun. That's a lot. I could do it literally for hours. No, I'm serious. I could do it for Why? hours. Like I I, <laughs> I, I paid him to hours. say this. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't received the money yet then. You better fucking <laughs> like, make sure that later, shit is man. in the, the account, all right? Just keep it up. Just, no, just keep it up. But <laughs> when it comes to like there's certain things that I would love to like uh to ask you and stuff like that cuz I think it's really interesting to see uh mm -hmm. like somebody like you that's within uh, the organization of niji sanji which is so good i love niji sanji so much there's so many talented people there uh <laughs> i knew she was gonna do that <laughs> i knew she was gonna do that all right all right all right yeah. so i want you uh, if if that's okay all right uh mm -hmm. to say so far what do you say has been one of your favorite collabs with an Niji Sanji. Favorite collabs? Yeah, like, uh, what what did you do? Like, uh, was it, like, one of the game collabs? Or was it, like, uh, you know, like, out of all the collabs you've been a, a part of, which one can you say do you, do you uh... recollect most fond memories of? Okay. I like all of my collabs because I love doing collabs. Oh, yeah. Key. Like, That's I love great. playing with people. Yeah. Uh, a collab that I, I like... Mm -hmm. maybe when it comes to like ooh, actually uh when it comes to idea mm -hmm. like like a collab idea that i enjoyed the most recent one is probably the one i did with mista on his channel where it's like the lie detector i thought that was a pretty like banger fun time oh did you do a lie detector thing with mista i did it fucked me over like now we have this really insane narrative because of it like, it, it genuinely fucked me over. But I thought it was funny. Like, the dude is really good at, like, streaming. So he had, like, this whole, like, shit set up. And it looked so good. Like, the stream looked like a video. And I was like, oh, my God, the stream was good. I'm, I'm proud of that. But That's good. it fucked me over. I'm not going to lie. Like, Okay, th give asked, me an example like, of fucking questions. you over. So we decided that we're going to be a little bit controversial or something. Like, start up a drama because our channels were getting irrelevant or some shit. And <laughs> we were going to ask, like, <laughs> we're going to ask questions that are, you know, going to start up some shit, right? With the community or something. And the questions are, like, you know, the basic high school shit of, like, do you, do you have a crush on me? Stuff like that, right? Oh, and no, And he dude. asked me, he asked me, like, have you ever seen me as, like, a lover or something? Something in that, those lines. And I said, no. And it buzzed, right? And I was like, holy fuck, no way. Ask me again. And then he did. And I said, no. And it buzzed again. And I was like, it's because of the machine. Like the machine will buzz no matter what. So ask me again. Third time, right? He asked me. I said, yes, because I thought it's going to buzz. I said, yes, it didn't buzz. <laughs> and it completely fucked me over. And now it has like this narrative Listen. where people like, when I asked him the same question, those things said, no. are factual. You know that? Buzz. It's fucked up because when I it's asked factual. him the question, it didn't Science. buzz for him. So now oh, people really? think that I, yeah, it's like a one-sided love going on. And I'm like, yo, kind of kind of nutty. Like it, it, it fucking, basically the machine worked. It had this narrative until the end. Fourth time in the end of the stream, I asked him to ask again, right? And I said, no, and it buzzed. So I'm at that point where I'm just like, okay, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go with the narrative. You know, when... When I stream Damn. and there's like that one troll that appears in my chat, like, is this Mr.'s girlfriend? I just said yes. 
Because, like, I don't know, man. They're going to pull up the stream. They're going to be like, well, this happened. Bro, and I'm like, ask him to pay child like support. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I thought the idea was good. It's because, like, he made it into a really good stream. Like, it's produced well. It's like a, like a whole video going on. Uh, but I think my favorite overall is when I did an off collab with everyone. And I made them try Indonesian food. That is probably one of my fondest moments. Wait, that was you the make first them try it? As well. you, you cook for people? Yeah, I brought, like, Indonesian food from my country and I gave it to them and like I make them try it out and give me their honest opinion and I, I love their reaction it was so the, nice that is actually so sick I love any yeah. type of like food like that like food type of collapse like okay here's this food what is your reaction yeah it was so good that was I'd probably say that's my fondest one but for like creative funds I would say the one the most recent one was pretty fun with Mista yeah so then who yeah. was a part of the food collab then uh, it was uh me. There was Nina. There was Mista, Vox, Ike, Prof, like Professor Oliver. Um, Luca okay. was there too. Okay, so real. I'm I'm so sorry. So Professor Oliver was that one? Uh, one of your gen mates from or JP. Is that... Oh, they're from uh, JP. No. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, it was like a whole worldwide thing because we had someone from JP, someone from ID, and a bunch of ENs. There, his That's his cool. name is Oliver Evans. He's Oliver really Evans. like cool. Yeah, he's okay. really nice, but for some reason he would like to roast me. <laughs> he's a really good friend of mine. Those so are the best friends, when the we ones that met. roast each other, you know? Yeah. When we all met, it was great. It was probably still one of my fondest memories. Because it's good. like super fun. Yeah. Okay. So that, that, that's probably the best. That's cool. That's awesome. Um What did they think? Some they love, some they didn't. There's this one drink that Luca said smelled like his grandma. <laughs> it, made me, it made me laugh a little because Nina was like, Nina was like, oh my god, this tastes great, Nika. And Luca was like, this smells like my grandmother. And I was like, okay. <laughs> what the hell? What was it? What, what what was the drink? It was it's it's like a we have this thing in Indo called a jamu. It's like this herb. Jamu. Jamu. Yeah, because we believe like in Indo itself, we still sometimes do traditional stuff or medicine, right? Mm. Where there are quote unquote medicine to like make you feel fresher. And here okay. in Indo, we have a thing called masuk angin. Okay. It, like if I translate it to English, it literally means enter wind. Like when you feel huh. like okay. not well, we think it's because we have wind in our body. So we drink this type of jamu called tolak uh -huh. angin, which is going to make you fart and burp and like release the gas inside your body <laughs> and make you feel better. That's so that's what I so give funny. it to them. That's actually so Yeah, funny. it actually works though. It always works. Like I would bring that shit anytime I travel because I would get sick because of the wind. Like it's so windy out there. So I just keep drinking <laughs> like tolak angin. Because or not, I get sick. It works that's though. That's actually it's great. Well, okay, what was the thing that they all unanimously... Is there anything that you, they all unanimously loved? Uh, I can't remember, but all I remember was, like, I really like this biscuit we had. It's, like, a Malkis Albon, which is, like, okay. beef flakes on biscuits, right? It, it's an oh, Indonesian that sounds so snack. good. So, with the biscuits, I know that yeah. there's biscuits depending on where you're from. What are these biscuits? Are they, like, cookies or are they, like, bread or... What is uh, it? They're cookies, but they're the, the ones okay. that like if you crack open, they're very hollow in this in the inside, and they would flake. Oh, like okay, it's those okay. hollow kind of biscuits, right? Ah, and he I see, I see. absolutely loved it. Ever since then, every time I meet Ike, I would always bring him Maki's album. I uh, just to give, give him some some of the good stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm just like here you go, man. Here you go. I got you. I got you. <laughs> so then, That's okay, fun. when it comes to food, I do want to ask you this. Then, what's your favorite like food from your your region? Ooh. Pecel. Tempe and pecel is so fucking good, man. Oh, oh. God. That, you're... <laughs> See, I, so, I, so I call those... So, okay. You just did something that I like to call... I call those... Um, okay, this is just like slang. This is what I say. It's not actually like factual. Uh -huh. But sometimes I have like these things called Puerto Rican Tourette's where <laughs> my, my, my like accent comes out. Oh uh, involuntarily because you're so passionate about something and you completely all oh. curtains go down all all yeah. gates go down i call them so like in a way that was like your your indonesian threats <laughs> so fucking my, good. i would have the accent happen like my accent would appear when i'm so passionate or i'm so angry yeah I, i'm i'm the same way 
I'm the same. Like, yeah. uh, sometimes I call like a, a beach a bitch or something like that, or like, or, or, or a bit. I'm sorry, other way around. A bitch, a beach. Um, ah. Uh. Sometimes it comes out because uh, you know, growing up, like I came over here when I was at a young age, so I was able to uh, get rid of my accent. But now I have it. I don't really have much of an accent anymore. Sometimes it comes out, but it's primarily when I'm like transitioning from Spanish to English, where it like oh. kind of comes out. So. Uh, but that's good. So, uh, anyways, back to the food. Um, <laughs> what was it again? Pechel and tempe. Uh, okay. So, what it's is that? So yummy. Uh, tempe is like soy, like fermented soy, and they make into cubes, and they can like boil it, deep fry it. It's so good, man. It's so good. Uh, pechel huh. is just like veggies, rice, and like usually they have like meat, but I don't eat meat, so I just have it like rice mm. and vegetables with nut sauce. Anything with rice is incredible. Anything. Nut sauce is delicious, bro. You, yeah, you have I, to try the oh sauce of the nuts. Oh my god! So, uh, oh. is it similar to like sesame sauce? No, it, it's peanut sauce. Oh, peanut! Yeah, yeah, like peanut sauce. Yeah, it's, it's like pretty similar, sauce. dude. That shit is incredible. It is so freaking good. I put that shit on everything. It's so good. If I'm you so ever, glad you have that. Yeah. If we ever meet, I'd give you some. It's so it's like we have them in a pack, and all you need to do is add water and like merge them together, and you can just eat oh. it. It's so fucking good. Oh. It is so yummy. I That's really probably like that my food. favorite, absolute favorite. I can eat that all day. So I go to oh. this thing called uh, shabu shabu a lot, uh, which mm. is basically it's just hot pot. Um, uh huh. And I always peanut sauce, sesame sauce, ponzu, stuff like that uh, all the time, dude. The peanut sauce is like my favorite. You know, I, I went mixture. to a shabu shabu once and mm. the waiter actually told me where it's like, because uh, I ate so much and I started feeling sick. And she was like, oh, yeah, no, we have a lot of customers that get food poisoning here and just left. Oh, and ever since then, I, I got scared to come back because they just said it. They're just like, yeah, a lot of people actually get food poisoning here. That's so nonchalant, like, they eat so dude. much. What the hell? Yeah. It's like they eat so much because it's so good that they overfill themselves and they just die. <laughs> Not die, but they get sick. Yeah, I see. And yeah, I know like, what it's you... a normal thing. Like they physically like, oh, just okay. pass a wand, but pass. Yeah, I'm just like, jeez. I, I say pass along. <laughs> see, the, the, I I didn't say pass. I said pass a wand. I I I, I oh. merge away and pass on at the same. I do that a lot. <laughs> my brain does that a same. lot. ESL buddies. I, guess <clears throat> I know. I just my brain it doesn't happens. decide whether I want to say away or on. I don't know. So it does both. But man. Um. So. Now that we're on the topic of like our own respective languages and stuff like that, I wanted to actually mm. throw a little segment at you. And this is going to be fun. Yeah, this yeah. is going to include the chat. So, chat, I need your help. And mods, I also need your help. This requires your uh, expertise Bend in them. the chat. All right. So, primarily, Bend. what we need to do is this is a segment. And by the way, editor son, if you see this, uh, you know what to do. Hi, Try to make it look all pretty. Try to make it look all pretty. Bedazzle. A bunch Please of visual make aids. Smart. Uh, make me look really smart. Uh, you can do that too. Uh, but <laughs> just put a whole bunch of different things. This segment is because I don't. Ha I usually have like a PowerPoint. I don't have a PowerPoint, uh, and f oh. it's with good reason. It's not because I wasn't uh, prepared. Because uh, I did do one. I I, I, I collabed with uh, Emma, Omiya Emma, and she uh -huh. was she was great. I didn't have a PowerPoint prepared, and I felt so bad. But it was still really fun. Uh, anyways, uh, when it comes to the uh, the segment, it's called. Language barrier. Woo! Welcome to language barrier, everybody. Today we're going to be. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Here. Yeah, there Woo! you go. That's actually pretty yeah. good. In this bowl, I have many phrases, oh, many words, many different oh, scenarios. God. We're going to pick fifteen of them. Oh, 15, okay. Fifteen of them, and what we're gonna do is when I pick this out. I'm going to, my native language is Spanish. I come from Puerto uh -huh. Rico, and uh, so my native language is Spanish. You come from uh, Indonesia, so it is Bahasa, yeah. right? So we're yeah. basically going to be saying this phrase or this term in our own respective languages, and the chat is going to vote which one they like the most. Okay. So mods, okay. as soon as we're done explaining what we, what we have, right? You guys are mm -hmm. going to put up a poll, right? And while the poll is up, we're going to move on to the next one. And we're not going to look at and wait for the, the, the votes to be tallied up. Uh, I would say mods. Mm -hmm. I, I should have discussed this before with the mods, but, you know, whatever. 
it's fine. Ban the word uh, coefficient. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> when, uh, <gasps> when you put up the poll, it's going to be, I'm thinking maximum uh, the poll time about a minute, maybe two. And then while that poll is going, we're going to move on to the next one. And we're not going to be okay. waiting for the results of the poll. But mods, if you wouldn't mind tallying up the results of what the poll says, and then we'll come back to it after we're done with the entire thing. Okay? Okay. So mods, uh, if that's Fun. okay, that would be great. Uh, can I get an okay from uh, one of the mods? Make sure that we are all in agreement or in accordance or if they have any questions before we get started. Because uh, Thank you, mods. mods. Yeah, mods definitely have to. All right, sweet. Thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I got Runa in here, so uh, he's great. All right. No. So, are you ready for uh, round number one? Yes. All right. Round number one. Oh, they have this little bowl right here, and we're going to be going ahead and picking it, okay? Oh, God. What here. if I fuck up my own native language? Let's <laughs> find out. All right. The first one. This one is... Finding a good deal. Okay, easy. That one's easy. Some of these are weird. Some of these are great. I haven't actually seen these finding myself. Finding a good deal? So yeah, finding a good deal. That is the first one. Let's see uh, what we got. Finding a good deal. Uh, do you want to go first? Or you want me to go first? You go first. You go first. All right. You want me to go first? Okay, I'll go first. Um, let's see. Finding a good deal. Yeah, this one is pretty straightforward. There's really no, like, term or phrase or slang for, like, finding a good deal. But I would say something like, in Spanish, it's a, I would say, Muchacho, eso si me salió bien. Whoa, si that is so bien. long. Well, it's like, uh, it's a phrase. So, basically, what I'm saying is, is like, damn, that really turned out real nice. You know, oh, it's you, like that's. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah like yeah, I found yeah. a good I deal. It's like, wow, different. that that's really nice. So it's like you find a good deal. It's like, what would you say, in your own respective oh, language? Okay, if I've already found a good deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, because we have a term of like when you try to find a good deal. Oh, you know what? I rather prefer you say that. Go for it. The thing is that now that I thought about it, it sounds so bad in English. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Uh. We have a term in Indo where you're trying... It, it basically means haggling. It's called nego. Oh, okay. N it does sound a little bad. Yeah, nego. Okay, nego. Like negosiasi. It's like negotiation. Oh, okay. Negosiasi, yeah, like negoci when we say nego. negosiasi. Okay. Yeah, but then the moment you find a good deal, it's easy. It's super easy. Just say mantap. Mantap? Yeah, mantap. What does that mean? Mantap. It's like nice. You know? Nice! Like, Mantap, I found a good deal. Harganya mantap, joy. Mantap, but like that. Yeah, for, for, for me, like, I find a good deal. It's like, esa fuerte se, se, se me salió bien. Basically, it's like yeah, that. Yeah, like, that offer, mantap, bro. <laughs> mantap, like, bro. <laughs> mantap, joy. Mantap. All right, so there was mine, and that one was hers. Uh, go ahead, Moz, and go ahead and start up the poll. One minute. <gasps> Ma, uh, a chat, you have one minute to be able to vote in. Uh, people on mobile, people on things, and then uh, mods, if you want to mind, uh, just keeping track of which who wins that poll. Okay, mm, mm, mantap. Mm. All mantap, right, mantap. go ahead and put up the poll, and then we're gonna move on to the next round number two. Oh, okay, okay. Round number two. So that one's finding a good deal. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, let's see. How do they vote? What do I have to ask? Just do uh, Ko versus Mika. That's it. Oh, Let's go versus Mika for uh, question uh, round one. A uh, versus Mika. Yeah. A lot of Indo words actually like apply to different situations. This is gonna be fun. Well, the, <laughs> the thing is, like, it's the same. Th I think that's just normal with like every language. But oh, English true. is so fucking convoluted, and there's so many words for every single situation that it's like true. absurd and uh, it's 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 so dumb. I hate English. I used to pronounce the word hour, like the time. Like, what hour is it? I would yeah. pronounce it as hour. Hour? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'd be like, what is the hour? And like then they're you, like, it's pronounced hour. You know one that gets me all the time and gets a lot of people? Pterodactyl. What? Pterodactyl? Yeah. There's a silent P in the front. I didn't know that. Like, what the fuck is up with that? What is that Something P that doing? Why is it? Me? Yeah. <laughs> 
Like what? <laughs> like what is it doing there? It doesn't need to be there. It's silent. My ass is silent. No. <laughs> Something so that got me until today, I still trip on it, is the word comfortable. Because you just say comfortable <laughs> instead of comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I go like, oh my god, I feel so comfortable right now. <laughs> and they're like, it's just comfortable, bro. And I'm like, who the fuck? It, it has the word comfortable. You say comfortable then. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you lazy? <laughs> yeah. you skip over the le like fucking letters. Why is it there? Why are you going to skip it? Who yeah, lazy? exactly. <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> from, let's move on to the next round. All right, the next one from the bowl. I have like a whole bunch yeah, of them yeah. here. All right, the next one. Ah, I love you. Ah, okay, okay. All right, all right. Go ahead. Since I went first last time, you can go first now. Okay, okay, okay. The word I love oh. you. We'll go ahead in, in, in Indonesian. Mm, do you want it to be like formal or casual? Oh, God. Let's do both. Like Why not? Part. We'll do both. Both of us. We'll do both. Probably the most like formal one is like aku cinta kamu. Uh, say that aku again. Aku cinta kamu. Aku cinta kamu. Aku cinta kamu. Okay. Yeah. And that one's the, the formal most, one, like, or is that? It's kind of formal. Okay. Kind of like there's a little bit more, but I guess for like casual, you just go like, um, aku sayang kamu. Aku sayang kamu. Okay. Yeah. That one's That's a little like, bit more I loose casual, mean. like a little bit. Like it depends on like the like where you are in Indo because you see people say because sayang also means like babe. Or like oh, that's okay. a pity. It sayang also means that way. So you can call each other like sayang. That's okay. like hey babe, you know? So people go like aku sayang kamu. Okay, okay. I think I got this one because Spanish is the romantic language. Oh, try, try, try. The r l l language of so like I love you. Would be like something. Uh, well, I'll do the same thing. Uh, a little bit more. Um, well, there's like different words for uh, the different types of uh, affection that you want to say. So I'll go ahead and do a whole bunch of them. There's like, uh, uh -huh. you know, yo te adoro. It's like I adore oh! you. Te oh adoro. my god, that sounds good. Yeah, yo te adoro. Yo te adoro. Um, and then there's all the obvious one that a lot of people know is uh, yo te amo. Uh, which is I love you. Amo. Like that's the the word that you would say. Uh, te amo. Um, oh, te amo. And then there's like um, one that uh, that is pretty universal that you can say for everything is uh, yo te quiero. Yo te quiero. Yo te it's quiero. like I like you or I love you or also uh, that's like the quick, very casual way of saying it without that much affection. But there's also a, a way to say I want you. Ooh. Yeah. So that's like kind of like the, the the way to be able. There's many different ways to be able to uh, to say it, while also like, you know, uh, depending on your type of affection you want to show, right? Uh, because yo te quiero ah. can be like I love you, or it can be like I like you, or like as a friend or whatever. It can be like a whole bunch of stuff like that. But, uh, but the, te amo I think, like is, the difference, uh -huh. like the difference I'm realizing is that like in Indo, I I don't know if we have like. A word that's romantic to be like, even like when you're in love with someone, you don't go like, aku cinta kamu. Like that, that's not very yeah. common. Yeah, we yeah, have yeah. things that are like innuendos, you know, like stuff people do that is a sign of love, but it yeah. doesn't even say I love you, you know. That it's makes just sense. romantic when people do it. Yeah, yeah, we have a lot of those. That's pretty well for for Spanish. It's a very horny language, so we have many different ways <laughs> to say like, I want you in the bed. Uh, that, there's many oh, different God. ways to say like the, the Spanish is super horny, like the way to we express that, passion, express love, and express like <laughs> it's that's just how it is. We uh, are it, a it's very safe language, I think. Like a yeah. lot of Asian language are pretty pure. Like we don't just go like I wanna, I wanna do it with you, baby girl. We just that baby girl. <laughs> it's so hard. Yeah, flirting yeah. in Indo is pretty hard, I think. Interesting. But, like, it's just you just act nice, basically. Indonesian is like one of the okay. So a little bit of a side note. Uh, while the mods get the second, so as soon, so this is an example of uh, as soon as we're done saying it, you put up the poll, Runa. Um, but anyways, uh, just a little bit of a side note. Um, Indonesian is a language that I actually one hundred percent have been wanting to. I've been looking um, into a lot more. Uh, oh, because I think one uh, well one 
I heard it, it's actually a lot easier than most languages in terms of um, the rules that apply to it. Yes. Because I it heard that easy. like there's really no like past tense yeah. sort of words. But that's what it, this is how I heard it. There's no past tense. So like instead of saying like yesterday, you just say like the day before or something like that. Right. So it's like very universal. Can be, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's just like a, a quick example of it. But there's like things like that. There's like the rules don't really are not strict like English and yeah. Spanish and other languages like that, which I appreciate. Yeah. The second thing is easy. that I think it sounds really cool because uh, ever since I started watching uh, a lot of Kobo Kainaidu, um, uh -huh. she has been uh, like a big, uh, like I love watching her speak uh, Indonesian. Uh, and yeah, then after yeah. that, I started watching other Indonesian speakers and I'm like, dude, this language is actually so sick. Which is, is awesome. I love it. It's um, really... Mm -mm. So Indonesian is 100% like one of the languages I would love to learn. It's up there. You should. Before it was Japanese and Italian. Ah. But I think Indonesian just knocked down Italian. So. I can teach you, dude. I you know you want something crazy I thought about? Um, That'd be sweet. The most common way of show, telling someone you love them is by saying like sayang udah makan belum. It just mm -hmm. means like babe, have you eaten today? <laughs> That is usually like a sign of affection. I, I'm legit. A lot of like the people that are in a relationship in my friend group have always just been like, Saya udah makan belum? And that's like how they start their day. Like, I hey, need babe, you to doing? write that down and send it to me in my DMs because I'm going to say that every day <laughs> to, uh, to That to, is to like the girlfriend. most common thing. That sounds uh, so sick, actually. It's like, I'm just making sure you're okay. Yeah, it's basically <laughs> like to ch wellness check them is how we show affection. Okay. Somewhat like that. That's that's actually <laughs> really nice. That's actually like pretty wholesome. You that's invite cool. like the action of eating. Uh, the thing is like Indo is a very like I would say pretty conservative. Like we're very very like you know still pretty conservative about things, right? Mm -hmm. So when you want to like show people affection, uh, eating is something that we have as like it's a bonding experience, you know, because it's very disrespectful to like eat while you play your phone and stuff. So eating is a very like bonding experience for us. So that's why when you go like, have you eaten? It's kind of like hinting that you care, but also hinting that you want to eat with them and spend that nice time with them. So you just go like, I'm gonna makan belum. It's the most universal. I love you in that's Indo. So <laughs> it's so awesome, but like you need to spe like spe like really describe it. <laughs> oh, that is I love I love Indonesian culture. If that's the case, dude, food is like the greatest thing because my dad was a professional chef and I grew up. Ooh. Uh, eating like only the best of foods and i know this because oh. i i'm currently dating one of the people that ate one of the worst of foods of all time and <laughs> ever since come uh, like getting together with me she's i've opened up her eyes and i just show her how amazing food actually is like i Ooh. do think that some of the most bitter people in the world just don't know how to experience food correctly dude i think you'd love it here because we have this thing where it. we eat with our hands okay keep right? going by the way sorry i'm just uh getting a new battery for the camera go for it yeah, yeah, take your time. But can, can you still hear me? Yeah, oh yeah, I have headset. Okay. So basically, uh, you eat with your hands, right? And I know like people in the West would find that a little unhygienic, but it's mm. because we have this, like one, our food is easier to eat with your hands and it's more fun that way. And second, when you eat food with your hand, you can really feel like the food. Like, so you're more like you eat while being conscious about what you're putting into your mouth, mm. stuff like that. So... A lot of the times, meals are prepared with love and consumed with love. And that's love like the proper that. way of doing it. Yeah, and that's like the respectful thing. That's why when when I watched like Western movies for the first time and people are like, like, hey, go down, dinner's ready. And they go down like, I'm going to eat this in my room, okay, mom? And the mom's like, okay, that is so disrespectful here. Like if Damn. your mom has went out of your like her way to cook you food, you sit your ass down, you eat with the family, you put your phone down, you talk. Like that is respect. That if is you don't respect. do it, you're very, very, yeah, like it's very disrespectful to just take your food, go to your room. It, it's you get whacked. You get wow. smacked in the face. That's actually like kind of insane. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's I not insane. I think that, that right? should be how it's done. And uh, my my whole family has promoted like a eating at the dinner table type of mentality, mm -hmm. right? Because that's where you come together mm -hmm. uh, and bond with people and show them your day and all that good jazz, yeah. right? So I, I, I appreciate that. And I think that's really respectable. Res respectable. 
of uh, Actually, as a culture, which is cool. There is something I want to tell you that I think you'd love. It's Ramadan right now. If you know what Ramadan is, I think like I've a... heard of it. No, that I, that that's a store I, that's around here. Never mind. What's Ramadan? <laughs> It's like a, a celebration thing where people uh, would fast. <laughs> Why do you keep clicking that bad fucking screen? <laughs> like people would go fast, right? We, we fast and then we would open the fasting. And something I absolutely love is when you, op like, when you eat after fasting for the whole day, uh -huh. everyone would come together and would like eat together and there'll be music playing and like people oh. would just hang out and talk over food. And that is so fun. I feel like I, I miss that. doing that for a while. I it's great. I'd love to do that like every day. <laughs> Even if you don't fast, like you in, like that is probably one of the best things people would do here. I enjoy doing it a lot. That's Even if you don't fast. I'm not going to. That's incredible. I love that so much. Uh, that's good. like one of my favorite things is like just coming together. Like that's why I love Shabu and Korean barbecue so much is because you oh. get to basically do all that while cooking food and just interacting and talking and stuff. That's why I yeah. love it so much. It's so yeah. good. Anyways, no, that's that's, that's, that's awesome. I I, I want to <gasps> dive more into like Indonesian culture because I think it's so cool. Um, Indo colony culture is so cool. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. All right, round it's three, everybody. Well. <laughs> also, someone in chat before said like, uh, "Mika, don't forget to sour," which is like uh, eating before the fast starts. But I want to tell you, I'm on my period today, so I'm not fasting. <laughs> so, uh, yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm in pain, Godfisher. I'm in pain. That's, that's good to know. That's 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 good to know. But thank you for reminding me. You're so sweet. Uh, you're you're so welcome. I'm, that's what I'm here for. Uh, <laughs> round three. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, saying thank you. Mm. Saying thank you. This was a pretty simple one. This is not too bad, actually. All right, I'll go mm -hmm. first then, uh, if that's the case. Yeah. Uh, if I were to say thank you, okay, so there's two ways I say thank you in Spanish. Um, mm -hmm. There's the formal way and there's the loose way, the slang way that I personally do. Um, but there's the, the official slang way and there's my slang way. So I'll go ahead. Which one do you want, do you think? Both, both, both. Okay, so I will go ahead and say just uh, gracias or muchas gracias is uh, uh, to be able to say it formally, gracias. right? Gracias, muchas gracias, señor, or señora, or something Ooh. like that. Um, or you can say it <laughs> my way, which is basically just the incorrect way. I say muchos mm -hmm. Garcias. <laughs> muchos Garcias. <gasps> muchos Garcias. Muchos Garcias. Yeah, that's how I say it. Um, and then there's also like, uh, that's pretty much it. I, I mean, that those are those two are the only ways that I really. Like say thank you to be honest with you, um, oh, yeah. That's that's how I, I say it. Muchos Garcias. Muchos Garcias. I love that one. Yeah. We have a lot actually. We have a lot of ways of saying thank you, but I guess I can yeah. do the formal one and the super casual one. Yeah. Okay. Like, go for it. Formal, simplified, and super casual. Go for it. Uh, formal is terima kasih. Terima kasih. Okay. That's, yeah, that's a good one. Um, and the in between is makasi. So you just remove the three, the three and you just go like makasi. So it goes from three makasi to just makasi. Okay, makasi. Okay, yeah, like thanks. Like thank you to Yeah, thanks. like thanks. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the super casual one is makachi. Like maachi. Do you have to, do you have to like makachi? No, but like you can go like, it's just cuter that way. You go like machi. Like maachi. That sounds weird if I don't make it cute. Like, What's maachi? It like just go mochi? like makasi. No, it just says like you say makasi, but you say it in like a super simple way. So instead of going makasi, you go like maachi. Oh, maachi. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Maachi. Okay, like, machi, machi. Maachi. Or like machi. I say that a lot to my roomie. Like if she does anything, I'm like, hey, hey maachi. And then I run away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, see, that's cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like saying, yeah, actually, Faith is saying it right now. Like, thank you. Yeah, it's like when a gremlin goes like, and then Thank you, or like cute, like kind of yeah. like woo type of thing. Yeah, like like, that. Thank okay. You. My auntie, I, I like that. Like thank yous. <laughs> I like the so that's the new one that I'm saying right now, and that's the one that my my girlfriend and I are saying it a lot is uh thank you. It's like British. Thank, thank you. you. That you say with a f. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, bro. 
Yeah, br thank you, bruv. Yeah, so that's it's, mad generous of you. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, thanks. Uh, I'm going to go to my mother. Yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> you, go, you don't say mother, you go mums. <laughs> I learned that. Oh, really? So mums? Weird, like, yeah, they go like, thanks, mate. I'm going to go to my mums now. <laughs> my mums, my mums now. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go to my mums' house now. My mums. I'm going to my mum's house for the week, hey? Me mums. I, I, I love British people, god damn it. Same. They say the funny British words. I know, I right? This people. I love it. I love it so much. Uh okay. <gasps> Round four. Ooh, okay. Are you for this? Yes. Ah. <laughs> oh god. This one should be fun. What is it? A dick or a penis? <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be good. All right, you want me to start? Yeah, go for it. Okay. The formal way, actually, it's just the word penis, but pronounced Indonesian. So it's penis. Penis? Yeah. Okay. You know, penis. Penis. Right? That is, um, we have a lot of ways of actually saying penis in Indo, but I'll just say like the easiest way. It's like penis is kind of like more formal. Okay. Uh, semi-formal, I would say tit tit. <laughs> beep beep. <laughs> it's with a t, with a t, with a t, like t. You go tit Oh, tit Yeah, tit tit. It ends with a t as well, like t i t i t. Oh, t i t i t. Oh, tit tit. Yeah, t i t i t. Oh, yeah, okay. Tit tit. Yeah, you just go tit tit. Um, okay. My personal favorite favorite is uh -huh. the word konto. It's a very very slang word. Conto? <laughs> yeah, conto. And the fun thing about saying conto is that it is technically means penis, but people use it to roast each other. So when I when I speak in Indo, uh -huh. and this is a word I say quite often uh, off stream, but okay. when when I get so angry, uh -huh. right? Uh, because I am Javanese, my Javanese accent comes off uh, when I say the word conto. So in Indo, we just say conto. Uh -huh. But when you say it with a Javanese accent, you go like, Quanto! Quanto! <laughs> <laughs> so that's, yeah, that's how you say it? Like, yeah, I go like, Quanto! Like that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my personal favorite. It just means penis. It's a super, super slang. Yeah. <laughs> so that... <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> oh my god all right all right all right that's a pretty good one um and it's a curse word as well because you know dick it's like saying dick yeah yeah uh yeah. so there's a couple of different ways uh that i say uh that we say penis too mm -hmm. there's like the obvious formal way which is like uh you can say pene pene is uh one pene. Of them. yeah pene is definitely like i think that's universal spanish in general um, but if I were to say, um, you know, uh, <laughs> if you want to say it the other way, you would say like pee pee. Pee pee. Uh, yeah, like pee pee is like another one too that you can say. <laughs> that's the one you kind of oh, say to, to like. Uh, pee pee means cheek in Indo. <laughs> really? Pee pee. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it says to pee pee. Uh, there's also <laughs> other ones like um, uh, boya. Boya is a really big one, oh, yeah. uh, really, really popular one. Um, if you want to oh. say, like, um, there's other ones, too, like Verga, I think, is another one, too. Um, but the one that I say, we say in Puerto Rico, like, kind of slang-wise, uh, is uh, bicho. Bicho. Eh, un bicho. Eh. Un bicho. Un bicho. Eh. Un bicho. Un bicho is uh, how I how, how we say it. But we can also, there's also um, other different ways to say it too. Like uh, my favorite way, the, my, my favorite way. <laughs> uh oh. -uh. I just think of a, a moment when one of my friends said it. <laughs> it's uh, un pito. Un pito. Which is a whistle. <laughs> oh. So one of my friends is like, Mira, <laughs> ten cuidado que te va a soplar el pito. It's like, be careful, <laughs> she's going to blow your whistle. <laughs> oh, 
my god that's actually pretty creative though oh my god it's one of my favorite shits dude i keep like <laughs> I keep thinking back every time i think of whistle i think back at that moment dude big shout outs to uh <laughs> big shout outs to eco uh anyways yeah <laughs> I don't know. Pito. Sorry. Anyways, Pito is one of them. Uh, Verga, Poya, um, Pipi. Um, pipi. Yeah, Pene or uh, Un Bicho. I hike, bicho. You like the word Pipi. Yeah, suck you, like, you pee -pee. like the word Pipi? You like that one? <laughs> yeah. I say the word suck my Pipi -pee a lot. It's yeah. Fun to know that it's actually penis in another language. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. That's that's how it is. Uh, just so people are wondering, this is yeah, round four, which is fine. All right. Anyways, that was uh, that was that. Uh, next round. You ready for the next one? Yeah. Keep All right. Man. Ah. Favorite insult. <laughs> Canceled by the individual. Favorite, so favorite insult. What is your oh, favorite? Do you want God. me to go first then? Yes, yes, go first. Go all right, first. I'll go first. Okay. Favorite insult. Um all right. So there's obvious ones like uh you can call them names, like uh un canto cabron. Um uh -huh. un canto cabron is like a like a piece of shit, basically. That's that's how it, it doesn't oh. literally translate to that. Um but it's like uh, you're a piece of shit. That, that's how it what it basically means. Um, there's the, like that's the technical. That's the one that a lot of people say. Um, but they're my favorite one. <laughs> my favorite one. Oh. I have to. Okay, I just have to make sure that I get it right because uh, I said this once, but I always think of a different variation every single time. All right, all right. There's two variations. There's there's like a, a, a like a deluxe version of this insult, and then there's the base version. Let me give you the base mm -hmm. version. The base version is um. <laughs> All right. So when you're really angry at someone, you want to insult somebody. Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me see. Uh. So you say. Okay. How would I say? Okay, let me say. Let me. Let me actually try to get think of a scenario where I get angry. Okay. 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 Let him cook. Let him cook. Okay. 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 I gotta say. Okay. Well, I, I, let me see if I'm gonna say it. Okay. This is. It, it, it's like the 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 big part about it is how passionate you have to be when you say it. That's like mm -hmm, everything mm -hmm. when it comes to Puerto Rican accents. Uh, Puerto okay, Rican okay. culture, okay? You have to be real passionate when saying it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Basically, you say... Que te cago... Eh, eh, me cago en la madre que te parió. What does that mean? Me cago en la, ca en la madre que te parió. I shit on the, the mother that birthed mom. you. <laughs> Me cago en la, en la madre de que, que te parió. Yeah, I shit on the mother that birthed you. Now, there is a deluxe addition to this insult that takes it a step ab above and beyond. Uh-huh. Do you want to hear it? Yes, yes. This one's really bad, though. Okay, all right. Me cago en la crica. De la madre que te parió. What does that mean? I shit on the pussy of the mother that birthed you. Ooh! Yeah. That one oh is extra God. insult. Yes. That one's extra. Ooh. Yeah. That one's extra. Hell. Now, that one's not my favorite, but I'm just saying that there is a bonus round or a deluxe edition of that insult, and that is it. My favorite is me cago en la madre que te parió. Is yeah. great, yeah. Uh, I will say that there is a uh, <laughs> well, that, that, that's not necessarily an insult, it's something that I like to say when I'm angry, but maybe there's that in here. But, anyways, that's my favorite. What's yours? <laughs> oh, god, okay, yours are so like creative. Oh, okay, I'm gonna say this that's... actually. I don't 
shit that's... like I don't shit on people most of the time. Oh, dude, Puerto Ricans are very creative when it comes when they insult people, they really like, mean it. The thing is, they mean there it. is so much in Indo. Like there are so much in Indo, and a lot of the times Indo are funny because it's so fucking sarcastic. But the thing yeah. is, I don't insult people as much. I just kind of like just like I would just say one thing and that's it because I don't get angry, you know, but I would say the most common one is like bachot lu, like bachot lu anjing. It just means like bachot you should talk a lot for a bitch. Yeah, bachot lu anjing. Just like uh, anjing is dog, bachot is like talking too much shit. So you're okay. like you shit talk too much bitch, like that, right? But that is like very common ish. Like it's slang. It's okay. rude because in Indo it's like you kiss your mother with that mouth. So you you try to not say rude things. So because of that, a lot of uh, Indo insults are so sarcastic. Like we have one thing uh, uh, I that see. I still think is pretty funny. Uh, it sounds like, like condescending. Um, it is. It yeah. is. It's pretty condescending. Like, yeah. Uh, it's very so indirect. I, That's what it's it, sarcastic -y, Yeah, it's like sarca sarcastic, facetious and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like something, okay, uh, something that my roomie somewhat likes to say okay. is like, oh yeah, um, like something my roomie likes to say a lot to her fiance slash, yeah, fiance now, is okay. she would like to say like, um, udah goblok, masih bisa ngomong lagi, like that, where okay. it's like, like, not only are you stupid, you have the ability to talk. <laughs> <laughs> so like, damn not only are you dumb as fuck oh but you can talk yeah it's kind of like oh you know <laughs> like you're so like Ur. we have one that uh a lot of my friends like to say where it's like um this is something that my friend said long ago that i still remember where she's like he said it's a like about her about, about his girlfriend at that time uh -huh. where because she's like a pretty cold person right like she would ignore him it was like kalau dingin dingin terus enaknya ke neraka aja deh where it's like um okay. if you're gonna keep acting cold um i think the best place for you to go is hell Ooh, okay yeah yeah dingin dingin uh, dingin dingin yeah. gini enaknya ke neraka you're right yeah. it is pretty sarcastic it's like very like... it is very sarcastic but <laughs> one of my personal favorites is because like we have uh two like one of my recent favorite one is a mix of indo english uh -huh. where it's like shut up your lambe before i geplak you where it's like shut up your mouth before i smack you oh god <laughs> <laughs> shut up your lambe before i geplak you oh uh, shit. The another one we have is like uh tgif okay okay uh, yeah, like in English, TGIF, right? But in Indo, we go like TGIF, tolong gusti, I frustrasi. A lot of the ones are very, very smart. It's it's funny because it's creative, you know. Like it is in the moment kind of a thing where people say something and you're like, we're oh, done. Oh, we have one that um, this is what I like to say or like what my yeah family yeah. Tell me that one. Tell lot. me that one. Yeah, yeah. It is insulting because what they would do is they would sit there, they would lean over, right, and start rubbing their chest. And they what go the like, hell? sabar, dengerin lu ngomong tuh sabar, like that, where it's like, I have to be patient listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's such a very, very creative. We have a lot of really mean words, but because it's rude, we would become more creative with like, we would say the most polite words, where it's like, um, I, I, one of the ones that is pretty funny for me is like, um, insya Allah ini orang makin pinter, like that, where it's like, Hopefully, like I pray to God, you become smarter at one point. <laughs> wow, yeah, those are like <laughs> insulting, but the, it's like it's like very indirect. <laughs> yeah, it makes you go like, like um. <laughs> compared to me, like I I'm going straight for the juggy, like I'm shitting on you. Yeah, but like but... <laughs> with like Indonesia, it seems like it's very like indirect. And but it's, it's like, so funny. But it's there's like, so much creative way of saying. It. Yeah, but I I feel like I find that more insulting. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm not even worth your anger, bro. It's just yeah. like a lot of the time, it's just like, wow, this guy can fucking like. There's a lot of shit coming out of your mouth, actually, like that. Yeah. Mulut dipakai buat bacot doang. But it's just like you only use your mouth to shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Like yeah. That. Yeah, with uh, it's like those kind of things you can't even reply with. You're just like, oh, 
it's it's not it doesn't seem vulgar yeah it's not we we try not to be vulgar because yeah. like bad words in indo are very very bad that's why i don't speak uh. indo on stream as much because i have a tendency to curse a lot uh. and a lot of indos would be like pretty yucked at it and i'm not the type to curse as much anyways so like I, I think that's a lie i do curse off stream but like the curse words i choose are just they just happen to be very bad in indo but very common in javanese ah, but, like, i see yeah like in javanese culture we say these words just like we throw it out in the air but indonesia is indonesian is more politer i would say like we're not as mean so I'm, i try not to because i start cursing in javanese and that's but pretty like rude. you said it's the because of that it's more creative because yeah, you have to go so around these words and yeah, I, I like that i think <laughs> wait i think it's one cool. of my favorite one is we have this word for we call foreigners we call them bule bule right yeah bule bule that's what huh? we say as foreigners right okay and something that we would say when like um a foreigner sometimes they would act really i feel like western culture is just very more relaxed but we see it as impolite when you come here and act that way so we would smile right we, we would look away from you smile point at you and be like <laughs> bullet bullet it means like you are so foreigner you're acting like a foreigner and that's yeah, like yeah. an insult low we call those gringos but yeah yeah yeah, and a lot of like foreigners would be like, ha ha ha, yeah, you, you just called me foreigner, ha ha, yeah, we are, we are bule, and I'm like, that's an insult, man, we just insulted you, and I feel so <laughs> bad every single time it happens, because I see it on like, these like foreigner videos of coming to Indo, and they're just like so you can loud. Tell. Oh and... yeah, she said it, I yeah. can see it, they just walk past, they look back, they're like, yep, she's thinking it, I know it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's like, sometimes people would act like so, like, we think it's obnoxious here, so sometimes we'd be like, bule. Like, like, bulelu, like that. And then there's like, yeah, I'm bule, I'm bule. And I'm like, oh my God, they're insulting you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm they're like, tell bule? Them are. Bule, yeah, bule. Yeah, right. yeah, it makes it so much worse because they don't bule? know. Oh, yeah, I'm totally yeah. bule. Yeah. Yeah, it's so bad. <laughs> oh, God. So a lot of the words we use to insult you are so polite that it's insulting. Yeah. I, and yeah, I, to be like, honest, I love please that. Please never I think that's speak so cool. again. <laughs> like that. I love that. I personally love that. All right. <laughs> well, that was a good round. I like that one. That was a good one. <laughs> that was good. I like how All right. vul like vulgar yours are, and mine is just like, <laughs> please use your mouth for Correct. something better. Correct. It's like the polar opposite. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you there. There's ways to indirectly insult people in Spanish too, but people they they mm. go for the jug. They don't care. They they oh, they, they want to completely right. make you cry. They want to get the their point funny, across. The more funny, more insulting it becomes. <laughs> Round six. You ready? Yes, yes, yes. What your parents would say if you failed the test. What? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's coming back. The flashback, <laughs> the trauma. <laughs> Actually, I don't know this because I never fail. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, so to totally. Yeah, I you never. I am. I am the epitome of success. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yes, please, tell your truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> you All go. Right. Okay. Go for it. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. <clears throat> okay. POV. I come back. I'm like, Mom, I failed my test. Right. Uh. Uh. Okay. This is what happened. I'm gonna turn around. I'm. I'm. I'm my mom. I'm. I am my mother. I'm gonna turn around. Go for right? it. I'm cooking. I'm turning around. I'm like. Apa? Oh, gitu, right? It's gonna be like very calm. It's like apa? Like what? And then they go like, would go uh, uh, depends. Mama usually we go mama for like they would refer to yourself. They go like, udah gua bilang ya, lo tuh cuman kerjanya main HP terus nonton terus kerjanya cuman bisa makan makin gendut makin lemu. Isoeto to. Udah gua bilang lu belajar kagak bisa udah tolol. Masih aja pakai-pakai duitnya mama buat beli-beli barang. You, you go on a rampage. You just start babbling and then you get hit in the face. Holy Basically, shit. Basically, you go on a rant of like, I told you all you do is sit I, I feel scared <laughs> just uh, just by you saying they're that. So, they're pretty fucking scary. They go like they would basically say like all you do is sit on your ass all day. Not only are you stupid, you still have the balls to come here, look me in the eye, use my money to just get fatter and fatter, you useless piece of shit. Go study. And then wow. like after they make you cry, 
right? Uh, <laughs> an, an hour later. <laughs> After I'm, I've, I've exhausted my tear uh, exhaust, you know? <laughs> yeah, not even that. Like, sometimes you're going to cry. You're going to be in your room. And then your mom, like, comes into your room and they're like, uh, dinner's ready. And that's it. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's, like, always Come what they do. <laughs> Damn. Like Holy after the shit. beating of your life, they're like, by the way, dinner's ready. Like that's why they beat the shit out of you. Like, you can't feel your toes. And then your mom's like, dinner's ready. You better be down in three minutes or I'm going to kill you. <laughs> if they do anything at dinner time, like they, they remove a chair maybe, <laughs> or like yeah. you have to eat with your hands or no fork. <laughs> no, you eat like normal. Like you have to be like, <laughs> and you, you just eat. have to be on edge <laughs> the entire time. Just live with the uh, fact that that just happened. <laughs> And they're just moving they on. Got a rant. Most of the time, at least what my parents would say is like, all you like, not only are you useless and dumb, you're you have the balls to look at us and still use our electricity or water and eat our food and get fat. <laughs> wow, that is crazy. <laughs> they go on a full rampage and then they beat you up and they go like, now you study, but dinner's in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's actually so sick. I don't know why I think that's so sick. That's so, Sounds so toxic. It's it's so normal, chat. That is normal here. That is I know, normal like, behavior. Yeah, sorry. Welcome to the Asian world, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Online hate. You never met my mom. <laughs> do you do you, do you want do you want to? Okay, my turn then. Hold on. I need your some. turn. Give, give me a second. I'll be right back. Give, oh. me, give me just one moment. Be right back. He's gonna put on his mom cosplay. Yeah, the I whole meme of like. Did I have a what? Oh. His voice is so far away, I didn't hear him. Uh, it's super passive-aggressive, polite, but when it comes to your kids, they go absolute full force. It's more to like, uh, if you're a parent, you can kind of insult the living shit out of your child, because it's your child, you know, like, you kind of shit that kid out, so you, you can treat them however the fuck you want. But when it comes to, like, peers, it's kind of rude. All right. Welcome back. Well, I said that I do have a mom co uh, cosplay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Welcome you ready? Back. Yes. Okay, so here's what would happen. What would happen is I. What would happen is uh, basically, I have to come home and I have to tell them the bad news. Obviously, right? You know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, you know, easy being in la prueba. You know, I didn't mm -hmm. do well in my test. Mm -hmm. Tengo una F. I have an F. Oh. And what what would happen next is, he's like, ¿Qué estabas haciendo? ¿En qué carajo estabas haciendo todo este tiempo? ¿No estabas estudiando? Mm -hmm. After that. Oh, that is so relatable! Bruh, yeah. Yeah, ve, yeah. Ve y si no vas a estudiar, Te voy a dar unos cuantos cantazos para que tú puedas entender que estudiando es todo. <risa> Tienes que estudiar ahora mismo porque si no estudias, no vas a hacer nada en la vida. Ven, oh, ven, ven para acá, pendejo. And then I would... Oh, God. No. Basically, what I said is like, I, what have you been doing this, this whole time? What have you... You haven't been studying. Oh. You haven't been, like, what, 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 if, come here. And he pulls out the chancla. And he'll say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If, there, if, if you don't study, you can't do anything in life. You won't be able to do anything. Ooh. Now learn mm -hmm, how mm -hmm. to study. Come here. And then bam, bam, bam. That's it. The, the moment you pull out the slipper, I got, I got the flashback. Oh, like, uh, yeah, shit. me the, too. You got, you got the slippers, right? The yeah. thing is... Indo moms are mad creative because sometimes they don't wear slippers in the house. They're mad so they get creative. mad creative, chat. Yeah, they would literally grab anything around you. That's why sometimes when we want to tell like our mom bad news, you make sure they're around like the comfiest areas, right? They're on the sofa, far away from anything that would hurt. And then you tell them. Because if not, if you tell them on the kitchen, right? Uh. You, you tell your mom while she's cooking, that fucking walk with the food in it, boom, uh, right across your forehead. They're like, oh, what did you tell me? And you, they hit you with the pan. I've been hit by like anything. They they mad creative, bro. Wow, you, not you me. You gotta be careful. We so have a whole one time, of it. one time, my mom put a stop to the beating, and had to go find a chancla because she had socks on. 
She's like, <laughs> wait right there. Espera ahí. Oh. And she went to go got find to it. Wait. Yeah. Ooh. No, she that was her weapon of choice. We got anything, bro. There's like no weapon of choice. I think the best way we would like <laughs> plan it out. How yeah, do we I would hurt wait this until child? the end of the night. <laughs> yeah, we would wait until the end of the night. They're in bed, like comfortable around blankets and pillows, and then you tell them far away from anything because they would hit you with anything a broom a pan a spoon a, like your the sandal anything dude they mad creative Jeez. i'll give them to that i know that people like would be like oh my god that's horrible that's like abuse no that's kind of high key normal like it kind of knocks some sense into you sometimes I kinda how, it, it is what it is that's it yeah high key i kind of need it when i was a some kid. I was people say that like how oh my god i can't believe that i mean it's, it is what it is i'm fine i know i turned out fine <laughs> I look at me yeah, now. I, 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 a lot of my Western friends are like that. Where it's like, oh my god, that's so bad, Mika. And I'm like, not really. Like, I mean, like, I know that fine. one time my mom <laughs> slapped me with like a spoon. I was like, oh my god, that kind of felt good. Yeah, I love my mother. She's the the the, the most the sweetest woman you'll ever meet. And uh, <laughs> yeah. and uh, my 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 father is he's great and all that. I've turned out fine. It was it was good. It's oh, fine. They got the good aim. They got the god aim. Bro. They got the god aim. They okay. got the aimbot. Yeah. <laughs> Gamers are so jealous of Asian moms. Shroud wishes like, he had my mom's <laughs> accuracy with a chunkla. Yeah, he wishes. <laughs> I wish I can give you a high five. This is too relatable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, ready for round seven? Yes, yes. <laughs> what is it? What is it? I guess this kind of uh, this is a scenario, I guess. Which we kind of already kind of bit went over, but I guess we can revisit it really quick. Uh, someone cuts you off in traffic. Wow! Oh. So, yeah. That's what... Uh, it's, it's basically... It's like an insult, pretty much. Uh, it's the same thing, pretty much. It's just a, a scenario now, but uh, just to mm -hmm. kind of revisit it. Yeah, I would say the same thing, and I would also add a couple of other things, like... Coño, uh, carajo, puñeta, pero que está haciendo? Like it's basically a bunch Ooh. of swear words and then saying, what are you doing? Oh. You know? uh -huh, basically, uh -huh. basically say, what are you doing? And then you insult them, you know, me, me, me cago en la cara de que parió. Oh, and then say a bunch of different things, you know? So anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. the same thing with you or you, you would just say, oh, you would have to be a little more direct that time. I don't think uh, oh. indirect insults would work at that point. Or do you just this not This is so do easy. This what is, is so it? fucking easy. Oh, go for it. Because, right, if you've ever seen Indo traffic, you'd understand everyone will cut you off. So, uh. Indo traffic has no laws. The only laws don't hit anyone or die. So, what we would say is we just like go, Anjing! Like that. Because Anjing? Yeah, you just go, Anjing. It's like, Anjing? Bitch. like the dog. You just go, like, oh. Anjing! Or, if you want to be more bitch. creative, yeah, like if let's say someone cuts you off, you go like anjing like that, like just a normal traffic cutoff. But yeah. if someone cuts you off in a dangerous way, you go like anjing ben mati norang like that, where it's like, damn, this guy wants to die. That's it. Oh, does this bitch want to die? Anjing. Yeah. Yeah, most Something of the time like you just that. go anjing because everyone will cut you off. So we're just used to it. You just go like anjing. Nah, I see. Easy, do simple, you have, fast, quick. Do you have road rage? Uh, I don't drive. Oh, to okay. Be fair. That makes sense. But like, I got hit in like by a person once <laughs> because I was practicing to drive and I freaked out because they got mad at me instead. So I was oh. like, I don't want no trouble. So I don't, I don't get angry. Actually, I can't get angry. I get sad. That's something we can <laughs> relate. I'm a crier. Actually. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm something a crier, we can. I, I don't cry, but I'm like, someone cuts me off. I'm like, the yeah, you can like that no. guy. That's it. Some people do. Some people get crazy. My sister gets ballistic. She goes Ooh. absolute ape shit, and I'm like, dude, it's <laughs> whatever, dude. And I see like you know the stuff on the internet, like people like following them and like cussing them out, like going yeah. out of their way to cuss them out and stuff. I I don't understand that because I'm like same, whatever, dude. <laughs> it's, same. It's, it's whatever. Like, if if let's say I'm driving and then like you know like something bad happens and I get road rage, I just go like, well, there, I'm, I'm gonna have a shit day. Well, oh, damn. There goes my good luck for the day. Fuck yeah, this. My pretty life much. <laughs> I'm right. one minor inconvenience from losing my shit, guys. <laughs> what? I'm just, <laughs> I, I, I'm losing, you know, I'm hanging on the ledge and one finger yeah. at a time is starting to slip. <laughs> Anyways. Round mm -hmm. eight. You ready? 
Yeah. I can't believe you kept up with this. I completely forgot the amount of rounds we're going through. I, I'm doing good. Ah! Mm -mm. Uh, greeting your best friend. Oh! Another easy one. Yeah, go for it. Okay, are you ready? Go for it. Tell me. Oi, Anjing! Again with the Anjing. Oi, Anjing. Hey, bitch! Yeah. <laughs> and you go like, hey, bitch! You go like, Oi, Anjing! Like that. All right, uh, that, that, uh, that one's pretty good. <laughs> Anjing is a very universally accepted word. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I think it's the same thing with uh, actually anything. we have something like that too. Actually, yeah, we have something ex extremely similar. The same thing with the traffic and now cabron. Mm. Cabron. Cabron. C a b r o n. Cabron. cabron. And cabron. the same thing with greeting. It's like every time someone cuts you off. Oh yeah, canto cabron. Like, I have a piece of shit, or something like, right? Canto cabrón. Oh. Uh, and then, or you say, like, uh, Oye, cabrón, como esta? <laughs> como esta, chico? Yeah, I would just say, Oye, anjing. I feel like cabrón is like anjing, basically. Pretty much. I, I would say it's pretty much the same thing. But if I were to say, uh, I usually, how I greet people is, I would say, hey, Como esta mi pana? Pana is like a uh, homie or like a. Uh, Oh, uh, amigo or something. Well, amigo is amigo, but like, uh, like a homie. Like, como tami pana. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So, pana is That's one of sweet. them. Or you could say, if you're, if, uh, if you want to be nice, you could say, como tami pana. If you want to be like, you know, kind of like how best friends dog on each other. It's like, como esta, cabrón. Mm -hmm. Oye, pendejo, como esta. <laughs> <laughs> Pendejo's That's my, so like, sweet. yeah. Yeah, it's like, like stuff like that. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, but yeah, like, that, that's the pendejo is another one. That, that's my favorite word of all time. Uh, pendejo. 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 It's like, uh, it's, uh, uh, like, okay. In a derogatory term word, it's like, it's like an asshole. Nice. Like, uh, but Makes like sense. you can say in a term of endearment as well, depending on the context, obviously in your tone and stuff true, and the people true. you talk to, obviously. Like true, you're not true, gonna go true. to the like even if your best friend's like the governor is like oh, como ta pendejo <laughs> or something like you know <laughs> yeah god damn <laughs> not gonna go to the king of England and be like como ta pendejo hey oh como ta cabron <laughs> actually I would still do that to be honest with you I would probably still do that oh uh, shit he's gonna get canceled IRL probably I don't care. <laughs> If I were to choose between tomboys and the and the the kingdom of England, I would choose tomboys. Kind of based. <laughs> the kingdom of England would no longer be there. I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, round nine. You ready? Yes. <laughs> Boobs. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's a good one, actually. Uh. Oh. I'll go first. I'll, I'll go ahead. Well, you yeah, can yeah. say. All right. So there's like just like a pe like a penis or a dick is definitely many words for for boobs. Um, yeah, same. But if I were to put like the universal term, here's the thing. Okay, we say the word, but we also like kind of change it depending on how mm -hmm. their size. So, for example, the oh. word is tetas. tetas. Tetas? Tetas. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, if you see big ones, you say, <laughs> depends. It's like, uh, tetotas. Or it's like, <laughs> tetones, grandone. Something like that. Or if you want to uh, say, like, little ones, you can say, like, tetitas. Oh, that is actually creative. Yeah, like tetitas. tetitas. <laughs> but tetas. Uh, tetas are like uh, the, the universal one, obviously, and the one that I use quite frequently. But I just change the word depending on like what I'm looking at. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Actually, very similar to Indo. We have one that says tete. Tete? Okay. Yeah, tete. It means boobs. But we have a lot. We have like payudara is the most like formal it's like scientific boobies right yeah if payudara um tete nenen susu dada it's like boob huh. boob uh chest milk boob boob chest milk <laughs> yeah we have one called susu which is milk 
Okay, susu is milk, huh? Okay. Yeah, so you go like susu, tete, nenen, uh, payudara. Yeah. That's it. But we have tete too. Uh, so the chat's bringing up a good point with Spanish as well. I, I want to bring this up because it's actually kind of funny. We also describe mm -hmm. boobs, depending on how big they are, as like other objects. Like, huh? uh, but also like, you know how like Spanish or I'm sorry, English is like melons, big old mm -hmm. watermelons, big, but don't, yeah, stuff like that. So we also do the same thing. But like uh, <laughs> the one in the chat was one that actually uh, my family says a lot. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's uh, guaguas. <laughs> We're not guaguas. So that's a freaking van. <laughs> that's a car. <laughs> two huge vans. Two huge guaguas. <laughs> Damn. I feel like when it comes to stuff like this, Indo is a bit more like tame. Because we, we really... Oh my God, we respect women, but not really because we're scared of our mothers. So we don't have like words to describe sizes of tits because that would be disrespectful to our mothers. So yeah, yeah that tits? makes sense. Yeah, we just say tits, you know, boobies, tits, titties, yeah. milkies. Yeah. All the mommy milkers. Yeah, all that stuff. They, they don't <laughs> give a shit milkers. about moms around here, apparently. <laughs> God damn. I like, I like the, like, tetitas. Tetitas, yeah, for like the, 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 the flat chested kind of tetitas. I yeah. like that. That was good. Yeah. The mosquito uh, but, bites. So just to let you know, that word, that term is applies to everything. So for example, uh, ita or ito is how you would try to, they, they try to minimize, make things very little. Like for example, uh, it's un telefono. This is a, t a cell phone. Un telefono. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to make it smaller, it's like um, te uh, uh, telefoncito, right? Oh. Um, and they basically oh, ito or ita or something like that um, like a, a cup of coffee like a un cafe is how you say coffee mm -hmm. but you say un cafecito a little coffee Co un cafecito yeah small so coefficient coefficientito <laughs> that doesn't work <laughs> you say uh, cosito you have the small coefficient <laughs> so stuff <laughs> that's like that that's kind of cute yeah uh, yeah so if yeah. I were to like try to endear your your name in in like Spanish, um, I would say Miquita, Chulita, Lindita, Bonita. What is? It? Oh my God! Basically, what I said is like uh, Miquita, basically trying to like endear your your um, your your name, and then uh -huh. uh, Chulita, really cool, but like in an endearing way. Uh, oh. Bonita, very pretty. Uh, Chulita, Damn. very, very swag. It, it's like all those different words. You put it like in endearment. Miquita, Damn. Chulita, Bonita. <laughs> My yeah, God. It's, all, it's like that. Anyways. That's kind of cute. That's really cool. Yeah, Spanish has a, a really funny way to do that. Um, to like uh, minimize words to what they are. So like, for example, cabrón, right? It's like un cabroncito. Uh -huh. Tú eres un cabroncito, ¿sabes? <laughs> you're, you're a little piece of shit, aren't you? <laughs> 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 God, I, I literally, I feel like Asian languages are just so much more tame, so we don't have these things. Very yeah, polite. no, I, 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 I don't know, like, uh, why that's the case. I don't know if it's because Spanish. There's like so many different like versions of Spanish, so like oh, it gets adapted. I think everywhere. it's just because like politeness. You know, we really uphold like politeness around here. Yeah, that that uh -huh. makes sense as well. Yeah. True. We're a very polite bunch chat. Sheesh. Sheesh. Are you ready Sheesh. for the next one? Yes. <laughs> oh, God. Favorite swear word or phrase? We kind of went over this a little bit, but is there a specific phrase that you like? Yes, but <laughs> don't cancel me. It okay. is the question, and I'll be honest. I actually have uh, a kind of a cancelable, uh, cancelable worthy insult. Uh, not insult, but like swear thing. Same. Same. All but right. it is definitely my favorite because I am Javanese, okay? It's, we use this a lot. Okay, it's the J it. word. It's J it's word. Janjok. Okay. I'm like saying it so softly because like I feel so rude. No, that's okay. Like, you if you don't feel comfortable, that's fine. That's fine. But... It, I definitely say it with my friends a lot, but like don't cancel me. It, it's okay, the word is janjok, right? It's just very, very rude. Okay. Um it's kind of like like fuck you fuck this kind of it's just like fuck uh, something. Okay. Something like that. Oh, right. okay, but, okay. So that uh, would be more insult, like derogatory, like towards, like yeah, like very derogatorily, much, yeah. fuck you. 
Yeah. Yeah, but it's like it can be for a situation, it can be for a person. But because I'm Japanese, we have an accent to it. Oh, so okay. when you're super pissed, right? We can go like Genchok, it's just normal. But what I'd say when I'm super pissed and I use the word, I go like you add you in front of any of like the like the A A E O U's like vowels. So it goes like Juanjo. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Damn. I say that quite often on stream, I'm gonna admit that. I know it's rude, but like I'm raised with that. Like all my family members say that a lot. So I, I have always been here. raised with saying it. Yeah, yeah but it's pretty here. rude. So I was like, oh shit. I mean, I try yeah. not to say it with like my non-Japanese friends because they'd be like, oh, "How could you say that? <laughs> how could you?" No, but yeah, yeah as like, long oh. as you know the difference and you kind of like uh, like pace yourself, I think it's totally fine. But it's yeah. this is purely educational, Mika. It's fine. Yeah. What's yours? What's yours? So I don't get canceled. Uh, alone. Okay, so this one, this one's a person. This is my favorite one. Okay. Mm -mm. Um. Okay, so favorite swear. Okay, should I do word or phrase? Any. Okay. Uh, which one would you prefer, the word or the phrase? Uh, word. Okay, word. Uh, okay. This one is very vulgar, I would say. This is probably oh. the, one of the most vulgar words, but Puerto Ricans love saying it. They say it all the time. Uh, it's mm -hmm. puñeta. 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 Yeah. Uh, you, you can basically say it for uh, anything. It's like... Uh, it's the equivalent of saying like shit, right? But it's oh. not actually shit, right? But it's something you say not to somebody uh, as an insult, right? It's just something you say out loud to, you know, like, oh. like fuck. Like, it's like that. It's more like that. Like, fuck. Like when you stub a toe and then you're like, fuck. Yes, correct. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yes. Uh, so... That so okay here here's uh, I'm going to <laughs> but there's like the direct translation um uh, uh -huh. to it uh puñeta uh so basically this is um okay let me go ahead and give you like the full translate because I have to I I get it mixed up with another one which is uh coño which is another mm -hmm. one that's on there too coño um puñeta oh, coño oh, yeah. um ah. so basically puñeta is like um the uh, uh, the exact definition is i think it's basically telling someone or like the anecdotal way of saying going to hell oh yeah so it's like that um and i have to get them mixed up i, I get coño and puñeta mixed up and coño is the one that's real crazy because the act of Coño, we say mm -hmm. it like fuck, right? Right. But coño is uh, <laughs> like the direct translation. Okay, I gotta make sure that I have this right because I don't want to be wrong about this. Um, <laughs> because fuck canceled because wrong facts. Um. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's it's definitely. Oh, it's very different. Uh, compared to others, but I think okay. I, I hope I'm getting this correct. Oh yeah, um, a, a, a coño is a pussy. Oh yeah. So basically, they, that that but you say it in the same way you say fuck. Ah, right? oh, makes sense. Makes so sense. yeah, okay, okay. That's the other one I was saying. So uh, in Portuguese, but it's the same thing in Spanish. The, that's what I was looking for. Um, puñeta also not only is uh, an anecdotal way of saying like going to hell. But it's also a mm -hmm. uh, means of uh, that's means to masturbate. That's the direct translation. <laughs> when someone tells you to go to hell, so you start jerking off. Real. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like different terms depending on where you're from. But the one that I know <laughs> is basically masturbation. Go to hell. Starts wanking it, bruh. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. That's the direct, but we don't use it like that. We don't use it in that context. We use it as like, fuck. Oh. <laughs> but the direct translation, technically speaking, is to masturbate. Imagine someone stubs their toe and you just hear them go like, masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the equivalent of self, a British person saying, wanker. Or something, oh, right? Oh, makes sense. True, true, true. Yeah, something okay. like that, right? <laughs> that... I the only w reason why I like Jancho is because like you can say in different situations. Depends on how you pronounce the thing. So it's like if it's just Jancho, it's like casual, it's like fuck, right? But then if you go like, angry, you go like Jancho like that. But then if you're disappointed, you can go like Jancho. 
you go like yeah you know like janjo janjo okay Janjo. it basically if you pronounce it in a way if you go like fuck in brackets disappointment <laughs> It shows. That's why I quite like the word. It's so universally used. Like, you can do anything. Like, it's great. fuck you. I'm disappointed. You it's use great. it for anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you we basically... Use it quite often around here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's my favorite insult and stuff like that. Um, we'll do... Uh, so that, that's that one. That one's pretty great. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, we will do one more. Okay. Uh, and that'll be it. Because I think we're round 10, right? Or, or was that round 10? I don't remember. Oh, God. I was having such a good time. Like, I was... Oh, this is round 11. Okay, so we already... Okay, so how about... Tiebreaker? We're on a tie, by the way, I think. Wait, what's what's the score? I haven't been keeping track. What's the score? I think it's 5-5. Five, five. No shot. Tie. Really? This tiebreaker. Yeah. Kind of nutty. I thought this was going to be a blow. I thought people were literally just going to vote for you. Nah, dude, your language is really good. I like it. It's more like, <laughs> it's so frontal, but romantic somehow. It's just so frontal. I think that's just what it is. It's so frontal. It's very, it's my very language confrontational, is so, yes. Yeah, my language is so subtle. Okay, like, if very, it's 5-5, five, five, then yeah, hell yeah. I'll go ahead and I'll... Um, tiebreaker. Tiebreaker, already? Ready. All right. Oh, God. Perfect. I bring the Indonesian name to shame. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when you walk yeah. into a messy room, what do you say? <laughs> oh God! It depends you walk who into walks a messy in. Room. Yeah, <laughs> when you walk into a messy oh, room. Oh God! <laughs> All right, you start. You go first. Oh, you want yeah, me to go first? You go first. Yeah, right. you go first. You go first. All right, I'll go first. All right. So I know this from my mother because you walk into my room. It's like, <sighs> qué asquerosidad. It's basically uh, the equivalent of saying, this is disgusting. This is so gross. It's like repulsive. When you say something oh. is asqueroso or asque una asquerosidad, means it's like repulsive. Like so bad that it's disgusting. Oh, I see. Yeah. Is there anything else they would say? No, they would just say it was like a pigsty and just tell me to clean it up. <gasps> or and that's what I do every time. Like if I if like okay, hypothetically, if I were to walk oh. into your room and it was a fucking mess, I mean like que asquerosidad. Que asqueroso like, es este cuarto. How disgusting is this room? Oh okay, okay. I get it. You get it? Hmm. Makes okay. sense, makes sense. Oh. Oh, we have like it's so specific around here. Okay. Okay. The best I can say is like probably people don't usually comment on your room unless it's your mom. So I I, I got a I got a problem. Nah, we'll 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 you know. let it out, bro. Oh shit. Okay. I have glasses. I know I already okay. wear glasses, but You're... I need to be able to remove it. Okay. What? <laughs> this is what we do. Okay. This is what we do. They enter. Uh, they have glasses usually. The mom should enter with glasses and they go. Like okay. Bursinga. And then they walk away. They they would like, bring their glasses <laughs> oh. down. They look you dead in the eye. They, they go like, clean it, and then put it back on and turn around. And then you're fucked. Like you have five minutes to clean your room, or you are kicked out of the house. You're evicted. Yeah, the no. Uh, the difference the between uh, like your mom and my mom. My mom would confront me, and she would tell me straight up, like no remorse. But she's like, you're expected to if you do not like this. This uh, you will self destruct in five minutes if you do not uh, comply. Oh, you know? we just have like the intimidating, like they would pull the glasses down, they'd be like, and then yeah. they put it back on, walk away. It's like, like clean it, and they go, but like it's very, very intimidating because literally, if you don't clean it, they will beat the shit out of you, and then now yeah. you have to clean it, but now you're sick. Like, See, you're like you don't want to find out what happens if she comes yeah. back. Yeah. Right. And yeah. no, I think no one at, up until this point has found out what actually happens after they lower down their glasses and tell you to clean. That's it. the thing. It's something <laughs> that like, again, shook me with Western movies is like, you know how like teenage rebels would be like, what are you going to do? Huh? You're going to hit me like that. Right. And the moms would be like angry and they wouldn't hit you because they're like kind. Uh -huh. No, you do that to an Asian mom. You're fucked. Like you're you're fucked. Jacked, they will hit you. Like, I don't explain it. It's like, you know, those things like I'm going to count from, from Three, two, one. Like I'm gonna count to three, 
if you don't do this, something bad's going to happen. And they're like, what's going to happen, huh? You don't want to find out because it is. It's going to kill you. They will kill you. God, Unironically. you imagine if I, God, I'm just thinking back if I ever did that to my parents, what the hell would happen? I don't, I don't think I'd be on this planet. Same. I think, the, I think I I'd be in a river in a body enough. bag. Dude, it's it's crazy because like you know how like the West would be like, oh my god, you're gonna call, I'm gonna call the police because you're like hitting me. In Asia, if you did that, like they're not gonna come. Like I'm not gonna <laughs> tell you <laughs> straight up. They're gonna be like, why? It's like because my mom hit me because she didn't like I didn't want to clean my room and she hit me. The parents are gonna, like the police will literally hang up on you. They don't give a shit because it's like it's so normalized, right? That you will be scared. Like hitting is probably like the gentlest tear. If your mom hits you with an item, that's like the gentlest tear. And then hitting you with their hands is like a little bit. And then they're going to go to the extreme and like make you sleep outside or like in the dog's house. Like so like the final form of, uh, of, a, of a Latina mom is, of course, there's the first phase, which is the chancla, right? And then you mm -hmm, hit like, mm -hmm. if you hit like the second phase uh, with, with a, a Latina mom, you get what's called the manguera. Which is the hose? Oh, <gasps> same. We yeah. get hosed down. You get yeah, hosed. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no. This is okay. So somebody in the chat said El Cinturón. Uh, that's not for moms. That's for dads. That's the belt. Oh. No, dads only have belts. Uh, oh. Unfortunately, moms have like two phases. Dads only have one phase, and that is the belt phase. Yeah. Well, we have, I think I would say we have like three phases, but I don't, if you, if your mom is strict, usually your dad is like ignorant, like not as strict, you know, he's just going to be like, I'll tell your mom like that. That's like the dad has one card and it's the, I will tell your mom card and your mom has three cards, which is like the first one is the hitting. The second one is jewer, which is they will pull your ear, right? Oh, but the thing yeah. is like pulling your ear doesn't sound as bad, but they will pull your ear to the public and shame you publicly like they will hang you Ooh. up like a shameful piece and they'll be like look at this failure like that and then the third step is like anything from kicking you out of the house like they will kick like, they'll kick you out of the house Sheesh. but then they will be like like they will get mad when you are not there in the morning so you have to stay there until the morning because they will literally kill you if you're not there in the morning jeez you're expected <laughs> to stand there forever and it's, listen, by the, the way, chat, cards. all this stuff is in the name of like satire and parody. I we obviously know yeah. that our parents wouldn't actually fucking kill us. Or like <laughs> honestly, I'm a good kid, chat. Like I, I, I was a good I kid. Never... Yeah, I was... I, I was a good kid. I've only <laughs> ever gotten like disciplined one time because I was being an ass. But like aside from that, yeah. I was a good kid, bro. We we too scared. The thing is, right? Our ancestors found fucked around, find out, so we don't have to. We know what's gonna happen. So now it's like a mental thing you know it's like subconsciously you know this is gonna happen yeah so you don't do it Ex because your correct. ancestors have fucked around found out enough you it know never, it doesn't usually happen to you i'll tell you something right now something that i have learned and I, this is my motto okay that i've learned for a mm -hmm. long long time i'll tell you right now uh so okay smart people learn from mm -hmm. okay Smart people learn from their mistakes. Geniuses right. learn from other people's mistakes. Mm. Makes sense. Makes that's, sense. Uh, that's a motto that I have learned about. I have lived by for a long time. <laughs> that's good. I was talking about mottos with my members today. And one person said, like, you know, the work hard, play hard. One person just say, work, play hard, hard. <laughs> but, so work play hard hard work play hard hard <laughs> I, I don't know life motto my life motto is like it, it, it is what it is if you don't have to do it you don't have to do it <laughs> oh, okay. do the bare minimum do the Steel. bare minimum huh what a term <laughs> what what that what a term is. And uh, talking about like these kind of things would so I would notice this a lot of like Western viewers would show sympathy and I don't know how to respond to it like it's so sweet that they would show sympathy about it but it's like it's so common here that I'm like oh, oh god oh, I oh, bet no, I bet I mean like to be honest with you like I appreciate the sentiment that's very adorable thank you very yeah. much but I'm fine I'm good yeah I'm we good my life. dude it's like a it's like those threat things plus it's like we're not like the culture of respect, you know, like, oh, no, mind blowing thing is like in the West, people believe that like, you know, respect should be earned, right? Here yeah. is like, um, respect, 
um, should be the norm unless you lose it. So I, that's why when people act like, yeah, when people act like you have to earn my respect, that is not very common here. You have to automatically respect people. Yeah. So it, the moment you act disrespectful, it's not even like they will hit you because your mom hitting you is probably better than society shaming the shit out of you when you're older. The society's uh, mean yeah. around here. No, yeah, it, they it's... put a lot of pressure on it. Yeah, no, people um have I have noticed that well, that's not that's not with everybody, obviously, but there's a lot of times or a lot of situations where it's like guilty until proven innocent. Um mm -mm. but I feel like uh right now it's uh, I, I like to give everybody the benefit of the doubt, you know? Yeah, um, I feel like because of that our generation has definitely become like more lenient cuz like yeah, you get there's it. There's always you know? two sides to the uh, to a, qu a quarter. Yeah, you get sides. it because like Back then, it was very, very strict. Yeah. Like, so then you're raised to be this way. I, I feel like I'm raised for... I think we're raised pretty decent, right? I was raised great. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I feel like I'm a, I'm, I'm a pretty good human being, and I think my morale yeah. is, uh, is, is actually pretty... My morality compass, I think, is pretty good. Actually, speaking of morality compasses, uh, do you know about alignments? Like horoscopes? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like um, <gasps> D&D shit. I learned about that no. like yesterday. Like, um, D &D? what is it? L L uh, chaotic good and shit like that. Oh yes, yes, I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just learned about it yesterday, What's and I found out I am uh, uh, neutral good. What Same. am I? I'm neutral good too. Is that what it is? Neutral good. Oh wait, I think I'm chaotic neutral. I don't remember. What am I, chat? I forgot. Same. I, I, I don't remember, but I want to I want to remember this for in case I run into nerds that know that stuff. <laughs> you can test for that. Yeah, you can do it online. You can. Yeah, you can like test it online. How the fuck did you found out? Oh, I'm neutral. Good. Oh. Wait, did I say that already? Did I yeah, say neutral, neutral good? good? Yeah, you said neutral good. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm neutral good. That's what I am. I don't remember what that means, oh. but I remember reading the description. I'm like, yep, that's me. And I that's think it. I'm either chaotic good or neutral good, but I'm not lawful for sure. I'm like almost not lawful. It's like, yeah. I, I don't follow rules as much, but I try to do the good thing. But like, I don't have to follow the rules. I just do the good thing. Yeah. Like, common sense should be normalized. <laughs> I don't know why this is such a difficult thing. You know what I mean? Right? That's what I've been saying. Like, you know, okay, something that like, I don't know if this is like, I'm pretty sure this is different, right? Because uh -huh. I'm like in a company, right? So like our culture, especially since I stream on YouTube, it's very different. Uh, people are so respectful. Like people are so, so respectful. And sometimes I would have first time chatters appear in chat and they're so yeah. nice. And they're like, uh, can I know the rules? Like, you know, can I know the rules of the chat? Because we have chat rules, right? And uh -huh. we have like, can I know the rules of the chat? And a lot of times people would have like rules in the description. I do too, just because it looks aesthetic and I want to be like other streamers. <laughs> but in reality, <laughs> sure. I just like to say like, yeah, I just like to say like, just have common sense, man. Like, I don't mind a lot of things. Just have common sense. Don't be weird. You know, like if you're going to be weird, I'm going to roast you and you can't cry about it. I, like, three rules I have. Be kind, be generous, what? don't be weird. That's it. The same actually same that's why i have like this big thing where it's like you can't judge other people like we all have things you, you're gonna judge it's kind of judgy about right like just don't verbally judge them out loud kind of useless so i'm just like just have common sense and like this is the thing in my chat and what i like to say is like if you're gonna act a fool i'm gonna treat you like a fool and then you can't cry about it because by the end of the day i have the platform so if like if i'm insulting you and people are gonna insult you you can't feel like shit now because yeah. you just made a fool of yourself so just yeah. be, have common sense, dude. Correct. That's all I like to say. I agree. Right? I agree 100%. <laughs> no, that's that's a good take. Based. <laughs> Absolutely. That's another <laughs> word. Uh, speaking of which, based, mm -hmm. I feel like that's based. overused. Not overused. Okay, no, no, no. Not overused. Oh, that's the wrong word for it. I think it is like the similar thing to like, I don't think because based is not necessarily used in the term it was originally for. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So people based now is supposed to be like good take. Like now people use based as a way to say true or something like that. Right? Yeah, yeah. 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 But based is not necessarily like what that means. It is to some extent, but 
Anyways, I don't know I why agree. I went off on this tangent about based. I just thought it was interesting. <laughs> I thought, I mean, that is pretty interesting. I feel like I don't, like, it's nice to think about, like, words being weird because you use it too much. Yeah. For sure. But actually, uh, you know, you can take tests for, like, those, like, uh, neutral good, chaotic good, chaotic evil, stuff like that. I haven't done you it yet. You can take tests for it. The I thing should is, take a test. I have taken, you should. I have had, like, I taken tests on stream because I got curious, right? You uh, want to know the dumbest story. That I'll share today. The Dumbo um, story? A dumb like one of my oh, dumbest a dumb, stories. Okay, a dumb story. Go go for it. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> if your if your editor wants to edit this, now you have a dumb story. Dumb story, go <laughs> for it. Basically. So I have insomnia. So I take medicine to go to bed, right? And it makes me insanely delirious. I do so too. So one right? One night, uh, I took meds and for some goddamn reason, I decided to take an IQ test. And uh, I paid ten dollars to get the result for an online IQ test. Wait, I and like like to measure how smart you are. Yeah, like to measure my IQ. Okay. And I paid ten bucks, right? But because I was so delirious, I closed the tab. I didn't even get an email for it. It's like high key, low key, kind of a scam. So I didn't remember this the next day. And all the only reason I found out was because I got an email saying that I spent ten bucks. And I tweeted about it. I was like, dude, it just literally said I spent 10 bucks. And I was like, when? On a fucking IQ test online. And then when I was streaming, my chat was like, Mika, take the IQ test again. And I was like, I don't want to spend another 10 bucks. But then I ended up taking it again. And I spent a total of 20 bucks to get a random test online to tell me my IQ was 140. So that's fucking smart, right? Like people thought like, oh my God, Mika's a genius. But think about it, chat. I spent $20 for a test. I didn't even get a certificate. I didn't get an email. I got nothing. I spent 20 bucks online for them to just randomly generate a number. Because I forgot. I don't, I think that in itself showed my IQ more than the fucking IQ test. <laughs> it's like completely zonked out. I did not remember anything and this has happened too often like Heike kind of scared because like what if i take it one day and i just start texting people because that has happened before where i just start texting people gibberish <laughs> really because i feel bad yeah because i don't like ignoring people when people dm me i will try my best to reply the moment i see it right i'm gonna so, i'm gonna be completely honest with you i'm sorry to interrupt but yeah you are immaculate at responding back i message a lot of people and uh, I am also a victim to this, not a victim, but I'm also, I also do this is I, I forget to respond and, and people, I get that. you know, and then, you know what I mean? So yeah, I get that. You are like Im almost immediately. Also, you are one of the most rabid messengers I've ever experienced <laughs> in my entire life, dude. Okay, can I, you are can I out you for something that I thought was kind of funny? And I Wait, think it was like what? when we first interacted. Yeah. Uh, this is the first time we chatted. And then you type, like I respond, like I would like to respond in capitals to show uh, excitement for something. So I re respond in capitals and then coefficient responded in capitals. And he's like, oh God, sorry. I typed in capitals. <laughs> that is so <laughs> weird for me. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, no, I, 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 I she got me doing it and shit, dude. <laughs> she yeah, got, I she's would like, get ca all caps, you know. And I'm like, yeah. oh shit. I would respond as fast as I can. Like I'm, I would always respond to anyone, right? So I, a lot of the times when I'm like about to sleep, a lot of my friends would text me, and I would respond, and it's gibberish. Like I wake up the next day, and I'm like, oh, my friend texted me, I have to respond. I check our DMs, and I've already <laughs> responded with like, that's your best, but cool, bruh. <laughs> and i'm like when did i write this oh god so then i type again to them i'm like i'm so sorry i was sleepy what i meant was hey man i'm so proud of you that's very cool <laughs> <laughs> so you don't even it's like so write a cohesive like text you just anything it's whatever yeah. i responded leave me alone <laughs> literally the dumbest thing that has happened recently was in the middle of the night right uh, I think a, a good friend of mine, Albin, if you know him, is from Niji uh, Of course. Albin texted me, right? Albin texted yeah. me and I was, I responded like gibberish. And he knows that like I get like gibberish means I'm about like I took my meds, right? So he called me. So then I was in a call with him and suddenly I said something I forgot. And the next day in the morning, I woke up and he texted me. He was like, um, Mika idea. 
And then he gave, like, he made, like, an idea for a streaming thing, like a content okay. idea. So I responded. I was like, holy shit, dude, that's awesome content idea. Good job. And he's like, Mika, that was your idea. You told me to write it down for you so you remembered in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, bro, well, that's a banger idea, bro. Crazy <laughs> banger idea. That's how I get a lot of my ideas, actually. I would just be like, oh, You're like, shit, idea. that's a good idea. Where'd you get that? It was a good idea. Actually, spoiler, I've never said this, but the lie detector test idea, that yeah. came because I was also delirious. I was like, delirious about to go to bed. And then I told I told Miss, I was like, oh, he wanted a collab idea. And I was like, I want to do a lie detector test. I completely forgot about it. And then he went with like, I, he was like, let's do the lie detector. And I was like, oh my God, that's a great idea. It's going to be fun. Wow. And then last minute, he's like, you know, that's your idea, right? And I was like, no, he's like, that's your idea. We can do it on your stream. And I was like, no. That's no. your idea. Wait, what? Yeah, and he's like, no, you told me. And I was like, no? When? Since uh, when? <laughs> That's funny. I'm a fucking content powerhouse only if I'm delirious. When I'm fucking like aware, dude, I'm the most boring person on earth. <laughs> I have to be on something. I yeah. have to be delirious. I have to be high on sleep. Yeah, I feel like so far the only two people that has done this to me are um Alvin, my roomie. My roomie, I would sometimes barge into my roomie's room being like, yo, crazy idea, right? I do this and I do this and I do this. Uh, remind me in the morning. And then I sleep and the next morning she's like, do this, this, this. And I'm like, oh my God, you should be my manager, you crazy smart ass. That's my idea. <laughs> Bro, you, I should hire you. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, God, you should be one of my creative advisors. That's my idea. I'm delirious. I should hire you. You're pretty good, huh? Man, you yeah. should be doing this shit, not me. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually super That's funny. Of... Great fact that I found out about myself recently. The thing is, I don't. I lose the ability to write, but I still have the ability to talk, which makes it worse. Oh. I did a stream that lasted 50 hours one time, and I told chat I was scared of like. I know people get shocked about. I, I talked about this to some people as well, and I was like, they were like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" But I insane. wanted to celebrate, like, because I got three hundred k. Wait, right? did you sleep? Yay. I did, I did, but only for five okay. hours or like four hours or something. So out of the but, fifty, you only slept like five or six hours. Oh, like total, I slept for ten hours then, because oh, okay, it was so like every a day, three day thing. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah every day, but only for, for like four to five hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But okay. uh, I would have the whole stream, like the whole day, spending time with chat. Because I was like, dude, 300k, what better way to celebrate than to spend like three days with my community? Great mm -hmm. idea, horrible execution. But I told chat, I was so scared because I need to take meds to go to bed. And what if I start like saying things and then I get fired? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, chat, I need you to do me a big favor, right? The moment I start like starting to deliriously talk, you tell me to go to bed. So that's what happened, chat. Like when, once I start like deliriously talking, chat's like, go to bed, Mika, go to bed. And I was like, yeah, since you told me to, I will. And then I go to bed. <laughs> okay, great. No, that's yeah. good. No, I, I'm always afraid of that type of stuff too. When, you know, when you're yeah. like losing sleep and stuff, it's like, oh my God, I hope I, because you know, I'm not all the way there, you know? So like, yeah. you can say things that like maybe needed more context or maybe, you know, something. It's like, oh man. Yeah. But, but the Clippers are probably like, She's she's getting yeah. sleepy. No. <laughs> she's getting sleepy. The thing is, it's my, my community is way too nice, bro. My my community is way too nice to me. Oh, that's like good. they will they will literally be like, Mika, silence, you will get fired or some shit. And like silence, this includes Mika. some of the clippers. Yeah, a lot of the clippers would purposely like not clip moments because if they do, I might get in trouble. So they're very, very sweet. Like I kind of rest my career on their shoulders at this point. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. The, oh, the, thanks, the community for sure is uh, uh, once you build up a really nice community, it's like really uh, it's humbling. It's yeah. like that people will be like, hey, we're not here to just like watch you do stuff. We're here to like just you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Essentially, it's like the, the ordeal. Yeah. You know, the thing it's, is, it, they it's fucking cool. insult me a lot, though. They bully me. But then when it matters, they're like, shut the fuck up. I mean, that, that's <laughs> like, a, I mean, I love it when they insult me because then I can insult them. And I love talking I can't. Shit. That's the unfair bit. I, I can't like I'm not creative enough, enough to insult my community. So I just keep calling them like you piece of shit. And then they become more creative. 
Yeah, I so I I, I do this a lot. This is the uh, not a new thing, but like this is something I make fun of. <laughs> this is gonna sound really bad, okay? But context, context, oh. context. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I make fun of them because of the color of their name. <laughs> oh my god! So like fucking Drop that. I like green names in my chat. The fucking Papega motherfuckers. All right, like <laughs> green names. I can't stand them. All right. I love everybody. I can't. I, I love. I love green names too, but I can't stand them. All right. Uh, then you got like the NPC blue names. They don't really cause a ruckus. Mm -hmm. They're just NPCs, right? They just chill around. Um, mm -hmm. And then they got like the reds, which are the hybrids, which are like it could. They could either be Papega's fuck, or they could be like actually pretty cool. Um, and then and then you got the weird champs, which are pink names. They're weird champ as fuck. Like they might not weird seem. Champ. Like some of them might not seem like they're weird champ, but trust me, they're weird champ. Um, so that that's uh, that's how it is. that's how it is. Now a lot of people are like, "You're colorless. You're you're, you're colorist yeah. or something like that." I'm like, yeah. and you know, I have fun with it because I think it's actually kind of like it's funny because it's like it's like, nah, dude, my, my my sister's dating a green name. It's fine, dude. There's no <laughs> way I'm not colorist. <laughs> Okay, note for your editor, right? You can do this thing where you go like, I judge people by the color, and then you crop it off, and you go like, thun, 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 and then that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. There's like <laughs> no <a> context. <laughs> yeah, I judge people by the color, and that's it. <laughs> and it's like, oh. <laughs> oh. No. Why green, though? You people are asking. Green? I mean, like. Why green? Dude, why green? Because they are fucking Papega motherfuckers. They come in and say the most <laughs> weirdest shit. Like stoner ass <laughs> bitches, dude. We don't have that on YouTube. I usually like just laugh at people's display picture. I think the the mad like craziest thing was like I showed a picture one like when I came back after my vacation. I sh I showed them like pictures I took when I was in Japan, right? Uh -huh. And there was this bird that I took, and it's like the it's funny because I showed them a picture that Mista took, and it's like the most artistic shit like you would pay five dollars to get this picture kind of a thing mm -hmm. and the picture i showed my chat of the same bird i took the background has like dying fucking grass and the bird just looks <laughs> fat and dying right yeah. it's like the ugliest picture of the bird you'll ever see yeah. and someone in that moment uh somehow sent me a super chat and they changed their name into mika's burb with a picture mika's of the burb. bird <laughs> like they're so fucking fast like i showed this to you three seconds ago how the fuck did you set this up so quickly i love those those, now those, those people there. are great yeah they just they're just there now forever it's like they would just support me being like yeah i'm your bird i'm not ugly bird you took an ugly picture of i'm like <laughs> fuck you dude i thought the picture was good okay I, it was like a very zoomed in picture because i was scared the bird will fly away so just bad quality bad angle bad everything bad bird to be honest <laughs> God did, you guys, damn. did you guys use like good cameras or did you guys use like phone cameras? I use my phone. I use oh, my okay. phone, but like somehow Mista took really good pictures with the and same. You use this phone too? Yeah. Wow. But like, I use the same damn phone. That's some. Like, that's some skill. Shit. That's some skill. No, that's why I was like, bro. If if you didn't see his picture, right? My picture looked good, but because you compare it, it looked like shit. But now it's a meme. <laughs> Listen, there's a saying that goes way far back. All right. You 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 hand a monkey a fishing pole, it's not gonna do shit. All right, it's just gonna mm. bang it on the floor. It's just gonna fuck it up. But if you teach the monkey how to fish, it could fish with anything: fishing poles, spears, mm. its bare hands. True, true. So you just don't know how to fish. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you just had your fucking fishing pole, and you're just like. Look at my picture! I'm not good. Yeah. I'm not good at taking pictures, bro. Like, there's, I don't have like pictureable moments. Okay, so the skills have never been developed. To be very fair. Yeah, yeah, but if you don't know, learn how to, you you take great pictures, just like Mista. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no, I don't think so. But yeah, sure, I'll take it. No, One no, day, no, I'm coming for you. A hundred percent. No, you can take better pictures than him. Yeah, definitely. Not now. I think I'm good in a lot of things. <laughs> not now, not soon, but like not at one point in your life, maybe, yeah. With pure yeah, luck exactly. and a lot of practice, maybe. Uh, so uh, just to <gasps> kind of round this up, we do have the <clears throat> final results of the Ooh. thing. I mean, uh, just to see like which one uh, like uh, people liked, you know, because <clears throat> I, so for those of you who don't know, Miko won 6-5. 
11 questions. Yay! Uh, good job, Mika. Very nice. Uh, yeah. There is round one, which was finding a good deal. You won that round. Uh, the I love you. Uh, it was ah. that was my round. Ah, uh, makes sense. The the thank you. The thank you uh, was mm -hmm. Mika. Oh. Uh, for the, the 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 dick or the penis. What the hell mm -hmm. is this, dude? I won, and they call me Co the PP Man. I don't know about <laughs> the that. The PP Man. I don't like, I like that. that. I don't like that. Co a PP. Mm, I don't like that. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, my God, that was a then, great idea. Then there's the insult, and that was uh, Mika. That was you. Oh. Uh, the failed test oh. is me. Oh, oh, my God. It's like going back and forth. I know, right? And then the cut you off in traffic was Mika. What uh, the hell? Hello to the best friend is me. Oh. Uh, boobies, also me. Mm. Um and then favorite swear word is Mika. As Ooh. You. And then obviously the messy room Mika as well. People were intimidated by oh the, the glasses. Yeah, the uh. glasses was what hit. Oh, had nope. uh, oh my god! You... Congratulations, you won. Rare dub. What do I win? What What do you want? I want twenty gifted subs to 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 coefficient right now. Well, like, I, you want me to gift subs to myself? Yes. Can you do that, actually? Yeah. Did you not know that? No, I didn't. So, yeah, I do that all the time. Like, uh, well, okay, I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, do you know who Nags is? No. So, Nags is a content creator who also does, like, VTubers and stuff like that. And, uh -huh. uh, by the way, the chat's going to erupt right now. Uh, but, uh, for the most part... He's a good friend of mine. He's a very good friend. Um, he's a content creator as well. And he also like covers VTubers and stuff like that. So uh, he uh, does a bunch of bets with his chat. And he has over a thousand gifted subs in his own chat. What the fuck? That shit floored me. <laughs> Flo like, I couldn't believe it, dude. This dude spent over a thousand <laughs> gifted subs to himself. I couldn't believe it. You gotta support the platform. <laughs> well, like he does like bets with his chat a lot and he loses a lot. So Holy like shit. and he does like insane shit like, oh yeah, I'll give a hundred subs if I fail. <laughs> there, well, there, there it is. I want <laughs> I want fifty gifted subs then. Yeah, <laughs> do, do you want of uh, it? Wait, what? For me? I yeah. I barely stream, so no, I want to be you for you. You want me to give fifty subs to myself? Yeah, you're going to be like your friend Nags. Uh, I'm not saying that's a good thing, Mika. <laughs> I, I don't want to... I don't want to... That's not necessarily role model worthy, if you know what I mean. I want to see the hype train. I like that. It's cool. <laughs> I like the, the, the animation in chat when like the train appears. I'm such a fucking Twitch uh, newbie. A lot of the times, it's just my mods. Like, my mods would run my stream. Unironically. Do you, do you like... Is there a preference? or Well, I know that your main platform is on YouTube. But do you, yeah, it's, do you have I like, like you know, oh, Twitch? I quite like Twitch. Yeah. yeah, but I just don't know how it works. But like the people are just a bit more chill around like on Twitch. And like, I don't get like, oh, in trouble. But uh, because my main platform is YouTube, I'm not, I don't have like the time to learn about Twitch unless it's when I stream, you know? Okay. And the dumbest shit is like, I tell people like I'm on Twitch to just like relax and be stupid. Right. Mm -hmm. And so it's like the lowest energy, weirdest content you'll ever see in your life. It's just just chatting. There's a phase where I streamed on Twitch to specifically play chess. Really? I would play chess. Yeah. Only on like if you scroll onto like my thing, like the categories, right? Uh -huh. uh, it's either chess or just chatting because I would just <laughs> either chat and then play fucking chess. And that's all I did on Twitch. It's just chess. And like, are you good I still at remember chess? this no okay. <laughs> i'm enough. okay like i i know the rules and that's kind of it but i like playing chess it's fun and i would like rage like people play chess and just relax i would full-on rage because i'd play it with my community and if mm. they beat me i would rage so hard that there was this really kind person that would play with me just to lose so that i would feel happy wow <laughs> i know <laughs> wow <laughs> but i don't know anything about twitch i still remember the day like uh, my managers asked me, like, why do you want to go on Twitch? 
you know? And they were like, are you going to play Apex? You know, like the normal games you play on like fucking Like normies. <laughs> yeah, like normies. They're like, You're, uh, oh, are you going to play Apex? Or are you going to play like the, you know, Valorant? And I'm like, I want to play chess. And I did for like a month or two. I just played chess, only chess, only chess for two months straight on Twitch. Wow. So I don't actually know anything about Twitch. My mods do it for me. They tell me to install stuff. I install them. They add all the emotes. They do all of like yeah, that, the that, polls. They take care of it. Yeah. yeah, they do everything. And all I do is go like, mods, how do I do this? And they're like, go to settings, go to this and this. And I'm like, mods, how do I check my, my community? Go to this, go to this, go to this. Like, my mods run my stream. I don't know anything. I also didn't know a lot about um, emotes. The only ones I know is Pepe Wank, which is my, the one I remember. I, and I, I swear to... Hate. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I gotta cut you off again, but like, dude, yeah. that emo fucking it's good. took me by surprise. I did not I know it to everyone. that that is uh, an emo. And when I first saw it, I'm like, is Pepe <laughs> jacking off? Yeah, you're like, is Pepe doing what I think he's doing? And I'm like, yeah, it's Pepe Wang. I would send it to anyone. Like, if I just interacted with you for the first time, I would send Pepe Wang. Because it's one of my favorite emotes ever that and like i hate xdding do you like that's like something so IPN i have something using. similar i have the sonic emote do you see it in the chat yeah it's the it's the fucking sonic humping i don't get that one it's so fucking weird it's weird but i found a way to make it funny sometimes it so when when weird. the chat sees somebody they don't like like in a video game like oh my god that character uh -huh. is really stupid they start saying the sonic and say disrespectfully <laughs> <laughs> That shit sends me, dude. Or like, like they, they like a character, like respectfully Sonic. Oh my god, that's so odd. The I like shit just sends Pepe Wang. Yeah, that's Pepe Wang. My favorite one. That's a good Pepe one too. Pepe Wang to be just honest. good. Uh, I, I still like. I hate XDDing. It's like this fucking stupid cat that's just What's like XDD? stretched out. It's like a, it's a fucking cat that just smiles at you and it's stretched to oblivion. It's like a stretched to fuck. And it's like, they would do XDDing. And I hate it because IPN used it to shit on me. Like, IPN was like, chat, spam XDDing. And now I fucking hate it because someone made an emote of me looking like XDDing. It's Wait, is it, is it capital D's or, ca or lowercase D's? I think it's capital, like X capital DD. Oh, okay. It? Looks weird. XDD. I yeah, I don't like it. that one at all. Nah, it's yeah. Like a, it's a weird cat. It's an ugly cat. It's an ugly cat, yeah. <laughs> it's a fucking ugly cat. And I'm like, why do you have to make the cat look so damn ugly? And then my cat would spam it. Anytime I feel like I get angry, the chat would purposely spam XDD. And they'd have like an XDD Mika. Where it's just a cat with uh... my hair. Yeah, and they spam the shit out of it. And, like, and it looks ugly as hell, but they, they they love that you hate it, so they spam it all the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I get it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Absolutely. And that's why these are my mods. I hate there, my mods, man. There, there's a lot of, like, uh, really good emotes out there. Would you, do you say you have a favorite? Other than, is it Pepe Wank? Is that your favorite emote of all time? Uh, I like Pepe Flushed as well. It's cute. Flushed. It's like this ugly yeah, there's like this ugly, you know, I'm going to send it on Discord, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. They'll send it to me. I don't know if I, um. It's this one. Pepe flushed. A Pepe shy. I don't know what it's called. It's like this Pepe that's like. Oh, okay. Together, yeah. But they're so flat. I like that one. It's so cute. It's like, hello there, fellow. Thank you. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, that's the closest thing we <laughs> have over here, but they don't have it on, on here. But it's, uh, it, I, that, I that's a good like one. I like that one. Yeah, it's I like... liked it so much. It's very much like mom, I threw up type vibes. Yeah, it's like mom, I vomited. Someone yeah. drew like me as that emote as well. And then there's See, one person cool. that drew me as like a, someone drew me as like the Giga, like the Giga Chad one. I think oh, like if you sick. sub to me, you can use it. Some people have been using it in chat where it's like, it's a whole GIF, GIF, I don't know, of like me becoming Giga Chad. Yeah, no, that that's, I love those emotes. We have one. Yeah, there. Uh, yeah, Someone's we have. Someone's in chat said did it. There you go. Yeah, there's 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 a couple of them. I love those those Giga Chat emotes for sure. The Giga Chat emotes is yeah. awesome. They're so good. That's mine. And there's so many variations and stuff too. What's your favorite one? My favorite emote? Well, okay, so there is uh, there's a couple. I mean, the ones that I have on my wall are like so uh, are are classics, right? Um, I yeah. really like this one. This is the my my Corona emote. 
Um, it's just basically, <laughs> it's so cute. I love it cute. so much. I use it all the time. It's like my favorite thing ever. It is it's just, super cute. It's just so promiscuous and I'm uh, not promiscuous. My bad. Uh, it's so like uh, mischievous, mischievous. That's the word. Yeah, I'm mischievous. Uh, mischievous. It's just like what, 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 what are they thinking? <laughs> What's going on in that that brain of theirs? You know, it's like, it's like that's what I think of every time I see that emote. So, anyways, uh, it's there's, cute. there's that one, but my I think my favorite emote is probably okay. So it's it's pertaining to like context uh, with how you use the emote. So like you know the uh -huh. Kekona emote. No. So the Kekona chat spammed the Kekona emote. Kekona, you've seen it probably, but Kekona emote is basically mm -hmm. what you use in order to have that stereotypical like American like attitudes like hell yeah brother <laughs> red white oh blue oh my god red white blue hell yeah america <laughs> bro hell yeah brother <laughs> like that whole fucking like arc like what uh the fuck? like stereotype it's like my favorite shit ever dude anytime everyone's like yeah back in the day i used to uh go on the side of the road and i would pick up chairs and crt <laughs> tvs it's like hell yeah brother just like any other good old red-blooded american would Hell yeah, brother! And they this emote, that emote. like the the emo culture on Twitch. Oh, like okay, I felt so bad for this. Um, the first day I was on Twitch, right? I watched IPN stream, and I didn't understand anything about emotes, right? So I asked Mister, like, "Hey, uh, what emote should I use to IPN?" And he's like, "Oh, use the the like the snooze one. Like, it's a guy like falling asleep." Oh, it's Resident What's Sleeper. It yeah, resident sleeper is like resident use sleeper. resident like type resident sleeper in his chat. So oh, I did because <laughs> I didn't know what it is, right? But like basically, Mista told me it meant like like I'm you know I'm there, like I am here in your chat and I am invested in your content, you know. So I just wanted IPN to know that like I am watching his content. So I start typing <laughs> resident sleeper. I didn't know what it meant, so I just kept using resident sleeper Holy to shit. IPN. Until someone told me that, like, okay, Resident Sleeper means the stream is so boring that you fell asleep. Correct. I didn't mean that. I've been sending it to IPN for so, like, so often. You got Because I was like, I'm here to support you. You know, like, as in, like, I am, I'm not going to chat in your stream. I'm lurking, but I'm here. But That's you're what, sleeping, like, too. I was told. Yeah, it's like, I didn't know it was, like, it meant, like, because I thought resident, you know? Like, you are a resident. So it makes sense in my brain. Stop. I didn't. I didn't focus oh, on the sleeper so part. That's so cute. I didn't so know. Cute. I felt so bad, bro. I even like apologized to IPN. I'm like, just so you know, I didn't think it was boring. I got gaslit. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. So there's a new updated version of Resident Sleeper, uh, that they're really? spamming at Bedge. You know the the Bedge one, oh, right? Oh, Bedge. I know Bedge. I love Bedge. Like but here's the thing. I love about Bedge that has a part two, right? They're all sleeping mm -hmm. right now, and then all of a sudden you go, yeah. Wake up. And then the entire <laughs> woke, <laughs> and they they all <laughs> there's the part two. <laughs> I love it. That's my favorite woke shit too. ever, dude. They go badge, <laughs> and then also you tell them wake up. They just all wake up. Oh it's my god, great. that's so that is so good. I like it's, Twitch because of the emote culture. Right? Isn't it's it nice? Great? That's something that YouTube. I think they're they're. I think it's getting better. To be honest, um, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully. Um, but right now, like, uh, you can't use like your emotes outside of your stream, right, on YouTube? No, yeah, yeah. You can only use it on your channel. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's probably why, because uh, yeah, and this here, and but you have the ex uh, do you have the seven TV extension stuff with like Franker Face and Better Twitch, mm -hmm. Better TV? I don't know if it's on YouTube. There might be some. I because I know with the big streamers going over to YouTube, um, they're, they they kind of have made extensions and stuff like that. So it just, you know, uh, no. makes it so you can use these emotes that you're seeing right now um, on YouTube. So food for thought. But uh, it, oh. when it comes to like uh, the emote stuff, yeah, Twitch is like insane. They're so yeah, good with that type crazy. of stuff. Yeah, it's crazy. I had to learn so much terms for it because I am such a newbie. <laughs> Resident like, I don't. Yeah, I don't want to do an ex. Like, I'm so glad it's IPN, and IPN's one of my good friends, so I can apologize. Like, imagine if like I didn't know you, and I'm just like spamming Resident Sleeper in your chat. Oh yeah, that, like, I, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. Right? Like, I was like, bro, you literally almost ruined me. To be honest with you, I would have been me. like, oh my god, that's Mika. Yeah, sleep all you want. You need a blanket? 
<laughs> you, need, you, you need a glass of water? You can sleep all your wine. About, <laughs> like, with Twitch, right? You don't have, like, on YouTube, if you are, like, um, if you're uh, official, like, you have the tick, your name yeah. gets, like, highlighted. So people can see you. And then the culture is, like, people would be, like, like, if you're streaming on YouTube and then I appear on your chat, people are going to be, like, Mika's here, Mika's here, like that. Yeah. But on Twitch, people just, like, glance it over. So I, I feel more relaxed, like, chatting on Twitch because, like, usually people don't even know I'm there. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, there's a verified check mark on Twitch, but I think it's definitely more prominent on oh. YouTube because I've been to some YouTube yeah. streams and, and they like point me out right away. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause it's so it, obvious. It's it's really obvious. So, um, yeah. Oh, God, I had one more thing before we uh, kind of wrap it up here, um, but I completely forgot. Oh, oh, oh! oh! Yes. Oh, yeah. I will say that again. Sorry. I was, I just said coefficient think. Oh yes. <laughs> Yes, think emoji. Uh, think emoji. What? Okay, what do you think of Yu Gi Oh? Um. Do you play okay. Yu Gi Oh? Uh, do you know Yu Gi Oh? Oh God. Have you? I know Yu Gi Oh. I know Yu Gi Oh. Yu Gi Oh because my uh my friend Mary have been desperately trying to get me into it. Oh, I know Mary. Uh, that I saw him on your uh, on your video just now. Yeah, yeah. That, but... that that motherfucker, uninvited, just literally bashed the door open and said, "You want to play Yu Gi Oh, bro?" When I was playing Yu Gi Oh, and I'm like, <gasps> "Oh, I'm sorry." He does. He didn't say that. He said, "Uh, could I please uh play some Yu Gi Oh with you, my good sir?" Oh, and, that, that does sound like a very merry thing to say. Yeah, and uh, I'm like, yeah. And then he showed up, and we played Yu-Gi-Oh! and shit, and it was, uh, it, was, it was pretty good. It was pretty fun. So uh was really funny. Oh, my God. It was so great because uh, the matches that we were playing and stuff like that, he, he, he like, anime fights it. So he sounds like mm -hmm. one of the characters from the anime, and he's so good because yeah. his accent is ridiculous. So he's just like, well, and now I will summon my photon galaxy dragon. That sounds in like attack a mode. Thing to do. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, this guy's pretty legit. This guy's yeah. pretty great. No, I. I uh, That's not a very merry thing to do. Yeah, yeah, of course. No, no, Mary's great. He's he's awesome. Um, I'm I'm planning to uh, talk to him for another, possibly to play some more Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, but I know that um, what is it? Uh, there's some other uh people in Niji Sanji that play Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff like that too. Ooh, yeah. A lot. Um, I think Rosemi and Taka plays it. Yeah. I, I, I don't know about Taka, but I know Rosemi. It's actually like one of my dreams to be able to play her in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, because I like tune into a lot of her uh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh streams. And I'm like, oh, wow. That's insane. Yeah. I can't believe she's playing this deck. This is insane. And I'm like, I want to play her so bad. Um, nerd. Oh, and that's... <laughs> no, no, chat spam the nerd emote. Look at this nerd talking about decks and shit. Nerd. Alira also was playing too. <laughs> a lot of people play Yu-Gi-Oh. I wanted to learn. Yeah, the nerd emote. I want to learn, but like, I keep like they keep getting busy when I'm free. Kind of fucked up. It's kind of it's kind of it's, fucked it's, up. It's, it's kind of fucked up. It's just so happened that shit happens when you want to play Yu-Gi-Oh. You know. I've never played Yu-Gi-Oh. Never even like watch the the show or anything either. Did you no. watch? What about Pokemon? No. What do you have a show that you did watch? Naruto. That was my first anime. Okay, okay, Naruto. Did you watch the that entirety of Naruto? Oh, hold on yes. a minute. So if we're if you're if you are are, are are watching Naruto. Yeah. Did you watch the entirety of Naruto? Yes, I watched it. I read it. Everything. Okay, you're probably gonna know what I'm about to say next. Then. Sakura's trash. <laughs> okay no that's not what i was saying but i oh, okay. I, I did okay. have a previous guest that told me all about how she gets uh too much hate oh so anyways what i was gonna say is uh have you watched boruto yes i even yes i have so i even read the do manga. you watch it oh you read oh both 
I'm a very loyal Naruto fan, but like wow. Yeah. So you're not like ev like the ninety uh, the other ninety percent of Naruto fans where they literally just like there is no bur burrito, burrito does no, not exist. No, I have read Boruto. I've actually like I I already know the plot because like I already know the plot in advance because I read the manga. But I'm gonna say this chat like holy shit that anime is mm, I don't know man like I don't know man okay. I don't know, Girl. man. I, I, to be what honest with you, like I, so here's how I, uh, we'll kind of wrap it up with this topic, but with, uh, with, with, when it comes to mangoes, right. I only mm -hmm. have read one mango in its entirety. What? Demon Slayer. <gasps> Same. I've read I, Demon Slayer. I have the entire collection up there. Actually. It's, uh, it's pretty dope. The, I bought it at Barnes and Nobles and the complete entire series. And I read the whole thing. Mm. Uh, but uh, when it comes to mangoes in particular, there's three shows, three shows that I watch mangoes. I don't read them. I vicariously mm -hmm. read them by watching reviews on YouTube. Holy, okay, you're those kind of people. I see. I, I am. See. I am only with certain things. I I do it with My Hero Academia. Uh huh. I do it with Boruto. Uh, and I do it with um, One Punch Man. Oh, okay, okay. Man. So I do it with those three in particular. Uh, but everything else, I I I I, I want to watch it, and when it comes to animation and stuff like that. And the reason mm -hmm. why I like doing the Boruto stuff because I know how in. The reason why is because okay, when I f I, I first got like into not into Boruto, but like. I know about Boruto because of that that one fight scene with the white guy. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. Yeah. The, yeah okay. Okay. It's uh, and it's a super awesome fight scene. The choreogra the, the choreography and uh, the music is insane. So after that, I kind of started being like, okay, what's going on? And then there was another event, a really big event that happens that kind of you know, you know, uh, to uh, uh. The, our old, the old characters, basically. Eventually, the old yeah. characters have to be phased out, right? Um, yeah. So, uh, I started watching because a lot of people were very much into it, and they love making fun of Boruto. And I'm what, and I'm literally just keeping up strictly because of like, okay, what kind of shit are they gonna fuck up this time? Mm, okay. I, I, that's all the reason I'm. Yeah, uh, hold on a minute. Like I, I can't. I cannot remember this guy for the life of me. What's that white guy's name? Momoshiki. Yes, that's the one. Momoshiki. That's the one. Yep, the one. Uh, mm -hmm. I can never remember that name. I swear. Uh, but Momoshiki, Momoshiki, and it was uh, Naruto and Sasuke and uh, Momoshiki. Yep. Mm. Oh, I don't like Boruto. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I don't either. Aiki. But that fight scene was incredible. That fight scene was mm. incredible. Oh yeah, the, there was this one time I, I said the same thing in my chat. It's like, yeah, that, that one fight scene with Naruto and Sasuke and the white guy, and they're like, which one? I'm like, what the fuck? You mean which one? The only <laughs> one. I'm like, there's more than one. <laughs> what do you mean? The thing is, holy shit! I feel like Boruto is boring because Naruto was so good. Uh, obviously like, yeah i think so too in my opinion also like i don't know what the fuck the filler was going on but like i did not keep up with this one but i saw clips on it on twitter where sasuke had a very romantic moment with a dinosaur and people were saying like the fact that sasuke had an actual romantic moment with a dinosaur and never even once had a romantic moment with sakura shows and i'm like honestly based but like what the fuck <laughs> yeah honestly i based, saw like clips of it on twitter <laughs> because <laughs> like what? naruto was so good like naruto literally made me emo bro like i was so emotional reading and watching naruto <laughs> especially the itachi shit i was such a big itachi sh sim like i broke down man i was like I, oh my god i, love I don't you. know anything about naruto i okay i recently uh kind of <gasps> cleaned up my act i used okay listen i'm about to tell her chat all right i used to call everything a rasengan I'm like, that eye? Yeah, the Rasengan. The eye? Oh, shit. But now I know. Oh, 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 I, okay, I, I forgot. They're both guns, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. So it's practically the same shit. I but think? the one that I, 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 uh, there's another one that I know now. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, the Rasengan and Chidori. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I know those two things. Bruh. You, yeah. so you haven't watched Naruto until the end. I didn't watch anything. <laughs> you haven't watched it, but you watch, but why? I watched the Boruto fight scene because it was on Twitter. Dude, you need to watch Naruto. Or at least read it. Maybe not watch because watch has like a lot of fillers. But like, you need to read it. Dude, do you know what it I... It is so good. I watch One Piece. Okay, yeah, true. Okay, then you should watch Naruto. It's so good, bro. I, I can't even like fucking spoil it. But like, I am so insanely passionate about Naruto. I can go on rants about so, it. because like people have tried to explain to me like about Naruto. And, and explain to yeah. me like all that shit. And uh, I kind of get it. I kind of try to retain as much as possible because there's a lot of shit that I've played and I vicariously or like I absorbed a lot of information. And with that, I was able to piece together the ma the story. Uh, one, okay. of the, one of the properties I've done that with is a game called Blaze Blue, uh, uh -huh. which is a fighting game. And it has a crazy convoluted, uh, it's crazy ass story. Uh, but through the power of other people liking that property, that I was able to absorb everything. Um, dude, that would be a trip to take you down Blaze Blue Lane. But uh, for the most part, yeah, I, I, I've done the same thing with Naruto. So, for example, I know that there is a, a, a fox inside of Naruto. And it's like broke. It's like a, a Sukuna from uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah, basically. Super, super OP, super crazy, makes them super broken. Uh, yeah, basically. So, um, then there is, uh, I know that Sasuke, his whole family died. Yeah. And I know that, uh, that, uh, that sensei guy that everyone, that everyone loves. It's basically the, the Gojo of Naruto. Uh, Kakashi? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> That's the one, and he's Kakashi like, "Kakashi's uh, a Gojo Naruto." Yeah, yeah. So he basically is like, uh, super, like probably one of the most beloved characters, like ever. Right. Okay. True. Yeah, 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 the, yeah. that guy. And then I have what is it? <sighs> oh, uh, I learned. I know about. Uh, there was this guy. I don't remember his name. Uh, this guy, and he took on like. A fucking million ninjas by himself. That happens a lot. Which one? Really? Oh shit! Yeah, there's uh, a lot of like a lot of like one versus a thousand. I don't know. It was like a army of ninjas, and there was this one guy, and he just kicked all their asses. Madara is what people are saying in chat. I, I think I don't remember. I don't know. I just saw it in a a, a a a clip, and then that's it. Okay, I can summarize the plot of Naruto for you because I feel like Naruto is a good watch back then. But now with like so many anime, it's not as worth it. Agreed. But back then it was definitely like when anime was so little, Naruto was definitely really really a good investment. I can TLDR the whole plot for you. Well, he wants to be like, Hokage, right? That's the TLDR. No, no, I can TLDR the whole plot, like literally okay. the whole plot. Okay. Oh, you like know what? Less than five you know minutes. what? I'm I'm down. Go for it. TLDR the entire plot, Mika. Okay. <clears throat> Naruto's like, I want friends. Sasuke's like, no, I want to kill you. And Naruto's like, but I want to be your friend. And I also want to date Sa Sakura. And Sakura's like, I wanna I wanna date Sasuke. And then Sasuke's like, I'm gonna kill you too. And Sakura's like, oh my god, Kia, hot. And then uh, Naruto's like, I'm going to continue to make you be my friend. And then after chasing a while, Sasuke's like, oh shit, I, I ran out of puberty time. I'm not edgy anymore. Time to save, time to fight the world with Naruto. So they all three as a gang fight, fight like this big god thing whose only goal is specifically to put you into deep sleep and give you good dreams until the end, which honestly kind of unbased, but okay. And then after she, they defeat this really hot lady who wants to actually just give you a good life in your mind, they, she wants to give you copium. Uh, they're like, yeah, we did it. And, and then Naruto's like, I'm Hokage now. And Sasuke's like, in order for me to apologize proper properly, I will run away. And then Sakura's like, oh my god, he fingered my forehead. The end. Mm. 
Not the pot. <laughs> I want to talk about the fingering his forehead. <laughs> What is that Unironically, uh, basically, that's Sasuke's like show of affection, bro. I have a complete hatred for Sakura. Okay, I know there are people in chat that like defend Sakura. Nah, bro, I fucking hate her. I, I, she's probably one of the characters that I dislike the most. Like, huh. no, no offense, I, I, she just has anger issues. I think you're the majority of people. You are. Yeah. I, I, that that's a, that's everybody that has talked about sakura they hate her yeah and it's not even because she's obnoxious like she is toxic okay <laughs> she's toxic like she is dude like the whole time naruto has been chasing after sakura and at one point sakura literally just t told naruto that she likes him back just so that he doesn't like fucking leave her or something kind of kind of weird kind of weird damn that is toxic in a nutshell but hold kinda, on kinda hold on Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite character? Hinata. Hands down. Hinata and Itachi. For wait, girl, wait, wait. Okay, Hinata hold on. Itachi. Let me specify it even more because I didn't go as, as as I thought it was going to go. Do you like Naruto or Sasuke? Oh, fuck. Low key, I hate them both. But like, I guess <laughs> Naruto. <laughs> Low key, no, I did like, not expect I don't that. Like both. <laughs> I yeah, fuck them Sasuke both, was actually. So... <laughs> I have never once, okay? If you idolize Sasuke as a child, <laughs> like you want to find someone like Sasuke, you want a toxic relationship, period. There is no way you want a healthy relationship if you your ideal partner is Sasuke. He is so irritating. So irritating. And Naruto is also irritating because he is just like, I'm going to be Hokage. That's it by you. Every three fucking minutes. It's like, yeah, we still remember. You said it three minutes ago. And I get it, like, oh my god, I, Fellas, I have a power. Is it talks. toxic to be happy and have aspirations and goals in life? Like being yes. the Hokage? It's cringe if you keep telling it. Like, you know, like <laughs> you do it. Don't say it. Like, I'm not believing it. You know, it's like I'm gonna I'm gonna control the world, Date Bio. It's like I get it. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. But like he, I don't like I don't like um both, but I'd say Naruto more than Sasuke because he's not edgy. I hate edgy characters. I do too. I've never had a phase of like liking an edgy character. Me I neither. always find them irritating because it's like, wow, the world is so mean. I get it. Your whole family's dead, but like, shut the fuck up. No, <laughs> the I world agree. doesn't revolve around you. We agree on the same top. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> I, agree. I like shy characters. That's why I absolutely love Hinata. She is best girl, bro. She is so cute. She's so wholesome. That's like, the other character I know. So I know only Naruto, Sasuke, Hinata, and Sakura. That's it. She is so like cute. Like I still remember I uh I laughed so hard because Naruto was literally trying to like fight. Like he's about to die, right? The dude is always about to die every single time. About to, but he doesn't. But like He never does, of course. He never fucking does, but he would always almost die. And then it cuts to a scene of Hinata being a sweet, sweet girl knitting a scarf. Like the intense fight scene and then suddenly it's like Hinata needing a scarf like it's so wholesome she's just like unbothered cute she's like I'm gonna knit this scarf like oh you're so cute girl you're so shy you're so pretty but like you're, you're so just weird <laughs> yeah you're just weird I like it all right like, okay hold on a minute is is that your anime crush then Hinata my first anime crush was generally Hinata I I generally was like oh bruh I, I know, like, women hot, but I didn't know, like, anime women hot. <laughs> anime and women very hot, that. yes. <laughs> yeah. Brain my stimulated. <laughs> <laughs> my first anime crush was Hinata and Itachi. I had, like, the weirdest face. I got okay. really fucking sad over them. Wait, so, like, okay, which one? Who's Itachi? Sasuke's older brother. He has a brother? Yes. Oh, the older okay. brother is like edgy, but with a purpose, chat. I know people are like, Itachi's edgy, but he had a cause. Okay, Sasuke was Wait, just he's, edgy. Wait, he's edgy too? Kind of, but he had a goal. Like, he had to be edgy, you know? Like, he's not an edgy person, but he had to act edgy. Because, basically, Sasuke, okay, Sasuke's powers from his whole clan can only grow in agony. They can only get stronger if they feel pain in their life. So Itachi made it a life goal to fucking destroy Sasuke's life. Which I was mad. Like, he should have just killed the brother. Like, the 
Sasuke's supposed to be dead. But Itachi's like, no, save my brother. Like, why? You just made the worst fucking anime character exist. But okay, off, off. But Itachi is so nice. Itachi's actually very wholesome, okay? But he had to pretend to be ed edgy, which makes him better. And he had painted nails. Like, imagine you're going to kill someone, but you have to paint your nails first. Kind of based. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> nice. All right. Not bad. He's so do you wholesome. do you watch any of the other Forbidden? So there's the Forbidden Four is basically like Dragon Ball, One Piece, Bleach, Naruto. You watch any oh, of the Dragon. other Forbidden? I love the Kameya Mamas. Kameya Mamas, man, you really are a TikTok yeah. girl. <laughs> I'm gonna Shit. guys watch me Kameya Mama this five year old. <laughs> <laughs> Kameya Mama <gasps> on Fortnite. Yeah, I love the uh, I love the Dragon Balls. I love the balls. Okay. I love the balls of dragon. Yes, when when, yeah. when when the balls are dragon. Yes, that is. I love. I that. love it when a uh, vegetable ended up like having a crush on, um, the hottest character available. Bully bully. Yeah, bully bully. I love it Veg when vegetable and bully bully fell in love. I love it. The vegetable and bully are the best. Yeah, absolutely. I I also think I fucking think molded over uh -huh. the fact that they had a kid. Really? Why? Oh, like, okay. <laughs> the whole concept of it made me go like, what? Why? What? 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 But the kid, the fact that Goku had a kid named Rice, like I'm, I'm never going to get over that. Like imagine have, like, giving a, like giving, having birth, having Excuse a child me? and being like, yeah, his name is Gohan. Just Rice. It's like, imagine giving birth to someone being like, Gohan. This happened to Sasuke, like Naruto as well. Sarada? I thought Sarada meant salad. Oh. No? Gohan is the kid. And like, Nar like Sasuke and Sakura gave birth to their only child and named her Salad. Fucking think about it. Like, imagine. You're like, oh yeah, I went through all this effort and he's gonna name me fucking Salad. <laughs> and like, I gave birth to you. You know, I'm gonna name you Rice. <laughs> I was like Loki molding. Oh. <laughs> you Gohan. just realized? Gohan. Go Go like on. a meal or like rice. Gohan. Oh, wow. You just realized? Yeah. Fake fan. Well, I'm a fake fan, my ass. Listen. Kakarot, I... which is carrot. Okay. <laughs> Kakarot. Love it. Kakarot. Uh, it's great. No, uh, okay, great. I mean, I personally think Krillin is the winner here. Mmm, Krillin. He's I like the, the bald winner. guy. I forgot his. I forgot who he is, but the old bald guy. Kind of hot. Yeah, Master Roshi kind of hot. What the fuck? What? <laughs> He's like cute, kind of like. No, no, okay. Bro, don't, don't really? Get the fucking camera out of my face. Really? Dude, come on. He's kind of like cute. You know, like he cares. He would like riz you up a little bit, but he's like sweet. What gentle. does rizzing you up mean? I like, want to know. Like he makes like... <laughs> he would riz you up. You know, he's going to hit you with the master charisma. And then like, but he's so wholesome and gentle. Something about him making like, oh my God, daddy. It's All 5 right. a.m. Okay, I'm losing my mind. But, like, that's the truth. I kind of had a f crush on the old man. You know what? You do you, <laughs> Chica. You do you. <laughs> you you, <laughs> you do you. The, I, 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 I think when it comes to being wholesome, like you put it, I think he's the opposite of that. He's no, definitely he's, not wholesome. he's wholesome deep down. You have to look past, like, the pervy nature and look deep into their soul coefficient. That's how you find true love. You say red flag, I say I'm a bull. <laughs> you say old, I say what experience. <laughs> you say I'm a bull? <laughs> yeah. You say red flag, I say I'm a bull. You say old, I say experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Sounds good. Hey, all right. <laughs> Oh, hey, hey, all right, man. Sounds good. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> sounds I good, amigo. Him. <laughs> <laughs> sounds good. Sounds good, Chica. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, speaking <laughs> of which, it is uh, it is late for you, and I yeah. did not realize how late it was. It was, I was spending time with you. It was fun. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. I had a great time uh, getting to know. Actually, I, you know what? I can't. Editor san, put this in the beginning of the video, okay? I forgot oh. to ask you a question. And this is how oh. we're going to end it off, okay? Okay, okay. Because okay. I start this off. I, 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 I start with this question every single time. Where the fuck is my phone? Oh, yeah, I put it back here. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I start off every single in the hole with a question to get okay. to know you without asking conventional questions like, what's your favorite color? Uh, what's, what, what kind of candy do you like? No. Oh, my God. I ask these it's questions. Like to, girls. Yeah, correct. I'm going to ask you these questions, all right? You ready for this? I'm going to ask you only yes. uh, two of them. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pretend like this is the start of the video. This is the start of the video, all right? We're at the start of the video. Ready? Okay, cool. Great, great. Uh, every person that you have ever looked up to is invited to a banquet where you are the guest of honor. Okay. No okay. one will be in attendance except for you, the collection of mm -hmm. big time people that, that you look up to or family or friends or content creators, VTubers, whatever the case may be. They're all there. Also the catering mm -hmm. service. Right. After the meal, you you are asked to give a fifteen minute speech to all these people. What do you talk about? Oh, oh God, shit! That's a good question, actually. Oh my God! About? Oh, I shit myself. <laughs> a lot of I people like say that. Full on shit myself. If I have to be like in front of them, um, okay, I know. Okay, if I'm in a room, right? Okay, filled. With everyone I admire, right? Yep. Like, look up to and everything. Yep. And the catering service. Can't forget them. And the catering service. Right, right, I'll say, um, I'll look them in the eye and I'll be like, please give me a raise. And I'll step down the stage. <laughs> what? Because in my mind, it's going to be my boss. You admire your like boss? My boss is going to be there. Yeah. Like, I'm, if my boss is going to be there, I'll be like, please give me a raise. Please. Please, I'm going to beg. I'm going to plead my case. Like, please give me a raise. Isn't your boss the chat? In a way? Kind of. In a, in a way, but like, okay, if, if my chat. Why are you there, asking like, your chat that? Uh, super chat, though, coming right up. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Okay, if that's the case, if my chat's going to be there, I'm going to step on the stage and I'll be like, um, not to scare you, the doors are locked. We're all going to die tonight. All right, hold on. All right, we're... <laughs> this... This isn't a banquet anymore. <laughs> you have all stepped what in. The fuck? I, yeah, it's like, <laughs> like all the drinks you've consumed, poisoned. You're all gonna die tonight. Give me oh, all your money. Oh shit! Unless you, <laughs> unless you give me the money right now, you're all gonna die. I have yeah. the antidote right here. Yeah, Holy shit! Exactly. All right. That's Next a question. Fair statement. That's a, that, what, what? What a great answer that was. Yeah, what uh, the fuck is the right answer? What the fuck? There is no right answer. Oh shit. There is no right answer. You, there's really, only your really answer. That's it. Yeah, that's that's either I threaten or I beg. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here's the next one. You meet a wizard in whatever city you're in, okay? And okay. he tells you, "I can make you more attractive if you pay me." Oh. All of a sudden, you go, "What the hell? What do you mean?" He goes, mm -hmm. let me show you. You see that person over there? It's like, yeah. Alakazam. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, he tells you that person is $1 more attractive. And you look at them and you go, mm, not really that much of a difference. But in the back of your mind, you're like, you can't deny. There's an undeniable fact that this person looks more attractive. Right, okay? right. The, the wizard comes up to you and he says... I can make you more attractive depending on how much you pay me. You can only pay me once how much money you're giving me to be Ooh. able to make you more attractive. Yes. How much money are you paying? To make me more attractive. Like permanently attractive forever? Yeah, forever. You just are more Bro, attractive. I'm giving them my channel. Like everything. Fuck it. <laughs> 
all of my life savings, all of all my family's life saving, all my friends' life saving, all my chat's life saving. I'll be like, this is my channel. This is the password, right? This is how to pretend to sound like me. Uh, this is the access to all my accounts. Fuck it, right? You're gonna have a stable job. You're gonna have a community. You're gonna have a platform. You're gonna have everything at you. Fuck this, dude. Fuck yeah. If it's permanent, I'm taking it. Sorry, chat, but like, it is what it is. Do you Look, have out a, of your mind? Do you have a value as to how you? How much all this is so you can give so the wizard can be like okay that's a number yeah let's do that i'd say if i were to like considering i have a lot of like pretty bougie friends okay say the numbers are in the millions like so you're gonna be of millions of dollars more attractive fuck yeah you're going to be the most attractive person on the planet i'm pretty sure fuck yeah <laughs> Sounds good. fuck yeah i better be <laughs> for a million bucks. Yeah, All right, that'd be a scam. All right, no, it's not a scam. Easy as you, as as he just said, as he just did, he made him more attractive. Yeah, easy fucking answer. To it. People that are All saying right. like, of course not, blah, blah blah. Like, shut the fuck up. Say you liar. If you can, if you can be, if you can look good, you're gonna take that opportunity. Okay, that's the truth. I'm just an honest <laughs> person, cat. You know fuck she's no. You know she's real, real passionate about this because her accent came out. It was great. That's funny. Yeah, you know that I'm. You know how passionate I am. She's okay? dead. Like, that's you know serious. I'm fugly, chat. Like I am dead fugly. Okay, I need this. You're gonna <laughs> understand. I'm not gonna lie. I, <laughs> I need I... any chance I get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A million right. bucks and I'll look like coefficient easy. Damn. These are not how you. I thought you would answer these, but that that's totally fine. <laughs> Last question. This is the okay. best one. Uh, for reason that cannot be explained, cats can suddenly read at a competent level. They can't talk and mm -hmm. they can't write, but they can read silently and understand the text. Okay, many cats, uh, many cats love that because uh, they have something else to do other than fucking up your couch. Uh, however, mm -hmm. some cats have become depressed and having an existential crisis because reading forces them to realize the limitations of what they can do. They can't really do much. Right, cats. So, with that being the case, do you think the average cat would enjoy Garfield or uh, would find this cartoon insulting or offensive? <laughs> All right, okay. Let me think. Right, if, if I was a cat and I could only read and I can't talk and I see Garfield, right? This this lazy fucking cat that could only think in speech bubbles that you can read and eat a fuck ton of spaghetti. I would think that Garfield is the VTuber of cats. As a cat, I would see it as a as a fucking VTuber. It's either you love it because you like VTubers or you hate it because you don't like VTubers. But Garfield is definitely a VTuber for me if I was a cat. Think about it, right? It's a fucking character and and it's they act like how you act, but they're more comedic. They're fucking lazy as shit. All they do is eat spaghetti and they think in the most sarcastic way. It's a fucking VTuber. I'll be like fucking VTuber. I'll point at it and insult it and be like, you fucking VTuber. So would they find them offensive or, or not? And the average people would think like VTubers are pretty cringe. So I, I wouldn't say offensive, but I'd say pretty cringe. <laughs> God damn. Damn VTubers. All right. You, <laughs> you can't even hate me. Questions. I, I kind of have a yes. kind of have a fact a little bit. I'm kind of curious about you. What would what speech would you give? Why you should you turn this one. shit on me? Yeah, I need to know. What speech would you give if you were in the same scenario? What would Wait you a say? Fucking minute, it's late for you, isn't it? <laughs> I need to fucking know. I need to know like what kind of image I what kind of person am I? I feel like now people know more about me than I do of myself. <laughs> that, I'm a then, cynical, sarcastic hater that's apparently ugly, is what I've kind of summarized myself as at the moment. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean that that's true. You really want me what to answer? <laughs> yes, yes. Give All a right. speech. What would I give a speech of? Let me see. Uh... <laughs> uh... What is the speech that I would give? For... God dang it. I didn't... Okay. Great. It's, uh... I wasn't expecting this shit. Great. Fantastic. God damn it. I would have rehearsed this. Come on, all right. Fast. All right. All right. All right. What I would talk about is okay. The people I admire, 
will definitely be there. And all the people that I look up to, right? The people mm-hmm. that want to be there. There's one individual there that I, I definitely want to single out. Mm-hmm. And it's an individual that washed fucking rice with soap. And I'm just going <laughs> to fucking tear him. I, it's going to be the roast of that person. Just Kyo? fucking tear him a new. I'm, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> I don't know. I would uh, fucking. And there would definitely be an individual there who would also uh, just have like, what the fuck are you thinking type mentality. And I would rip him a new one too. Like, what the f- I would basically turn it into a roast session for people that I admire. Mm. Yeah. I see. So I w- it would have- definitely be a roast session. Yes. I would get yes. everyone that I ever looked up to, I've loved, and I would uh like 100% like um you know, uh I, I would want to associate myself with uh and I would tear mm-hmm. them a new one. I see. I see. Yeah. You're like I admire you, but you're you're you I need to tell you how horrible you are as a person. Yeah. I admire to be your level of incompetence. And some people would say like, oh, the, but they're no actually think this or they don't actually do this. Yeah, you think I fucking care? Once True. it's out there, it's 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 game time, baby. All right. You see how how Fair. how how you you played the game of uh here, let me just say this crazy shit. Let me go ahead and respond to that. And for people that, you know, uh, let's hi- hypothetically, this hasn't really happened. Hypothetically, let's say you put a fucking candy cane on a pizza. All right. Um, if there ever were people like that, uh, what the fuck? True. True. Based. So anyways, um, so if, if hypothetically these people were in this room, I would hypothetically like fucking. Hypothetically. Turn into roast. Yeah. Base. He roasts think- and I threaten. It is what it is. Yeah, correct. That's that is what it is. And that's why you don't you're we don't have the chance to speak. Thank God we don't have a platform, right, dude? Oh my no, god. We're absolutely kind of not. Up. I would not. Yeah. I would not no, absolutely not. I I wouldn't yeah. be saying this. Imagine if, if I, we were streamers, bro. That'd be horrible. I wouldn't be saying this if we weren't behind closed door confidential doors. Yeah, dude. Thank God it's just you and me. Nobody else. I don't Ooh. see anybody else here. You see anybody else here? I, I don't think we can make it as like public speaking people, man. Like, no, I, I don't ab- think we should talk to the public. No, abs- yeah, abs- sure. absolutely not. That's yeah. how it is. Ooh. It is what it is. But I'll tell you what. I do. I don't think that they would find Garfield offensive. Why? I just don't. To be fair, I don't remember every chapter of Garfield, but in my head, Garfield is like, I can't be offended at Garfield now because I feel like my lifestyle is the same as Garfield right now at the moment. Like, I'm just a lazy, sarcastic, condescending piece of shit. So I can't roast him. Because if I, if I hate Garfield, I'd hate myself. Right? And I am too narcissistic to ever feel that way. Yeah. Ever. So I, I can't be offended to, with Garfield. It's like, that, that'd be kind of self-hate. And that's not my brand image, you know? <laughs> I, I love myself too much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm too self-absorbed. I'm not going to The world that. doesn't revolve around you. It revolves around me. <laughs> I like that answer better than your previous one. Can we... <laughs> For sure. Can we erase that, the, <laughs> the previous one off the record and put that one in? That one's, that one's poetry. I yeah, like that. that. Is, that's some humble stuff, man. I I've it. I feel like I've been enlightened. Thank you, thank you. A lot of people have said I'm a very humble, woke person. <laughs> yeah. Can I? Okay, I I know that we're about to end it, but can I tell you something about the word woke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought so. I don't necessarily know what woke means, but I I always thought it was the fact that I got woken up to something. Oh. 
<laughs> so like for example is like oh shit there's people that think otherwise uh, i got woken okay. up to that fact like i didn't okay. realize it and now i realize it okay fair you want to yeah. know the real meaning of woke what is it so uh when originally when you're woke right it's yeah. because like you're so miserable that you had to like get out of bed so you're awake and you're so painfully miserable and you realize like oh my god i have to be here now so like when people tell you're so woke it's like you're so aware of yourself because you you're aware of how miserable you are at the moment oh yeah, and remember in the start of the stream, um, you told me like, oh yeah, like I, I, you can't gaslight anyone, right? Uh -huh. And you asked me to gaslight you. That that's yeah. me gaslighting you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> and now, right? You don't even know if I'm gaslighting you right now. You just don't know. You you can't think about anything. You're doubting yourself. You think like, holy shit, I'm I'm so fucking stupid. Like I don't know what's happening. What, what what's happening, chat? And that's the whole point. You don't know if I'm gaslighting you about gaslighting you. Now you don't even know what woke means. It okay, can be an stop. insult Shh. even. <laughs> now that's that's gaslighting. Yay! I kept my promise. I said I would later on. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, all right, all right. I see. Yeah. All right, good one. All right, good one. All right, all right. Yeah, the chat's not real. Right. It happened four years ago. You have to wake up. True. <laughs> I'm allergic to bullshit. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Bless you. <laughs> but okay. I tried though. All right. I tried it. That was that was that was good. That was good. Yay! I tried right. my best. I think I have a... So, okay. Bullshit down. Is that really what yeah. woke means? No. Woke is like you're awake to like the problems of the real world. You know? Like you're awake to this new subject. Like you have opened your eyes and you realized. You, you were kind of right, basically. Oh, so I'm you're right. Like, you have okay. Yeah. You have realized that like, oh, this is happening. Or like, oh. this is something. So, so you're okay. Would it, would it be appropriate for me to say is like, I'm woke to the fact that Goku named his son Gohan. Uh, woke is usually for like topics that are that should be addressed but have never been addressed, like a problem. What the fuck? Usually. No one's addressed the fact that Goku has named his <laughs> son Master Rice. What do you mean? A shit is <laughs> you fucking the, the you definition can. of that. Yeah, technically you can use it, but like low key, people use the word woke as an insult now, kind of. Like woke, quote unquote. Really? Because like, yeah, because some people are so quote unquote aware that they make shit up or like they exaggerate something because they want to be so aware. So it's like, oh, you want to be so woke. So like people huh. are okay. saying like woke sometimes as an insult because they would pro like they would try to make problems real because they uh, want to be the most aware in the room. Yeah. I see. So low key, some people would use it as like an insult nowadays. That makes sense. Sometimes. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow, yeah. man, I learned some new things today. God damn, this is a very insightful stream. God damn, we've gone Ooh. on for so long and it's so late for you. I need to let you go. Oh my God, true. But Lord, oh, yeah. there is so, we, we, we did so much today. Thank you so much, Mika. My God, it's been an Thank absolute pleasure. Thank you for pleasure. coming. Um, absolute pleasure talking to you. It's been Wait. an absolute uh, blast. <laughs> uh, I don't know what the hell we did for the past, what, four and a half hours. Uh we literally yeah. just bullshit. This is the longest episode of In the Hole that we've done so far. Um, oh, God. Yeah, I don't even know. This might have to even be like a two-parter or some shit. Or maybe even like try to do more than just one video uh, out of this because there's so much content in here. But uh, I gave you a content. Oh, my God. You did, and I'm thankful. Thank you so much. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> it's it's been lovely. It's been so much fun having you on. Uh, I hope you had fun. I definitely did um i did too you had fun right yeah 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 okay good you that, that sounds like a threat he paid me to say this no you had fun right you had fun yeah no no yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Was I, th that was my attempt of me gaslighting her but i don't know if it worked 
That wasn't even a gaslight, bro. That was like a threat. <laughs> that was a full threat. <laughs> I don't know what I said. I don't know how to fucking gaslight anybody. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> I will okay. Here's the, here. I will make you guys a promise. I will post the Snorlax onesie on Twitter. How about that? I, I'll do Yay! that. I'll, I'll, I'll add Mika on there because I gotta let her go. Uh, but Yay! thank you again. Is there anything else that you want to say or anything that you want to leave off with or anything like that? Uh, thank you for having me. I had so much fun. Uh, don't forget to sub to Coefficient. Yay! Sub to Mika too. Go follow her her stream. Uh, <laughs> so do all that good jazz. So. Uh, yeah, Mika, I'm yes. gonna go ahead and uh, let you go. Go to bed. Go to sleep. You need oh, some rest. Wait, actually, I have uh -huh. an announcement. My birthday's happening soon, so if you wanna like hop onto that, yeah, yeah you better wish me happy birthday because I'm your technically birthday. Dead, oh, so this absolutely. Is the only time I can celebrate it. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. Your birthday's very, very Ooh. soon. Uh, yeah, that's it's like gonna two be days. Awesome. dude. That's great. What do you turn like? Fifty-seven. Shut the fuck up, girl. It's not appropriate to ask a woman her age. I feel like I'm older than you, <laughs> to be very fair, but it's okay. I like to act I'm like I'm old, younger. I'm old, man. I'm, I'm an old man. So Maybe. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember last. Actually, I haven't made it. You know what? We're going on another tangent again. All right. Mika, <laughs> do, do, do. go to bed. I will go ahead I and will. send off the chat. Thank you so much for coming by once again. Anything you need, just let me know in the DMs. I might hit you up Thank for some you. Indonesian wording type of thing. Yes, um, please. Anything Teach me how need? to do the cute little face thing on your stream. Okay, sounds good. I I want to I want to know that, please. I'm so I, stupid. Anytime, anytime. My doors are open to you Yay! anytime you need to. All right, Mika. Have a good night. Take care. Have a Sleep good night. Well. Do I just like go? Because what if I just, go and your TV crashes? It doesn't. See, okay, technically you're not even here anymore. Super cool thing. I can be like this, like. <laughs> Wait, hold on. That was uh, that was like way better. Hold on, do that again. Right, and then, okay, okay I, I can go like this, actually. Oh, shit, shit. Okay, I can yeah, do just, this. Yeah, just, all right. So everyone say bye. Bye, bye Cap. So everyone say bye, bye. to little Mikasita. Mi, 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 mi mi <laughs> Goodbye, Cap. I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Anyways, she's gone now. Thank God. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, right now, who got replaced with? Oh, it's chat. Hey, chat. What's up? Did you guys like it? Did you guys like it? I hope you guys liked that. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode today. It was a very long one. This one's going to be nuts to be able to put in. Uh, <laughs> look at the chat. They're, they're going nuts. Uh, yeah, they're finally here. Uh, yeah, this episode is definitely going to be, uh, a episode that's, uh, God, dude, I don't even know how the hell I'm going to be editing this shit, dude. Uh, I, I, I definitely am going to be paying editors on like a vast amount of money to try and, uh, put this together.